why hello there how are you doing nice to see you here we're gonna be playing stalker today while rika gets her schedule back in order honestly i fucking love this game i've been playing it on my off time a little bit oh my god guys holy shit this game is one of the best games ever made it is such a breath of fresh air after playing horrible shooters like overwatch all the modern Call of Duties, everything like that. It is such a breath of fresh air. It feels amazing. It feels amazing to be able to go back in time like this and experience a shooter that actually cares for its genre. Instead of trying to define its genre, it tries to be its genre. It is amazing. I think it's one of the best games ever made. So... Let's get into this then, shall we? Here are the credits for the amazing people that helped build my model and make everything possible. I love you all. Let's get back into this. Stalker. Shadow of Chernobyl. Sorry if you hear, like, noises in the background. There's going to be a little bit of noise because we are currently buying another piece of property for our, uh, our barony we have. Don't worry about that. Right now, all that matters is that me and you get streaming. Thank you everyone for coming, and let's begin. Let's get back into Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. But first, I do want to say something, something quite important involving Chernobyl right now. Um, I mean, I've done this a little bit within my time on this earth, but please support Ukraine as war is bad, I don't need to say this, war is really bad, and that should not be happening. We're in a modern age where wars like this are unnecessary. They're not necessary, and the fact that they are still happening clearly proves that some people uh, can't exactly move past them. In this modern age, we are, have the luxury. We have the luxury of war not being a problem in most places. Now, in some countries, there are. It's still an issue, and war is always threatened, but we as a species, as a race, and as a society should always be able to move past that, especially with what we are now and what we can do now. It shouldn't be an issue, especially on this scale. So support the people in Ukraine. There are a lot of, there are a lot of people out there who are suffering because of this, but not only that, there are a lot of people out there who are suffering because of war. The reason I want to talk about this is because this game demonstrates war in a very big, very hard way. It's dangerous, it's deadly, and it's sad. And it, it shows not just what war is like in combat, but it also shows what war is like in the aftermath. A war didn't cause Chernobyl. A country did. A systemic problem caused Chernobyl. But... It was a war in which it stemmed from. So, keep that in mind. And don't worry. I have a hope in my heart that war will disappear within the modern age, at least war as we know it. That's my hope. But, eh, enough of all this wishy-washy stuff. Me and you both know that the chances of war completely disappearing are far far lower than they should be. But in the modern age, I feel like we can do something to prevent it. So, if I ever start making money from this, I know what I'm donating to. I have a few ideas already, but that aside, do go out and support those in need. Unfortunately, I have no money. It's one of the main things I want to do with this channel. Oh. Food. Yum. Yeah, by the way, there are survival mechanics in the game, if you didn't know. I mean, they don't matter too much, but... The stamina bar that I'm preventing you guys from seeing... Yeah, that one. The one you guys cannot see. That stamina bar actually has a core to it. What are you gonna do? 
Let's get out of here. Yeah, so that stamina bar has a core to it, and depending on the amount of stamina you have depleted, mm, depends on the amount of uh, on the amount of food you actually need to eat. It's a really weird system. It's actually invisible. The only way you can tell if you're hungry is through that status effect. But that's how that's how that works. That's how you can tell. Okay. There's a dog right behind me. Falling from heights makes your head hurt, apparently. I don't know why. Don't worry about it. He's, uh, he's not looking good here. Yeah, I hear man. So now we have good protection on the bridge. Nice to know. Let's go. That bridge can just be ambushed by random boars and hogs and dogs occasionally, so it's good to have friends. Is this on semi-auto? No, it's on. There's actually a couple weapons that I am I want in this save because I've been playing the game a lot on my off time, just kind of ignoring the story and doing side quests. And I found two weapons that we definitely fucking want. They're really really good and I want them badly they are the modified storming obake which is a an94 modified with a grenade launcher and the threaded SPS rifle so marked one regarding Strelik a stalker by the name of Fox is coming back from a raid looks like he had a rough time and needs help he came back with some type of critters all over him. He says he won't last long. He just might know something about Strelik. You gotta go see him right now. Here are his coordinates. Okay. Yes, the SPS threaded shotgun is something we want. What is that? It's a shotgun. Duh. But it is a threaded shotgun do you guys know what a threaded shotgun means like you, you should shout out in chat if you know what it means to thread a shotgun oh god there's a fucking pig there's no pigs in here yeah that's a pig anyway well that was a pig ah, uh, yeah their corpses have a tendency to do that don't worry about it the game is from 2007, it's glitchy, yeah. Uh, there we go. Ahem. <laughs> yeah, just ignore that. Yeah, those are pigs, by the way. That's what, that's what pigs became. Don't worry about it. Oh, shit. That's... Oh, I killed him. Ooh, calm down, buddy. How you doing? Be careful when you get past the bridge. Got too many wandering dogs. Yeah. Oh no, they were killing this guy. Yeah, these these are what pigs became. I don't understand how it happened either, but oh, there's a dog in there. Might as well exterminate them. One good headshot will take all their health. If you're, if you're at all wondering why I'm just collecting random parts of corpses, it's because there is a person later in game who will actually buy these from me. Alright, time to watch a man get mauled to death. I'm not even joking. Do we have a big head? Yeah, yeah. So we save this guy. He stands up, we talk to him. Soldier Strelog, what? Cheer. Now we have to get through this pretty quickly. Uh, why is everyone talking in such keen strength? Okay. So now that we've spoken to him, uh, he gets mauled to death. If we go over here, we can kind of minimize how many dogs will spawn. But he's gonna get mauled. Which is alright with us, because we do need his stuff. That would be nice. 
we have a really good weapon for this section of the game. Yes. Here he goes. Yep. That happens. We have a really good weapon for this section of the game. But we're still not in the best shape when it comes to our currency. We actually don't have a whole lot of money. Now we have a good quantity of money. Yes, we have a good amount. But we don't actually have a whole lot compared to what we need. We need a large quantity of money. If we want to be able to buy anything good in this game, you need a lot of cash. And I mean a lot of cash. Most weapons and armor will be upwards of 10 to 20,000 rubles or whatever these are. I don't actually know the currency in the game. They're not rubles because they don't use the mark for rubles. I don't know what these are. Currency. SR. Whatever that is. Soviet ruble. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah. We, uh, we need more money. Really badly. We seem to always need something in this game, which is surely no. But... I'm to turn off the crosshair. I like to play the game without the crosshair on to make it a bit more difficult. Let me turn off that crosshair real quick. There we go. Now this is a first-person shooter. I've really wanted to play games like Squad and shit like that on higher difficulties. Oh, fuck yeah, he had another AK. Well, not quite an AK, but it's a garbage AK. I think I said this last time, but it's a really good comparison. A AN-94 is basically everything bad about an AK-47 and everything bad about an Uzi put together. Someone said that to me one time, and you know what? You know what? They're fucking right. They're so right. That, that, that is so true. It is literally everything bad about an AN-94. <laughs> an AN-94. It's literally everything bad about an AK. And everything bad about... Ooh, yep, I ran right into one of those. Luckily enough, I just turned away. If I would have gone deeper into it, I probably would have died. But it's everything bad about a Uzi and everything bad about an AK mixed into one gun. And it's so fucking true. It is so true, man. It's got loose tolerances, which suck. And she fires a really shitty round like an Uzi does. Now, an Uzi fires a smaller round. The rounds Uzis normally fire are kind of shit. They're just bad. It sounds like they're bad for the sake of being bad. I don't really understand it either, but they're shitty rounds. They're really bad rounds. I don't, I don't like them. Nobody likes them because it's fun. The worst part about this all is, in my opinion at the very least, is that Uzis at least have a very high ammo capacity and can fire very quickly for their size. There's a lot of countries that use Uzis, including countries which are frequently at war. Or at least being threatened to be at war. There's a lot of countries like that that use Uzis. And sure, it's an alright weapon, but an AK, well, an AK is one of the best weapons of all time. I mean, there's no arguing. There, there is no arguing that. I don't care what any of you M16 or M4 fans say. Listen, an M16, M4, it's great. But an AK has consistency at short range, which is most of the time where people are going to be using it. You're not going to be using a fucking M4 in the same situation as you're going to be using an AK. Comparing them is a horrible idea. AKs are made for mid to close range combat, and it works a thousand times better than an M4 for that purpose. M4s are meant for long range combat. It's a really good demonstration. It's a really good demonstration of 
what I would describe as a country's philosophy for warfare. And AKs were AKs were made at a time where warfare and the philosophy behind warfare was very different. And it's a good way to see how countries do war, basically. And then leave the bandits at the garage and roll out straw lock. Yeah, we have to move on. There's nothing really here. We don't have any caches and everyone's dead. So the garage is the thing, is the next area I'll show you guys. I was just checking all these corpses to see if I could get a cache on them in this area, but no, I have to move on. Which is alright, we have an AK. We have the AK. Now I will say those guards of the military camp do respawn after some time and they'll start actually wielding this weapon right here. So we're gonna go back and kill them again. Later though, not right now. Later. So, after all that nonsense, now that we've collected everything within the area that we can, we can get back into this. So, like I was saying, an M4, the Americas, and the places that use rifles like the M4, we didn't actually, we weren't actually supposed to have this weapon. Like, we, we weren't supposed to be using the M16, right? Or the MAR Black Rifle. That was not actually a thing we were supposed to be doing. See, at the time... Oh. You see, at the time, basically England had decided that we should probably have a standardized rifle that uses a standardized round. Good idea for a war, right? I'm in the middle of the Cold War. Sorry about the dog barking in the background, you know how she is, and no one wants to let her out. So she's just gonna sit there and bark because she's old and senile. She's about 22 or so. Oh yeah, that's how old dogs are. Ah, fuck. We're really caught behind between a rock and a hard place here. It's not good. Because there's bandits down the road as well that I have to kill. They're at the checkpoint. They own the checkpoint. That's the... that's a truck. It's not the, our truck, but it is a truck. I don't go near that truck. It is... super irradiated. Except I do. They are super irradiated, that truck. So, we got more people up here. Let me actually see. We got more people up here. Now, I'm really used to using the burst setting of, on the AN-94 in this game, so I might be a little bit sloppy when it comes to this, but I think I should be good. I think he saw me. I think he saw me. We're just gonna run to this truck. Switch to full auto. Ah, oh, fuck. They're just rushing. It reminds me of Escape from Tarkov. With how these AKs feel. Every weapon in this game feels fucking amazing. Outside. Jam, the fucking jam. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen. That's an actual mechanic in the game as well. You see how I fired one shot and then I had to re-hold the trigger and then fire the rest of the shots? Ooh. This little bastard. That's what an AK is supposed to be used for, right? I please have this. There we go. People always use an AK like it's a f fucking long distance weapon. Assault rifles are not all made to be long distance. Well, I actually, to, to tell you the truth, the, the, the round this specific AK fires is actually kind of made for long distance. It's a f it's a five millimeter, right? It's a it's. 545 by 39. That's actually supposed to be a long distance round, but shh. We have a shitty AK. We literally do. It's basically a shitty AK. It's a garbage AK. This shit is shitty. 
he doesn't even fire like the the right type of ammunition you would want for a gun like this. You do not want an AK to fire this type of round. Why would you? It's fucking garbage. But hey, we got it. That's all that matters. Would you rather me use a fucking sawed-off shotgun? No. A double barrel sawed-off shotgun? No, this thing are horrible. I will warn you, sometimes some random guy can just spawn in the back of this place and fucking take your face off. But that's the exit to the area. Right there, that door. Right there. I don't think there's anything else through here, so we're just gonna go to the next area. First, we're gonna... Eat some food. We're keeping a hold of that vodka for a very specific reason. We don't have, like, a thorn or anything yet, because we didn't get any stashes. So we just gotta go to the next area. Hope the game doesn't crash. Okay, we're good. Sometimes that'll happen when going into this. It's an old game, what can I say? Alright. Oh! Yeah, the game will sometimes do that too. Because enemies randomly roam the area. Ah! The game will sometimes spawn kill you because enemies were just so happen to be near the exit. Damn it. Can't. The game forces me to have my binoculars out, so I gotta. Nope. For some reason, it just won't fire. Yep, okay, we're gonna be caught in this loop for a little bit. I don't have anything. Okay. We got some- Oh, he wasn't down. He didn't die. He just tripped. That always fucks with me. Yeah, the AI can trip instead of going down. Okay. Yeah, he's down this time. That's why he was tearing me apart so hard, because he had a fucking submachine gun with him. I think that might have interrupted the event. I think we might actually be able to get away with this better. Yeah, that interrupts the event. We're supposed to be able to save that guy. Fuck. We're gonna reload that save, then. This one. The one we did it back there. Before we killed the bandits. We do not want that to be interrupted. I think I hit him. Yes, you, re you can reload wall idea. See what'll happen. I'm using a garbage weapon. There we go. So, I will warn you a little bit for this game, chat. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's a guy right outside. That's so irritating. I think that might be a bug. Sometimes when I go to hold the trigger down, it'll only fire one shot. It's obviously deadly in half the scenarios I get into. Ah, they have x-ray vision!
Maybe I need to take this slower from a range, you know? It's the drop button. I can't hear any of their audio. Oh no, I can. That guy just had like a really quiet weapon. Too. Okay, taking it a little bit slower works pretty well. One of them has a med kit on, so I'm gonna use this. Behind backpack? Is it in the area? Nope. No, it's fucking not. Fuck. They keep giving me fucking locations of treasure for different areas I'm not even in. This is completely random what stash it gives you. Let's hope that guy isn't in there yet. So if there isn't some just random asshole spawn camp in the fucking truck right in front of us. No spawn campers, please. Come on, no spawn campers. 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 No campers. Alright, we'll be I've got no money, no artifacts. You can hear their voices. Hey, guys, sometimes he'll live, sometimes he'll die. We want to try and save him, chat. Could we? I mean, I'll try at the very least. I'm not a horrible person. I'll I'll try and save him, chat. I'll try and save him. I think I know one good way to do that. That's a good way to get everybody out of an area. I've got no money, no artifacts. A hand grenade. Run, motherfuckers! Oh, they're all out. Okay. Hmm. Maybe just like. Picking away at their consciousness. Or... I don't have anything. Don't shoot. Your trash and your artifacts. I'm quit, you asshole. Hey guys, I've got nothing. He's also doing it. I smell blood. How do we save this guy? Hmm. How do we save him, chat? Hmm. How do we save this guy? Maybe we just let the situation play. Don't you get it, retard? I don't have anything. Don't shoot. Don't you get it, retard? Hey guys, I've got nothing. Hand it over or we'll blow your head off. I don't have anything. Don't shoot. Your trash and your artifacts. I'm quit, you asshole. I've got no money, no artifacts. Hand it over or we'll blow your head off. I don't have anything. Don't shoot. Hand it over or we'll blow your head off. Law and order. Nah, he's shooting at me now. I clipped him with a bullet. Damn it. Number 
Well, to tell you the truth, I already got the achievement. I already got the achievement, man, so your life means pretty much nothing to me after that. Military checkpoint, heavy armor. Very nice. As you just heard on the radio, we have a side quest to do. Actually, this one's very difficult. Another fucking stash, bro. Holy shit. Another checkpoint. What else we got? Another one. Holy shit, bro. Is that the checkpoint down here? No, that's the other checkpoint. It's the one up here. There's our objective, by the way. Okay. So this side quest coming up right here, right over here, is actually pretty difficult. This is a very hard to do side quest. Let me, uh, let me show you. So, it's a wave defense mission. It is a wave defense mission in this garbage park. And there's actually a unique weapon you can get here. If you're lucky. There's the stash we just got. Grenades. Exactly what we need ammunition for our guns. J rounds. Pretty much useless in a point like this, but whatever. We're gonna find a bunch of random bandit corpses around. Take what they got. Another one belong the belongings of the one murdered one. Uh, the, uh, we're getting these up here. This area is actually really cool. There's a lot of good stuff in this area. Okay. And then over here. Oh, fuck yeah. We got a fucking spark. Okay, this is our first really good anomaly we've ever gotten, right? This is our first really good anomaly. This is a sparkler. It's, it increases our endurance. Our endurance is our stamina bar. So we can run for longer, and how it increases our endurance is it doesn't increase our endurance at the maximum, it increases our regeneration. Yeah. It increases our regeneration. I always travel in groups. Is it just one dude? It was. It increases our stamina regen. And our stamina always regens no matter what. Like, if my stamina is regenerating right now, but I'm taking more than I have in regen. So, you can probably guess what that means. Sorry about the random banging noises. Someone has decided to do home, home, home renovations right now. Again, as. Okay, this guy right here. Hey, Stalker. You're just in time. We could really use your help. Those bandit bastards are trying to take control of our garage. Of the... I call it the garage. The garbage. We had a shootout here half an hour ago. So, yeah, okay, I'll help. See you. What he's telling us to do is there's going to be a wave defense mission. We actually want to take up a position here. Because this, this is a very difficult mission to do. Right? We want to take up a position here. I'm going to save the game just in case. This is a very difficult mission to do. They are going to come from this direction over here. Coming! They're coming! And then... Yeah. It's going to be... Good job, guys. Take your positions. Tell everybody to go off. So, this is gonna be a hellhole, by the way. This mission is really hard. I struggle with this a good bit, but what I usually do is I take a position in this truck right here, and when they get close, no grenade. Everybody take your stand. Let them come close. They will be target. That's why I wish I could pick grenades. I will also, sorry, I will also warn you, I will warn you, 
care anymore. There is actually a stalker in this mission who has super ow, super buff stats. I thought everybody was dead over here. There he is. Over here. That was a risky move by me, by the way. Don't play that game. Don't play this game like this. I just know where everyone's going to come from, so. I'm going to collect our reward with him. I think there are actually more bandits. So, because uh, the issue with this spot is that. Great job, boys. Done. We wiped them out. Everybody have some rest. And you, Stalker, come over here. Let's have a chat. What's up, man? I'm talking about my gratitude. Thank you. So, let's talk about this place. No loner skins. So, let's talk about this place real quick. This junkyard is a death trap. Why, you may ask? Oh, he's a stalker in the stash. That's his stash location. Why, you may ask? Well, <laughs> this place is actually a spawn point for multiple enemies. If I stick around here for too long, so I'm trying to loot these things very quickly, uh... More enemies will actually spawn here, and this is a huge spawn point. I am not exaggerating when I say this is a spawn point for a shitload of enemies. Oh, there they are, right there. See what I mean? Now, this is actually a good thing. We want to bring them over here. Because, if we crouch down right here, and just let whatever happens, happens, that bias dude over here, this or whatever his name is he can actually die to these bandits and we want that to happen because he has a unique weapon in his hands is a unique weapon he has a unique an94 not an94 sorry he has a unique assault weapon. now if he ends up dying from this we can take his stuff we ourselves do not god these guys are fucking snipers we ourselves do not want to actually attack him because he's he's actually pretty good. Nice. There it is right there. Yeah, you can see it. It's actually a suppressed weapon. And we want that. We're gonna take that back to our stash. Plus, if they kill the bandits, hey, that's more gear. It's more free stuff. God damn it! Who who is the fucking sniper amongst these guys? There's the dude who's just been tagging me repeatedly over here. I don't know who it is. Not him. Oh, one of his guys died. Or is that Biss himself? That might have been Biss himself. I just want these dudes. Oh my god, who? Who? There he is. Okay. Just lead him over here. As soon as that yellow dot disappears, we can kill these guys. Yeah, this is a really big spawn point for a lot of bandits. Actually, I think that's his push right there. We're gonna save. No, that's him right over there. You can see the muzzle. That's the suppressor. Okay, we're gonna use another one. Ah, two dudes right around the corner. Hey man, you feel like uh, dying anytime soon? That would be really cool of you. What the fuck is that? Is that an anomaly? Yeah, there's shit tons of anomalies. There we go. There's this one. It's a suppressed weapon. It's a suppressed uh, rifle. Oh! Well, ain't that unfortunate for you. There 
There we go. Oh! See what I said before about this place being horrible? This park, this car park is deadly. It's probably the deadliest place in the game because there are so many fucking spawn points near here. There's a wild animal spawn point. There's multiple bandit spawns here. Once again, if I don't get out of here quickly, more bandits will spawn. And they're gonna be close. There, there they are. There, look. It's basically an infinite cache of ammunition and whatever the fuck you want. All you gotta do is just live. This garbage garage. It's not even a garage, it's just garbage. We don't have any, like, scope or anything. We literally just have our insects. Which, you know what? A man can do a lot with a pair of iron sights and a rifle. Look at the legendary, well, white death. Also, look at all the dots all over the map. Look how many there are. Look how many fucking corpses are just scattered around this place randomly. Let's actually charge this guy. Reload, bitch. That's why you tap fire. There we go. Yeah, I'm a bit of a shitter for tap firing in a game like this. Being so competitive, yes. But I don't care, really. I don't care, really. I didn't need to use the mini bandages. Alright, I think it's over. There are no more bandits spawning over here, so let me show you what this place can do. So, this place. There's an anomaly over here. A really fucking deadly one. We're actually gonna go pick up a lot of anomalies around here. So right over here, there is this thing. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Uh, there. That, you can kind of see it in the air over there. Just a little bit. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the random food inside the ground. There's actually a really powerful anomaly here. See? Is this <coughs> invisible wall that uh will instantaneously kill me if I touch it? But game developers really like to fuck with you. So as you can see, oh, radiation. Radiation. Uh, as you can see, there's actually quite a few, uh, quite a few in like uh, quite a few artifacts in there. A good few, actually. Where'd my vodka go? Oh, there it is. I always need my vodka. There's a good few artifacts in there, but it's a small maze that I have never been able to get through myself. It's fucking impossible. Yeah, so, let's get going then. But there are a shit ton of these anomalies all over the place. If you're wondering why there is in such weird locations, these things actually move. They hop around randomly. They'll actually move on their own and like jump randomly around the place. There's a specific one that we want. We want something called an, a thorn, a slime, or I'm not gonna go with that. A thorn, a slime, or an urchin is specifically what we want. Or also, um, a uh, sun. A sun would work as well. What am I talking about, you may ask? <laughs> what am I talking about, you may ask? Sorry. I am talking about anomalies which drain your radiation. There are some specific anomalies in the game. That actually take radiation. Oh, you guys are gonna have fun with that. Have fun with that mutated pig. I 
There's another one. See what I mean? Their corpses are weird. Alright. So, let's get back into this. Yeah. So, we want one of those anomalies specifically. Mostly because they're really powerful. The anomalies which I'm speaking of are, like I said, the urchin, the globe, the sun, and I believe the thorn and the cracked crystal tear. Or the cracked, not the crystal tear. Of course. Pack of wild dogs attacks me. Because why wouldn't it? You guys know what a grenade is? Gee, I hope. The game crashed. Let's try that again. That will happen. It's the stalker experience, I promise you. It's the stalker experience. In all honesty, the game will sometimes crash right now. But it never takes away from the experience, because I've only had it crash about twice. It's the stalker experience, okay? It's just the stalker experience. But yeah, the game kind But I feel like it's worth it. There's a reason these games still have a massive fan base. Yeah, they're buggy. Don't get me wrong. It's not as, like, it's not as bad as like Kenji is. Like Kenji is really bad. Always crash. Mostly because the engine it's built on is really shit. Oh my god, this dude has absorbed bullets. There we go. Okay. It's okay. I'm blowing through round, man. Kenji is my force. Uh, tell me, Chad, do you guys know what engine Kenji is based on? Do you guys know what engine is Kenji based on? Kenji. It's based on a system, an engine you probably don't know about, because it's pretty much the only game that runs on it. I believe it's called the Orc Engine. Or the Ogre Engine, something like that. And it is not very good. Don't go in these pools of water, I'll fucking murder you. We're gonna be looking for anomalies right now. If you see any, shout out. We got a stash right here, though. Oh, shit, that's actually a good stash. Two anomalies. Nice. Oh, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. There we go. There's some boxes. There are some boxes. Let's get these boxes out of here. There we go. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, even better. Thank you. Alright, so we have a mission to do, if you remember. We have to go kill these guys over here, so let's go and kill those guys over there. This is a pretty cool area. I really, really like it. It's a really cool area, guys, I swear. But yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Me with only one endurance. There's a joke in the community of having all endurance add-ons. Like all endurance, like all sparklers or all full sparks. It's not entirely a joke. That's actually a really good way to play the game. Having all endurance add-ons. Oh, sucker. Having all endurance add-ons is actually a really good way to play the game because you you're so powerful, you move so quickly. 
Because they don't increase your movement speed, but you know what they do in fact do? They basically make it so you can run forever. Since he's clear, let's go get his corpse. Nothing. Just some food and some ammo. Okay. Oh, there's so there's actually a stash here as well. The game only gives you this mission in the once or twice. I don't really understand it myself. Yeah, these are stalkers, by the way, so they have good armor. There we go. I do blue. Is that a solid shadow of a dog? Yep, saw it off. They have a bunch of garbage, but they at least have a stash. There's another, there's one of them right there. Where's the other one? Their stash, never near. We need to get back. We need to. We need to sell some stuff. We also need to go back for our reward. Hmm. Yeah. Good reward. You know the models in this game are pretty old. Gotta say though, the main character kind of looks pretty good. He's kind of looking good. It's a very sad wasteland. Very sad wasteland. Very sad place in general, really. Very sad place in general. I'm trying to make my way over there pretty quickly, though, because we don't exactly have much time left. We need to get over there within a day, so. We're slowly regenerating our stamina as we walk, so let's just keep going then. There isn't too much of a difference between our walking and our running speed. Jumping, however, I will say takes a lot of stamina out of you, so do keep that in mind. Do keep that in mind. Ooh. Uh, is that a vortex? No, that's a crusher. That is a vortex. <clears throat> you can see the difference. That those those constantly pop. What this does is far worse. There you go. It evaporates you. There's a shit ton of anomalies like that over there, as we saw. I'm gonna save before I enter this, just in case the game crashes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. The best part is, I can't even get to them. Yep, okay. Mm. I can't actually get to those corpses either. I think I've ran into way more bandits than I did on my on my personal playthrough. What the fuck? There's more of them? Okay, how many are there? These assholes don't seem to want to leave that area, so. I can't even get to those corpses, by the way. 
I can't even get to those. There's just a massive pile of loot I can't even have. The area prox, the area code for the area, the uh, the line prox right before I get there. And if I say no, it'll just send me back. Stuff I can't even have. Oh well. Okay, let's move on. So, we're gonna get there. Stash. There's a stash in that tower we're gonna get. Hopefully it spawns. If you play this game on PC, by the way, it's $4 on Steam right now. Uh, if you play this game on PC, it's a lot better. Ooh, nice. The reason I, the reason I played it on PlayStation is I actually support the developers a little bit more, and the $4 is a little bit cheap. So I paid for the entire series for about 40 You can get the entire series for 40 bucks. All Stalker games you can get for $40. On PlayStation. Uh, pick that shit up. I don't gotta tell you how good of a deal that is. This is the first area in the first game, and it's already one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had in my entire life. So, yeah. Pick this game up. Is that a bandit? It's a stalker. Pick this game up, man. This is such a good game. Such a good game. There's one right over there. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, maybe not. No, no, he's definitely dead. Let's be hell. It's a pseudo dog, yeah. Don't worry, sir. Your stuff will not go unused. This one will go down. He shot it in the paw, though. Yeah, but it's a stalker. Alright, let's get going. Get on the road. Let's get on the road, shall we? On the road. I was thinking of swapping over to a live 2D model. That might be good. Mm -hmm. Someone said it best about this game. The game has, like, bad graphics. I usually don't care about graphics in a video game. Why would you? It doesn't matter. But the game has bad graphics for our time. But it has really good lighting, which is true, which, which hides how bad the graphics can be sometimes. It has really good light, really good lighting. I think they might have used it. No, not yet. Sometimes more military guys will spawn over here. And it's very irritating when they do, because they kill you quick, because you're not expecting. All we need now is like a... Uh, a thorn, honestly. A thorn would be nice. We're taking this backdoor stash, by the way. I'm always going to keep my main stash at the bottom of the map. That's so central to everything. Right next to like where the bartender is, but we'll get into that later. That's a much later thing. That's a much later thing. So how's everybody in chat doing? I'm going past an hour now. I'm probably gonna stream for a while.
You know the whole thing. You know the whole thing. Ugh, what a beautiful day. Grenade. I can't believe that grenade killed the game, man. I threw one grenade and it killed the whole game. Ridiculous. It's a beautiful day, though. Nice overcast, clouds in the sky, mutated birds around, some friends under a bridge. <sighs> Sounds like Stalker. Me bleeding horribly. Wait a minute, what? I'm bleeding horribly. Ah! My human ears don't work too good. I don't even have two sets of ears. Can't hear out of the originals. These fox ears in my head are the only thing I can hear out of anymore. I don't even know why I have this. I think it's my dad. Oh, it's a good day though. It's a good day. You know what can randomly happen, which I find quite funny in this game? Those two guys on the right next to the fire. The guy on the right is actually a little bit too close to the fire. And if NPCs walk into him, he can actually touch the fire. And if he does, he will die. Very quickly, in fact. Fire kills you quick. As you would think. And if he does that, his corpse can fall onto the other guys that's, that is on fire, and they will then die from it. They will die from it as well. Here? There we go. He gives us a whole bunch of ammo we need and AK 7 for you. How many jobs? Bring over Cinder Dog Shell, find a jellyfish artifact. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna sell a lot of stuff too. Probably wanna sell these artifacts because none of them are particularly good. Except for the one we really want. Sell this. Sell that. Sell this. We don't need slugs anyways. They're kinda they're kinda useless for what we need. The thing is we want a threaded shotgun, so slugs are gonna be pretty useless to us. A majority of the time. So all this submachine gun ammo, we're actually gonna sell this as well. All of it. We're gonna sell all of this, and then a good bit of this as well, because we don't need all this either. There we go. Uh, energy drinks, radiation medication. We have vodka. Right, do we through them? He gave us a bunch of special ammo. There we go. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff. All right. Okay. We are going to put this ammunition in this box. So we're going to get a very powerful shotgun later on. So those are animal parts. Okay. So. Next up, what do we do? You may Good ask. Good hunting, stalker. We need a jellyfish anomaly or a jellyfish. Jellyfish are actually uh, somewhat common. They're not super duper common, but they're somewhat common. So I will be getting one of those. I think I know where one is, or at least where there are some of them. After that, we're going to be killing the sales representative, which will actually take us to a different side quest in a different area. And this different area is very, very important. By the time we kill the sales representative and come back, the army guys should be respawned, so we'll kill that whole we'll kill that whole group again. If you're wondering what kind of ammo he gave us, he gave us bullet piercing rounds, BP rounds. He didn't give us high overpressure rounds, which is what we want, but we we have uh, standard like bullet piercing rounds. So what these do, pretty simple. They pierce armor. They're good against armored targets. You know. How my bullets will occasionally bounce off the vest of a guy 
Like it'll just bang, bounce off of him. Yeah, that. That is something that'll happen. There's like a random chance. It'll negate the damage of a bullet. Or at least do significantly less damage because of how the energy transfer works. So these rounds make it less likely that it'll bounce off a bulletproof vest like what this guy has. And it'll just go straight through. Now we're usually aiming for headshots, because headshots are basically king in this game. So it's not the best, but eh, they usually do pretty well. Once again, if you play this game, play it on the hardest difficulty, because that's the best experience by far. No competition, really. Let's go! So a jellyfish. They're pretty rare overall. I mean, they're not rare. They're just hard to get a hold of because they're one of the they're one of the anomalies that's kind of useless. They're a bulletproof cap anomaly, but they're a mid-ranking bulletproof cap anomaly. Oh, it's thundering. Yeah, in the second game, by the way, you better be careful of storms. In the second game, which we will get to once we complete this one, uh, it, it can randomly rad storms are basically a thing, and the sky will randomly fucking explode and fry your ass. Holy shit. Uh, YOLO? There's a good few of them. I'm gonna take a defensive position up there. On this rock. So, oh for God's sake, there's so much noise in my house. Where the fuck did that massive group go? There it is. So much noise. Let's sneak around. It's not sneaky because they know exactly where I am and they're about to fire on my position. <laughs> so. Stay with me, guys. No! The dog distracted me. There's so much noise in this house. I wish there was more silence regularly. Silence is king in this world. Huh? 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 thing is so inaccurate. I mean, it has some of the worst accuracy in the game. For obvious reasons. I mean, you've seen the round I'm using, but... Actually, the round I'm using is kind of... I mean, it's not made for long-range encounters, but... I mean, it's kind of made for long-range encounters. It's a, it's a 5 millimeter, so it's... It's semi-made for long-range encounters. It's not, like, custom-specialized for it, but it leans towards it. It heavily leans towards long-range and distant encounters. I do love how you can see the bullets moving off.
This is such a good farm for ammunition. If you're wondering why I did this, because I saw multiple of these guys actually had like... Fuck. I saw multiple of these guys actually had like... That's what an AK is used for right there. Just keep firing out of the brush randomly. It'd be a really cool thing if these guys actually ran out of ammo. Sorry, I'm going quiet because I have to concentrate on trying to track their position. There's a stash. That's another reason I try and kill these guys because they probably have a lot of stash locations on them. I'm gonna move up on full auto. There we go. Pretty sure that's all of them. The dogs are eating good tonight, boys, I tell you what. We killed so many people. So many people. Saw it off. Bad, 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 bad. Jeez. Scared the shit out. I think we'll be good now. Okay, I think we're good now. Yeah, let's loot all these guys. Ah, uh, it sounds like someone in my family is once again ill. Oh, unfortunate. Ah, uh, there's always someone sick. Oh, this flu season is kind of ending though. Hell yeah, another government chest what what does that mean what what do you guys think that means okay i think we're good let's get going sorry i had to do that there were so many dudes there i got the location of i think three stashes that's so good by the way there might have been dudes that respawned you can change your ammo type by pressing x I would definitely want to use the non-specialized ammo, because we'll be using the specialized ammo to pierce the helmets, so we're a bunch of army dudes later on. I think we're good. I'm gonna save in here? Yeah. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna use a Q-tip real quick. Yeah, I know Q-tips are bad for you, but I don't care. I need them. I need them in my life so bad. I need them in my life. So bad. Ah, oh, so much better. Okay, let's go. So, jellyfish can usually spawn around this area right here. Plus, there's two caches up north, so we want to head towards those. We want more stuff. More stuff is always important. The better weapons, the better. Now, we're going to be... Always something. Always something. Always something. Always something. I think that might be it. See that thing? Anyone who can hear me? We've been attacked by a gang of bandits. We need help. Brothers, help us. We're in deep. Anyone who that's can the hear story. Me? If you're wondering, that's the story across right there. We need help. Brothers, help us. We're in deep 
shit. Bandits have gone mad. Is there anyone nearby? Damn it! We're dead meat. Okay. There's another one. Yeah, these are wrenched. There's another one. Yeah, there's a lot of anomalies just scattered around here. They're real cheap artifacts, so they're usually like garbage, basically. We will not be helping those guys out quite yet. Uh, there's a bloodstone, a stone blood. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Don't even try and climb on top of these. These are like large piles of garbage buried after the nuclear power plant accident. It's original radiation shit, you know, the stuff that started this in the first place. But there should be some anomalies, some, hopefully some jellyfish somewhere around here. Yep, there's one right there. And there's also stuff up here. Anyone have any questions in chat? Do you guys have any questions about the game in total? Because I love this game and I want to learn more about it because it's probably one of the best games ever made. Love this game. Wish we had more first person shooters like this game in the modern day. Because, in my opinion, F the FPS genre has gone so downhill with all this garbage that games like this should thrive. And they do. Games like this absolutely thrive. Every FPS game tries to recreate the magic of Team Fortress 2. But the thing is, the reason Team Fortress 2 is magical is not because it's how it is or how it's made, it's the fact that it is Team Fortress 2. And it's a game that has been shown a lot of love, affection, and that love has turned into what we do. I'm not just talking things like Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch, sort of, but there's a lot of games that also try to recreate Team Fortress 2 in different ways, or at least what Team Fortress 2 did first, which is the boxes and stuff. And the reason they're able to get away with it is because that's the personality that they developed for their game. But I'm seeing so many just garbage shit, just garbage shit nowadays. Call of Duty games are releasing skins which don't even have any armor or anything on them at all. Just like a dude wearing a t-shirt with no sleeves. Like, what the fuck? Why would you wear that in a war zone? Oh, hi, what's up? This is Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, if you're still there, if you didn't leave already. <laughs> it's for me complaining. This is Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. It's a game that came out in 2007. It's one of the best shooter games of all time. As I was just saying. In my opinion, at least. It's one of the best shooter games of all time. Sorry, I was getting really caught up in a ramble about the modern, the modern, uh, the modern shooter game stuff. It's a, it's a game taking place in a pretty big open world with magical artifacts and guns, and it's pretty cool. It's a really cool video game. It was made in 2007 originally, and it has been re-released on the PlayStation and stuff. For I think a couple months, and it's really good. It's a really good game. It's very glitchy, but it is a really good game, and it has a lot of love. It has a really big community on the PC about it. There's radiation here. I'm being irradiated. You can tell by the the screen lighting up. It has a really big community around it that has a lot of love, and I want to play it for you guys because well, it's a really good game. <laughs> Not only is it really, really good, it also has a lot of mod support on PC. A lot of mod support on PC. It's one of the most supported games I've ever seen in my life. So you should definitely check that out. Definitely check that out. Sorry about me rambling for so long about the state of modern video games. It just really ticks me off how a lot of video games are treated in the modern age. So yeah, like I was saying, yeah, we got all these Call of Duty games and shit, which had, like, just dudes wearing fucking nothing, no body armor. It breaks the immersion and the experience of the game, because you don't want to see that. You don't want to see emotes or fucking f finishers. Why the fuck would you want to see that shit? Yeah, it's cool the first time, but it has no sustainability to it. That's why they come out with a new Call of Duty game every so often. 
Because none of the games have any good sustainability because they have no immersion. You don't feel like you're at war. You feel like you're playing a Call of Duty game. This, however, makes me feel a certain Not like, oh, it makes me feel a certain way. But it makes me feel something special. You know? It makes me feel something special. It makes me feel good. The way this game presents itself makes me feel immersed in the world and in everything. And because of that, it does a really good job of actually portraying itself as a game. You know? I mean, I know some- I'm not trying to like dog on people, right? Uh, I'm not trying to dog on people who like enjoy other games, right? Because there are people who enjoy other games. Uh, there are people who enjoy the Call of Duty games, you know? I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that they're bad. Because the Call of Duty games are very good, but they don't immerse you like they would have normally. And in my opinion, something like this, a game like this, is very good at being a game and immersing you, and that's what modern Call of Duty games lack. But enough about the state of gaming as a whole. I want to get back into this game. We found the jellyfish. Right here. We found the jellyfish. Now we just got to get back. After the jellyfish, we're actually going to do a side mission. Another one. You probably remember in that guy's mission menu, he had a mission called Kill the Sales Representative. The sales representative he's talking about is actually in a side area that we want to go to. We have to go there eventually anyways, but we want to go there first because in this side area, first of all, the sales representative has something very important on his body that I'm hoping always spawns there. And secondly, very importantly, there's actually a side quest there. For something called duty, it's the the faction that I'm talking about. Uh, I only got one grenade. What are the chances I can get to that? Get to the trigger. Get to the trigger. Okay. So yeah, there's a faction called duty, D U T Y, over there. And we will be doing some work for them because the side quest that they have us do leads us to two dudes, two stalkers in this really big facility. These two stalkers, one of them has the Storm AN-94 with an underbarrel grenade launcher, and the other one has a threaded SPS shotgun. Basically, two of the best weapons in the entire game, right? Two of the best weapons in the whole game. No doubt about it. No doubts about it. Two of the best weapons in the game. Oh my god. Sorry, I just looked on stream. Wow, that looks really bad. The fucking tear, the motion tear in this game is really bad when I sprint, I see. Holy shit, that looks so bad. I've got to fix these settings. I mean, it, it doesn't look too bad if I'm, like, not moving, but it looks very pixely if I am. Which is unfortunate. So, everybody in YouTube chat right now. There might be a few of you, I don't know exactly. But I gotta ask you guys a question. Mm, about the first-person shooter genre as a whole. Do you think the first-person shooter genre has gotten worse or better since 2019? Because in my opinion, Modern Warfare 2019 was actually a very good game, and I enjoyed it a good bit, especially while playing on the hardcore difficulty. But since then, a lot of COD games have been reviewed very poorly, so have a lot of Battlefield games, and it looks like the gaming industry is going the way of indie games once again, right? So, what do you guys think? In your opinion, what is the better function? Right? What is the better function for games? Do you think a game should be made like this? A AAA game that's very simple and has realistic combat? Do you prefer the newer Call of Duties? 
with all that they do. Not from like a standpoint of like what they add or what they bring to the table, but simply their gunplay and their combat. Because I really like 2019's hardcore mode. I pretty much only played it on hardcore and I loved it. I loved how the game felt when you don't get any resources. Because it feels like games really coddle you with resources these days. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. Having, in my opinion, right? In my opinion, a game should give you knowledge but not resources. Like, if I could turn off that mini-map in the top corner... Actually, can I? I hope I can. PC identification, show across your target, master difficulty, video, frame rate, gamma, motion blur, no thank you, voices, master, control... No, I can't turn off the mini-map, damn it. If I could turn off that mini-map in the corner, I would. I would turn that minimap off. I just turn it off. A game should give you knowledge, but not resources. Resources are how you use the knowledge. So a lot of these COD games giving you, you know, kill streaks and such like that. It feels very illegitimate. You got. There we go. He gives us some vodka. And uh, a good, good amount of rubles. Good amount of rubles. Uh, okay, so we got the stone flower artifact we're going to do next. Get the stone. Do I already have one of those? I don't think I do. Good hunting, stalker. Stone, stone blood. No stone flower, but we got another dead fish. We're actually going to sell stuff to we don't need all this, right? We do not need these artifacts. These are dummy artifacts. They're garbage. They're garbage junk. They're junk. They're junk. They are junk. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Now that's the way. We actually have a lot of money. So when we get to the bartender, we're gonna splooge a little bit. There's actually a new uh, encyclopedia thing. Radiation! Yep, radiation. We already know about that. Animals, the boars. Massive mutated animals reaching 1.5 meters at the shoulder. The zone boars, aggressives. Oh, um, the zone boars, aggressives? What? Aggressiveness and the ability to survive surpasses by far, those by far of its relatives outside the containment area. Yep. 2011. That is the year that the zone expanded up. Artifacts, we have stone blood, slime, and moonlight. We need a stone flower, which is a lesser bulletproof artifact. Burnt fuzz is another anomaly. It actually produces a lot of anomalies that cure radiation. Whirly gig, we don't want to go near one of those. And spring boars, those are the ones that throw us downwards. Uh, the scientists, the locations, we got the garbage. And then that folklore, local folklore. Superconductor. Yep. So let's go get a stone flower now. We actually got to check if those army guys are going to spawn yet. Because if they have, they'll have better weapons. Oh, baby. I like what I see. I like it, I like it, I what I see. We're gonna save the game and kill these guys again. So, this is Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. the dudes with the helmets on. Now they might have uh, AN-94s in their inventory. I didn't see what weapons they were holding, but there's a good chance that they do. Ah, they despawned.
Their cor the old corpses are still here. I wonder if that massive pile of corpses is still there. No, that's not These guys, in the middle, these two might have AN-94s. It's not a guarantee, it's a maybe. If they do, however, that'll be f fan fucking -tasty. Nope! I thought he didn't have a helmet on. It's actually good, because we want to reload the game to kill those guys before they despawn. Oh. Okay, ready? We're gonna pull one of these. <laughs> Kobe! No. Oh, we're on semi-auto. Yep, that, that was my issue. <laughs> that was my issue. Ah, probably should have had that lever in the other direction. Probably should have had that. God damn it. Probably had it, should have had that other, that lever. Yeah. They can't really get a good beat on me. They have so much health. They rest in head-to-toe in Kevlar, of course they do. He went down, though. Yes, he had an AN-94. He had an AN-94, he had an AN-94. Oh, mint condition AN-94. We got the burst, baby! Mint condition AN-94. Where's the second one? I think he ran back. You may be wondering why I'm so excited just to have this one gun. Because it's an AN-94. It's like the best weapon in Modern Warfare. Specifically because it has the burst quality to it. Control bursts like this are really good for our enemies. Except for when they're nearly immortal. Like these guys are. Alright. Go into Florida. Yeah, a a burst is really good. Yeah, that pile of corpses is still there. Thought it would have despawned. Is that a dude? Maybe. I'm gonna switch to Florida. Oh, cheeky breaky broke. What's up, dude? I'm gonna use some of these. I'm also gonna search that entire pile of corpses again. Just in case the one of them spawned with a, uh. There, god damn, those fucking Kevlar best man, holy shit. Good thing he missed half his shots, another AN-94, fuck yeah. There's one more. The only bad part about the weapons in this game is how old this game is. That's how old this game is, by the way. Keep in mind, this game is almost 20 years old. This game is so old that new guns have been developed. Oh my god, he was accurate as shit. New guns have been developed after the game came out that would normally fit in the game. That's a crazy thought, isn't it? And of course, someone decides to run the vacuum right now as well. Thank you so much. Of course. No silence for me. Can't work in peace. Ugh. Well, either way, we shouldn't let this get us down. Let's keep going. 
I wish I could record and say it wasn't 6,000 bit rate. He's horribly inaccurate. Oh, are you fucking with me? God damn it, that Kevlar vest absorbed every shot I put on him. Fucking eats 30 rounds because your fucking vest is thick as fuck. Should have been aiming for his fucking head, man. Keep in mind, each one of these guys is an AN-94, and these things are worth a lot. They're also light as hell. Yeah. They're really light. I mean, they're not as light. Light is my current weapon. They're not technically an AN-94, they're a really light weapon. Don't worry about it. I could just jump down there. Uh, Yolo. No, we can't quite. The railings. The fucking rooftop is blocking us, goddammit. This motherfucker down here is camping my ass. Maybe that'll encourage him to come up here. We can waste him. If he comes around the corner. We can waste his ass. Pull up! No one here. God damn it, every bullet absorbed in that vest. I should have been aiming upwards. God damn, I could dump a whole mag into him if they hit him in the chest. There. Should probably use the armor piercing rounds. They hit him in the chest, there's nothing I can do. He just fucking absorbs it because of how fucking thick that Kevlar is. Keep in mind, these are basically the strongest enemies in the game for this area. I mean, they're not the strongest enemies in the entire game, but... They're pretty powerful. Shot me through the wall. Ah, uh, damn it. Gets me every time. I'm gonna use the armor piercing rounds on full auto. I need their weapons. By the way, I will warn you some of some of the guns in the game steal my polygons. They steal all my polygons. <laughs> We'll see you that later, right? We'll see. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you how it steals my polygons later. Some of this dumbass looks at this door. Right Way. There he is. Reload. Reload. Crouch on this corner. Reload, please. Crouch on the corner. Save the fucking game. Aim your gun. Let's go. Oh. 
All I need is just a few good headshots to get through that fucking thick-ass helmet and that thick-ass skull of his. They're not coming. I oh, mean, he he's right there. Man, he cannot hit shit. There we go. That's what we gotta do right there. Their helmets are very weak compared to their fucking chest blades. These guys are so hard to kill because the fucking ammo I'm using is also garbage. We're good though. We are so good, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. God damn it, I hate these guys so much. He's fucking camping, bro. He's camping. Time for this. Right, the next guy's coming up that staircase. Here we go. Drop his ass? I did that. Last guy. Let me show you the burst capabilities of this thing. <laughs> See how powerful burst is? Really good. Burnt for some reason. The shadow make him burnt. I think he bled to death. No, he's still alive. He's still alive. Братишки, не могу больше. So that was the military base. Yeah, they respawned the M94s. Or at least I think that's what this weapon is. I'm pretty sure. Either way, they're in maximum quality, basically. And they go for a lot of money. But we're gonna sell them. Is this one? Oh, this stash weapon's gonna do it. There we go. More encyclopedia nonsense? And snorks. Seems these creatures were human at some point, though it is difficult to imagine the, what condition turn, could turn a human being into a disgusting beast. Snorks are insane creatures, leading a beast's life and do ooh. monsters of the zone. Yeah, that's a snork. Enemy raid into the zone, 2011. Slug? Very nice. Uh, a bunch. Only no contact inflicts, inflicts injuries similar to effects of strong acid. Yep, it'll burn your face off. It actually causes massive bleeding damage. There's some later in the game we'll get to in a certain area. Oh, no! I'm not recording! My recording shut down. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some... Fruit punch is uh, kind of shitty. It really hurts. It, it doesn't do any damage to you. It doesn't have to do any actual damage to you. It just repeatedly applies the bleeding status effect to you like a hundred times. It is annoying as hell. Uh. It's very annoying. It's very irritating. But let's go and sell these AN-94s. You got the loot? You can also sell this gun now. This. And... Not bad. 
make sure this is unloaded. Somebody's making pickled eggs in my house. Let's go! Come on, chat. We have an adventure to go on. We still need to get that stone flower. Good hunting, I I fuck I'm just gonna go north in this zone. And hope some of these stashes have a stone flower in them. Or there's like a stone flower somewhere around there. I know the bullet cap stuff usually spawns in the northeastern, yeah, northeastern section of that part. So we'll go there. If you're wondering why I wanted this, it's mostly because of the burst capabilities, but also the thing is a lot more accurate than the garbage gun we had back then. Plus, burst is superior. It's a superior firing mode. A lot of people think it's garbage. You know what? I think burst, at least in video games, is pretty cool. It gives me a good option for mid-range and long-range that I wouldn't be able to use normally. You know? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Also, the slide looks really sexy. Oh, look at that slide. Look at that slide. If you're wondering how I know so much about guns, because I lived in America. But also because of, it's just like a gun. Look at how sexy it is. Oh, I mean that front sight is an abomination unto God. Whatever God you want to worship, pick one. But, um, I mean it's an abomination, but at least it looks good. You know what's funny? See that little little dot right above the site? Right on the top of the circle, that little dot right there. That's the, <laughs> you're supposed to put radium paint there. You're supposed to put radium paint in that little dot so you can use it at night. That's what it's used for. So you can just put the target right under like where you're supposed to aim and then fire. It doesn't work very well. It's a garbage weapon. Once again, uh, like... I say, oh, this weapon is so cool. This weapon is garbage, right? I mean, it's not technically an AN-94 either, because it's, it doesn't even fire the right rounds. This is an Obake, or Obaken. It's in a prototype version, basically. It's made on the same type of weapon platform. It has the same functions as an AN-94, but the rounds it fires are super tiny. I mean, I don't even think it can chamber... No, it can't even chamber 5.56. Five, it can't chamber 5.56 five, five, or its much superior cousin, 7... Six two, which is a much more superior round than five five six in my opinion. I know a lot of people disagree with me, but I'm just saying for the situations how for the situations which five five six is usually invested in, seven six two can handle it better. And for the areas where seven six two is flawed and is good, has flaws but is good, five five six does well. So 5.56 five, is usually used for more long-range encounters, me medium to long-range, where it excels, right? It excels at medium to long-range encounters. That's what it's good for. But I still feel like 7.62 is better because assault rifles aren't made to be long-ranged weapons. Oh, uh, sure. An assault rifle. There's nothing technically. It's not technically. It's not called an assault rifle. That's the wrong. That's the wrong term. You know what I'm talking about. A rifle like this. These types of rifles aren't made to be long range weapons. They're made to be medium to close range weapons. Shit. Yeah. There's radiation in this area. We gotta drink some vodka after this. There's like a small patch of radiation right there. Hey, vodka. They're out of my system, thank you. But they, it's so annoying that people are always like, Oh, 5.56 five, is the far superior round, when they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. If you're gonna, if you're gonna use a long distance round, 
Don't use 5.56. Five, just use a fucking marksman rifle. Seriously. Just use a marksman rifle. It's that fucking easy. If you want to go long range, don't use 5.56 five, and an M4. Use a fucking marksman rifle. What the fuck? Because 5.56 five, doesn't pierce anything at close range, right? The, the fucking penetration power of 5.56 five, is so low at anything shorter or longer than, sorry, shorter than 20 meters. That doesn't matter. You're not going to hit shit. Sure, it's an accurate round, much more accurate than, than 7.62, but the whole point of an assault rifle is to have the philosophy, the idea of accuracy through volume of fire. So you're defeating the point of an assault rifle if you give it a long-range round like 5.56. While 7.62, on the other hand, 7.62 has a lot of penetrative power up close and it serves its job as an assault rifle. Because people aren't trying to take long-distance shots with 7.62. They're trying to use it properly. Up close, or at medium range, where 7.62 is the best. 7.62 loses a lot of kinetic energy when it extends beyond 20 meters or so. That is true. I'm not going to argue that. That is true. 5.56 is far better for long-distance encounters. But why are you trying to have long-distance encounters with an assault rifle? That's not what they're made for. They're not made to be all-purpose weapons. They're made to be good weapons that can be used well at the fuck. We need a stone flower. This constantly pisses me off. Because, like, oh, it, it pisses me off so much. Because people always think assault rifles need to be this, this, this perfect weapon. It doesn't. And you know what? There is good combinations. I know I'm being a bit of a hypocrite right now because my favorite weapon of all time is chambered in 5.56. But the thing is, they use 5.56 really well. My favorite gun of all time is the French Army FAMAS, simply because it's a really high-tech weapon, has a lot of really good potential, and it works really well with the platform it is used on. It is a really, really high-tech weapon. It's, it's very futuristic for when it came out, and it's very futuristic even now, because of how powerful the weapon actually is. But people just always go on about the M4, when there's... I feel like the FAMAS is such a, a much better weapon. The only reason the FAMAS isn't seen in the same light is, I think it's because it comes from France, and France is always seen as the dirty, horrible country that can't do anything. It's just like bad at combat. But they're not. The French the French military is really powerful. The FAMAS and the catwalk system that comes on the newer FAMASs is really, really good. Really good. It's one of the best weapon platforms of all time. It's just people don't care because it's French. Well, so you, you can't even get them in the United States. They're like... How much is a FAMAS in the United States? Hold on, let me, let me look that up real quick. How much is a FAMAS in the United States? Okay, here we go. A FAMAS assault rifle. Holy shit! $30,000! Yeah, they're, they're about $30,000 in the U.S. I'm not going to drop $30,000 on a gun. I'm way too cheap for that. I'd rather just get, like, an AK. Like some bastardized version of a Soviet AK. I'm not spending $30,000 on a single gun. Unless I become the richest VTuber that ever lived, I'm not spending You know what? I'll make that a goal. If I become incredibly wealthy from this job... I'll spend $30,000 and do a fucking hand reveal firing a FAMAS. I'll do a full-on hand reveal firing a FAMAS. Full power. 1,010 rounds per minute. That's what I'll do right there. I'll do it. But otherwise, I'm never having this, man. Please tell me that's a stick. That's a jellyfish.
30,000 bucks. God damn. The worst part is, it's not even chambered in, like, any new 5.56. Five, Most Famasas are chambered in, like, older 5.56 five, five, rounds. That's the worst part about them, in my opinion. They're a really good weapon otherwise. They just struggle with their ammo. Also, it's kind of got a bad... The gun has a kind of a bad habit of uh, ripping brass shells in half. Because the gun has such a fast fire rate, keep in mind, 1,010 rounds per minute. That's the fire rate of some submachine guns out there, you know? Because it has such a fast fire rate, the gun has a bad tendency to just rip rounds in half as they're coming out of it. Which isn't the best. Also, you can't convert the FAMAS to left-handed. It doesn't matter too much for me because I'm, I'm ambidextrous. I trained myself to be, but you can't get a Famas left-handed, which I know is a... Is that a stone flower? Oh, I still want it, though. I'm greedy. You can't get a Famas left-handed, which sucks, but you can't get a Famas left -handed. I mean, I guess you could. If you're in the military, you probably can pretty easy. I have no doubt the French military probably has left-handed famosses. It's just how the rounds eject out of it. You don't want to use it as a left hand, because it's a bullpup, right? It's a bullpup. It's a bullpup, so rounds eject out of the thing in the back, and if you try and use a famos left-handed, you're gonna get some serious round burn on your face because the, the these hot ass rounds, which some of them may be ripped in half, are gonna be thrown all over your face like you're a ten cent whore on half power, and it it it's not a comfortable feeling having rounds ripped in your face like that. It really isn't. It really is not. It is not fun. Of course, uh, both the FAMAS. Both using a FAMAS and, of course, uh, if you are a, a Tencent whore on Happy Hour, I absolutely support you. Uh, I do believe that sex work is real work and that it is a good profession, so long as no crime is being done with it and you are a willing participant in it. There are many countries around the world that actually have good work like that and where it is legalized, but not where I live, at least not for now. Been a, it's been a profession for thousands of years, yet somehow modern countries just aren't able to handle it. Mostly due to all the crime it can cause. Ah, that's why you work with the criminals. Have you seen that shit, man? And if you're a frequent user of the FAMAS, if you're, a, I don't know, someone in the French military, maybe. Um, good on you. Why are you watching me? I don't know. Maybe you're just a big fan of stalker. I don't think the FAMAS is in this game. Maybe it is. Uh, probably not, though. But maybe. Ah, of course, yes. The dogs. My apologies. I completely forgot that they were just fucking dog packs for the place. No, he doesn't have a stash on him. Okay. But if you are a frequent user of the FAMAS, uh, tell me, like, what do you think about it, right? What do you think about Ah, hello. Another stash. Stalker's backpack and bus. I think that's actually down here. Yeah, it is. The reason I'm running around looting corpses like this is because I need to get more stashes to see if there's a stone flower in them. Stalker stashes usually have anomalies in them, so we might get lucky here. You know what's another really big thing that causes crime besides possible stuff like that? Prohibition. Prohibition in America was really rough back in the day. I remember this. There was a huge ban on alcohol. Now, it didn't ban all alcohol, like what most people think, just in its liquid form. But later on in Prohibition... Sorry about the banging noises. Later on in Prohibition, there people started to cook with alcohol, using it in, like, mince pies and stuff. And that was a big thing. That was a really big thing back then, and that was the whole phase this country went through. We're just banning alcohol and stuff. 
which was annoying because what happens when you ban something there's gonna be a demand for it and if there's a demand for it criminals are always going to be willing to supply that need they don't have any morality well they have morality just not towards the law the law does not make up their morality damn it so yeah that's how it kind of be that's how it kind of be and yeah now i tell you what there are some places in this country this is a mature stream by the way but I, i'm gonna say that out right there are some places in this country which do actually have you know sex workers and i'll say that in America, at least, there are some places that have that, and they are professionals. There's also places in Japan like that as well, which have those. And they are professionals. And it does show that this is a real job that people do. I mean, fuck, penguins do it. Penguins do that. So I don't see why humans cannot do it professionally either. Fuck, I mean, online, we, even us VTubers do it, are you kidding me? I mean, I, I know I'm a slut. But... Is there some VTubers that aren't? Like Rika. Rika ain't willing to do that kind of stuff, but I could. If I could, I would. If I could, I would. But unfortunately, I'm still in the learning stages of being a VTuber, so I don't know about that stuff quite yet. But when I learn about it, you guys better be ready. I mean, my, my stream is normally mature anyways. But yeah, a mature stream, everybody. But, oh, that don't look good. Mature stream. But yeah. That's kind of how it would be. There's not a st I mean, I know anomalies can spawn up top on those things. There's not a single stone flower around here, though. I could check the radiation field. By now, I think I kind of have to. So there's this big field of radiation over here. This entire area is hard irradiated. And not a good place. Not a good place. Hmm? Not a good place. Now, there are anomalies which spawn through here, but you gotta get to the other side pretty quick. Just kinda run. Yeah, I see you right there. Radiation, 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 radiation. And when the screen darkens back to normal. You're out of the radiation. Get drunk. No, this might be a stone flower over here. Mm. No, it's an electron. It's an electrode. What's an electrode? It's like a thingy. It's a thingy. It increases our electric shock resistance, which is very important for when your dumbass runs into anomalies that shock the shit out of you. Okay, we're gonna run through this again. I don't think there's any over here. Very irradiated place, but uh, there's nothing. Hmm. Maybe that wall of fire could get us there? Maybe? Try it. And my radiation doesn't go down, I keep forgetting. I, I literally just have to drink vodka. More vodka. The Russians really like their vodka. It's like a very big thing over there. I mean, I doubt it, considering they're the ones who made it. They might be a little bit obsessed with it. I know when you make something you enjoy, usually I really like it a lot. But they take their vodka very seriously. So many different types as well. I wonder, like, why? Like, why is vodka so big over there? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. It's very big, though. It's a very big, popular thing. Hmm. Alright, I was thinking. I was 
trying to think of where to find one of these stone flowers at. I pretty much searched this entire area. check over here then at this whirling mass of death with these anomalies that kill your brain that's basically what these are really sucks hmm hmm we could start searching these bodies again see if they have any anomaly not anomaly see if they have any um loot on them there's one springboard the bottles Seller's Tag. Yes, yeah. Came on me, it didn't loot his corpse originally. Neither did I loot his. Huh? Yeah, some, some corpses will have... If you come back to an area, some corpses can have a... Uh, Ooh. Another sparkler. Fuck yeah, baby. Any of those stashes within this area? Yeah, there's one up north. Uh, of course. Save our game. Ah yes, I forgot that bandits spawn in the world in this area. No, there's gonna be an asshole right now. So fully healed with bandages. Oh my god, damn it! Motherfucker tried to flank me with a shotgun. I caught him off, but he still got my ass. Uh, who are they shooting? They're just ripping rounds into the air like a bunch of idiots. Do you think one spawned in these again? I think the boxes are preset. Well, not entirely, but I think they're preset for the area when you enter it. I think they already know. Thank you. How did you hit me? Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. I'm gonna do a flank. So I need to get where they are. Here it is. I really need to get where they are. I'm gonna flank these fuckers. So I basically have infinite stamina with these two sparklers on me. See what I mean? There are so many of them. Got two of them. Damn it. They have such a powerful weapon. I don't know what that is, but it's fucking... It shreds me. I think it's a submachine gun. This is the perfect, perfect opportunity for first. Oh, 
coming up right here. I'm not gonna win this like this. I'm not gonna win this like this. I'm pinned down in this field with nowhere to go. Ripping rounds in my direction, I can see them going past me. Most of these guys are escaped convicts, so it makes sense how they can't hit shit. That's why Burst is so powerful right there. So powerful. So fucking powerful. So fucking. It's a bad idea, but I was looking for the muzzle flashes. There we go. I was looking for the muzzle flashes. What a dumb bitch. <laughs> I don't know where it's safe. I might just run to the left. Oh no, I'm gonna run. As soon as I come out. As soon as I come out, these little fox stars will save the game. Go to the right. I'm gonna try and get to that. That thingy here. What are these things called again? I don't remember. I know my mind is going well, on something else. Backhoe. They're called backhoes. Little fox. You're wondering how they're doing so much damage to me so quickly? It's because of the weapons that they have. How many bandits do I have? Really like? There. It's because of the weapons that they have. They have fucking shit like. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, they have vipers. Which are submachine guns. It's one of these. They have these Viper guns. This guy had a shotgun. He was a dumbass. These Viper guns are submachine guns. And submachine guns are basically the perfect weapons to murder me instantly. And to murder me instantly. As soon as I get close to these assholes. Because the range I'm usually fighting these fucks at is the perfect range to use a submachine gun. It's basically the perfect range to use a submachine gun. It is almost intentional. I feel like it's intentional from the developers. You can also do single shots with these. But they fire 9mm rounds. Which is stupid. They fire 9 mil, which basically means, yeah, 
They oh they also have reverse to them. Don't they? they also had three reverse for some reason. They have a full auto. They have fucking nine mil, which sucks. Nine mil rounds are just horrible. And I still haven't found a stone flower. This is our last area right here. I bet you that's a stone flower. That's a soul. Soul? Why are there souls here? That's a soul. Radioactive. Um, so I was concentrating. There's a soul right there. That's a soul. So if you don't know what a soul is, uh, I might actually have it in the encyclopedia. Uh, soul. Yeah, right here. A very rare, f a very, very rarely found artifact located near the Whirly Gig anomaly. Only a very few managed to find this artifact. And fewer have seen it. Even seen it. It has a nice shape. What? And an equally nice price. That's one of those right there. We're so fucking close to it, but so far away at the same time. Come on, you little fucking cock tease. You little cock tease. No. Damn it. And there's radiation. That's a soul. That's so much money right there. If you're wondering what happens when I walk into this. That happens. I get fucking thrown around. At least I grab this thing. Oh, fuck. Look how quickly that makes our hell regenerate. So fast, bro. Really nice anomaly. Okay, well, we got the soul. I mean, I could try and get the other one. Hey. <laughs> nope. Try and get the other one. No way, wait. Stop. Hey. No, no, no. By the way, I'm not moving. I, I am keeping my character still. I'm not really controlling him. Where'd that other thing go? How the fuck am I supposed to get through this? Hey, 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 whoa, come on. It's trying to suck me up and pull me in. No. What's oh, a jawbone? I got a jawbone. Ugh, I hate those things. What they they try and suck you into the air and explode you. And that little tiny ball right there, see? Wee, you got me. Ugh. I hate these things. 
Come on. There we go. Wee! No! God damn it. Get out of here. Ah! Ha ha! Huh? Okay. By the way, the only way I can really control myself is basically by drifting. At least I got those things. Soul, jawbone, they're all uh, regeneration. Garland. See how quickly that makes my health regenerate if I have two of those? Imagine what five souls would do. Okay. We have been unsuccessful. We found none of the anomalies we needed. There is one last place we can go, though. Right back up here. There's an anomaly that could be what we need. I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna go. See, that's a, that's a whirly gig. That's why they call it that. Because it throws you around like you're a ragdoll. The only way I can control myself is by drifting, and then occasionally... Because I'm not touching the ground for a lot of that, right? I'm being sucked into the air. Occasionally, I'll uh, I'll touch the ground, and if I hit the if I hit the sprint button, I can actually get out of it. I can run away from its pull. It's really fucking annoying. <laughs> really annoying. See how long I can sprint with two sparks? Imagine what five sparks would do. Five the sparkler. Sparks are a stronger one. Ah, it sounds like somebody's gonna run the vacuum again. Great. Fucking balls. Balls, balls, balls. Damn it. Hmm. I don't understand. There's no stone flowers anywhere around here. Hmm. No! no. Damn it. Damn, did radiation too. We're either gonna fail this mission because we ran out of time, or we're gonna succeed because we find a stone flower. Did I find any stashes for the southern section of this map? I did, I found one. There could be a stone flower down there. I'm gonna run and grab this ammo and then get that stone flower. Huh. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Ooh, if you're wondering why I'm not going up, it's gonna not even bother. Freedom has that checkpoint locked down. Sorry, duty. Duty has that checkpoint locked down, so I can't even cross if I wanted to. There's gotta be a stone flower around here. There's so many anomalies all over this place. So many artifacts. Not a single stone flower. Yeah, see, there are dudes over there. They won't even let me pass. They won't shoot me on sight, but they just won't. They'll tell me to get the fuck out of the way. And then they'll shoot me. Um. What is that? You think there's like. I know there's anomalies on top of this thing. Perhaps I'll try and grab it. <whistles> Fucking hell, there's one right there.
Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> so much radiation damage. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. At least I got what I needed. We gotta run back. Luckily enough, we can run for so long with these other anomalies with us. I keep calling them anomalies. They're not even anomalies. Oh my god, what am I doing? It's still on Neho. Stupid me. I forgot to just tag the stream as Stalker. Sorry, yeah, before stream, I only I woke up like two hours before stream. <laughs> Because my sleeping schedule really fucked right now, and I had to get ready by doing the thumbnail, and I completely forgot. My bad, my bad, my bad. That eh, doesn't matter, I'm gonna be streaming for a good bit longer anyhow. Especially when people keep- hold on. There we go. Especially when people continue to run the vacuum right next to my doorway. Whatever. We're running back. We're hustling. Hustling. We're hustling. These in these things give us a whole lot of energy to keep running. Plus, we our uh, weight is kind of low. It's like what three ish? Yeah, thirty two. So our stamina regen. While we're while we're sprinting isn't affected too much. It's basically what your stamina bar is. It's a it's a battle of sprinting. It's a battle of regeneration. Because there will be things that increase how much you take up when you sprint, and there will be things like weight and such. There will be things that increase how much endurance you regenerate. One day I'll show you guys the stamina bar, but for now it's it's hidden behind me. It's mine. So it's mine. So. Bet there's some army dudes here that I'm gonna get shot in the ass by. No, huh. How strange. Good amount of ammo though. And somebody's running the vacuum again. Great. Let's just keep running. Keep running. We got the stone flower, that's all that matters. Ah, uh, good thing I remember. There's like, there's a shitload of anomalies on top of those things that you can get a hold of, but the thing is you just take maximum radiation damage when you, when you go up there. There we go. That was good. Kick it into high gear. If the FAMAS is in this game, do tell me I do. We're hearkening back to that whole conversation. And down and around. Down and around. Got anything valuable? Exactly what you needed. Stone flower, you get 3,000 and some bot. Uh, we can clear out the area of mutants. We can bring him a chunk of meat. I believe we already have one of those. Yep. Kill the sales representative, clear out the mutants. We're gonna clear out the mutants. We have a lot of money now. We've kind of just been grinding on the side quests a good bit. We're gonna put these in here. This is our storage chest. We have to run back here every time we want. Yes. Well... Good hunting, Stalker. We gotta clear out the area of mutants. It's the area up north a little bit. Now we have even less weight on us. We have uh, 30, exactly, so we can just run even more. Imagine if we had five high grade items, like five very high grade 
Uh, artifacts. Sorry, I'm getting down on these dogs. That would be really good. That would be very good. That would be very good. Okay. I'll use my hand. I think of this thing holds 15 rounds. There we go. We're gonna use one of these, and then we're gonna go back. By the way, there's still a, the timer still applies to collecting your rewards. So if... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a jump scare. Oh. Oh, I almost ran straight into that thing. Oh, oh. Oh. I fucking ate some of my own fucking snot there for a second. I felt it go right back into my sinuses all the way. Oh, oh man. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh. Oh. Okay. You got the loot. Ah, oh, that was close. All right, back to me. Oh, uh, we got slug rounds. Very useless to us. Uh, kill the sales representative. Now he is way over. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. This is the other guy. Yeah, you gotta start out with these two first. Yeah, you gotta kill these guys first. Okay. Good hunting, stalker. Now these sales representatives can actually have some good shit on them. Oh god, I felt that going to my sinuses. Ugh. Okay. All right, Chad. Are you guys ready to go? Let's go. Duh. That was weird. I thought there was a controller trying to kill me. We'll run into those later. But uh, my camera jerked to the left for some reason. Must have been a glitch. Oh no. It's our friend. We have to kill our friend because it picks a random NPC. Sorry. Because it picks a random NPC to kill on the map and it made us kill our friend. That makes me sad. God damn it. He was a first aid kid and saved that guy's life and he made me kill him. Oh well, money's money. It's the zone, after all. Let's go. These guys haven't died from the fire yet. No NPCs have walked into them yet. Here for the job. Kill a stalker, torch the light, and an artifact. Kill the rookie stalker. I'm up for it. Let's go. We gotta kill another guy. Well, now we're just performing hunting, hits. Stalker. Oh. Fuck. We can't get that guy. We actually can't get him. So you're the back. Show the map. 
Yeah, this guy's accessible. I we Good actually can't get that other guy. Stalker. It's impossible to get to him. Because of that checkpoint isn't open. We'd have to start doing the story quest first. Oh, sorry. Look at how many look at how many springboards are in this area. I wonder how the dogs don't run into these damn things. It's like they know that they're bad. The boar's eyes, they go in the dark. I thought that was a pseudo-dog sitting down. Nah, that's not. Unfortunate. We could use some pseudo-dogs right now. Our next quest we gotta do is some pseudo-dog tail collecting if, uh, if the other assassinations don't pop up. It's a good thing we can run for so long. We're gonna put one bullet in the back of his head, and then we run away. Call him to take Avenue. Actually, we can sell that because we're going straight back to him. All right. We have a lot of money now. Ooh, I don't like it when the screen does that. It's a very cool effect to warn you, but I don't like it. Just like these things produce invisible light that can't be seen unless, unless you get near them. We're just running. We're running. We're running. Keep running. This game's a lot of traveling. Oh, don't worry, there's no fast travel. Your ass is moving and trekking. Yeah. Which honestly is good. I would prefer if more games didn't have fast travel. Skyrim on legendary difficulty has no fast travel and it makes the game very fun. So you gotta move everywhere. You gotta move. It's like the carriage that only takes you to major places. You just gotta go, you know? You gotta go. Gotta go, you know? Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta keep running. So much running. That's why sparklers and this, Yeah, sparklers and sparks are so fucking powerful, because you have to move everywhere. And then you put your, your like, good stuff for combat on in the fight. Got anything valuable? Got a gravel! Yep, bring the pseudo-dog tail. I don't even know where we find sort of webs. So. They're really hard to find. They're like very, very, very rare. I mean, I'll try it. It doesn't have any other special jobs other than that one. So, I mean, I can try and find one, but I haven't been able to yet. Not bad. We have a good amount of money. Good stuff you've got good. there. That's my boy. We can try and find a pseudo dog. Okay, we got the stalker. Yeah, that's our first field objective because we couldn't do it. Fox's PDA is the dude who got mauled. Ah, uh, there's a kitty cat assaulting me. Ah, oi, oi, oi. Hello. Hello, kitty cat. Sorry, he just woke up. He seems like he wants attention. Hold on, give me one sec, guys. I need to give this cute kitty a lot of attention. He likes to crawl on top of you. Force you to pet him. Murmuring and making kneading paws on your flesh. He's very cute. He's making biscuits right now. Making biscuits. 
who's making biscuits. Oh no, he farted. He farted. He farted. <laughs> Why, Kage? You're lucky you're so cute. I love you. You're my boy. I love you, kitty cat. Alright, what were we doing? Pseudo dog tails, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I know where one of them is. Good hunting, stalker. I doubt it'll be there. I know it spawns over here, but that's it. Keep in mind, they have a low chance to drop their tail anyways, so this will be hard. Are those guys respond again? Nah, no, they're still dead. I'm sure they'll bring more of them. So what is a pseudo-dog, you may be asking yourself? Pseudo-dogs are mutated wolves. We don't actually have their thing. Well, we have snorks. For oh yeah, that guy's still going to shooting his buddy in the back of the head. He'll be next if we don't shut the fuck up. Ah yes! Bandits in the area. How could I have forgot that they restock themselves? I'm just going to Naruto run through here. We are fighting dreams. Ah, uh, let's get the fuck. Go Flow has to be the best Naruto opening though. It's it's so good. That's what that song is called. Naruto opening four, I believe. Go Flow. So my favorite anime opening. My favorite anime opening would have to probably be. Bleach opening four. Bleach opening four. Or Ichi no Hana is another good one. Bleach, I believe that's a Bleach opening three. This is a pseudo dog right here. That's what they look like. Don't know where to find them, but I know they're randomly in dog packs around the place. Oh, we gotta go assaulting random dogs. a really weird looking boy. Does he look different? Okay. Ah. Hold on, there's a large scab on my shoulder. I need to rip off. Ow. Ah, oh, fuck. The fuck. Suit. By the way, you can trade with any NPC, by the way. Looks like he had some fun. <laughs> oh yeah, they'll, they'll talk amongst each other. They'll tell each other jokes as well. I want to want to meet someone who's played this game and understands Russian to understand what they're saying, because they'll tell each other jokes, they'll laugh. There's like full-on like punchlines and setups and everything. And depending on what depending on what faction they're part of, they'll say different jokes. It's a lot of radiation. But there might be a pseudo dog. Okay, this tunnel is very radioactive. Is there anything even back here? No. Sure as hell isn't. God damn it. I have to go further down the tracks to avoid the radiation. That still doesn't avoid all of it as well. Oh, 
you don't take automatic damage, just if you're over a threshold of radiation, that's when you'll start to take damage. There's a teardrop in here for some reason. I'll take that. I will not question why there's a random teardrop. That's one of the... That uh, subtracts radiation from us. It makes us more resistant to radiation. It'll s subtract it. Stash. The hell do I even find it suited? I don't even know where to get one of their tails from. They're so rare. I mean, there's only like one in the whole area. That's a boar. I don't know. You guys know where to find these things? God damn it. God damn it. I'll just reload the save so I don't want to waste any time. He doesn't have anything on him with this guy does. Mustache. Maybe this guy will spawn with a stash now. Mustache. Gun, I'll keep it to sell it. I don't remember this building being here. No, man, this is the church. Sorry, this place is just very cozy to me. Doesn't this place look nice and cozy? Let's climb up here, climb around up. Climb right through here. This is such a cozy little location. You could live in here. I mean, there's no like power electricity. It's a pretty nice place to live. Look at how cozy. There's a staff. There's nothing I did on the chair. I don't know what it actually did on the map. Just went on the map. This is this is such a little cozy area. There's a cozier area. I'll show you guys later in a bunker. But this is so cozy. Just a nice tin roof over you. Oh, elevated off the ground. Nice place to shoot people that come near you. Locked by in by nearly indestructible boxes. They're probably filled with random junk. Such a nice place. Brick walls, nice floor, a mattress. Ugh. Hole in the floor. Angry boards. What a cozy little place to live. I'll check for pseudo dogs along this route. I doubt there will be any, but I know there's going to be a lot of dogs. Super irradiated. That truck is incredibly irradiated, by the way. Don't go near it. All the corpses of all the people that I killed, some random poor. We can check for pseudo dogs in the eastern side of the next area, but I doubt there'll be any. Is that a flashlight? How much is the lowest checkpoint? Uh, this place is still getting power. Ain't this just a cozy little place back here as well? Look at how cute this is. Some people may say it's drab, dreary, and unsafe, but I say it's a quaint little place. My lip is bleeding. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa my. There we go. Alright, let's move. Oh, we're looking for pseudo dogs. Yeah, 
doubt that I doubt that would be an item, but I might as well look. You know, dogs usually spawn around here. I don't know if pseudo dogs and normal dogs share the same spawn. They might. They might share the same. It might be rarely that in a dog pack a pseudo dog can spawn. Probably pretty rare though. Probably pretty rare. Hmm. What? The meow? Oh, he meowing. He meowing. He heckin' meowing. Okay, hold on. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be right back. Give me like 10 minutes, I need to grab something to drink. Guys, 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 guys. I got a freaking brownie. Not a cosmic brownie, it's a caramel brownie. I'm gonna eat this on stream. Right freaking now, man. God. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mm. That's the real shit. Mm. 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 Better than all the crap my character in game has been eating. Imagine eating sausages and rations for days. I'd lose my fucking mind. The rations wouldn't be that bad, but the sausages would be horrible. I'd kill somebody. I'd literally just eat rations all the time. I couldn't eat a sausage. Hmm. Not unless I was starving to death. Hmm. Just taking a quick snack break before we get back in. Hey yo, everybody in chat, how you guys doing? How's your day been? Are you guys excited for any holidays coming up? 
I don't know what's really going on. Hmm. Hmm. What is this month? What's so important about this month? Hmm. I found out. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's national uh oh it's national chip and dip day mm. oh, i hate chip and dip mm. uh Oh, that's already February. February's coming down. Hmm. Not too many big holidays coming up. Hmm. 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 Delicious. You gotta enjoy the little things, you know, guys? It's the little things. All right, I am done with my snack break. Ah, pseudo dog tails, huh? I'm gonna take a drink of water. Pseudo dog tails, huh? Mm. I don't know where to find these damn things. I've only played the game for about 20 hours, keep in mind. But I have no idea where to find these damn pseudo dogs. You would think they would spawn in a dog pack like that. Hmm? But no. There isn't a single pseudo dog in there. I don't know where they are. Those dogs are probably chasing me. No, okay. I don't know where they are. Don't know where they are. Hmm. 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 Hey. Oh, sorry. Hey, one of you in chat. Yeah, you. You right there. Go on Google. And look up where some pseudo dogs would be within the area. I look around. It's a team effort, remember? Team effort. I'm gonna work as a team. But in all honesty, I have no idea where these fucking things are. Uh, we have a teardrop now, so we can kind of go through more radioactive areas. I heard a wolf. Is that just my imagination? Wolf, wolf. That's just the dog pack. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Whole bunch of nothing. Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl has no dogs in it. Maybe on the other side of the map? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know where you would find pseudo dogs at. I thought they would be in like dog packs, but no, they're pseudo dogs. And so, where would you find them? Pseudo. Pseudo dog pack? That would be unpleasant. There's multiple pseudo dogs in the pack. Those things are really tough. I heard a wonk wonk. Oh. Hmm. Pseudo. Pseudo. For fuck's sake, are you guys kidding me? Pseudo dogs. Oh, kitty cat me out at me. Give me a sec, let me let him out real quick.
Sorry, his territory is in my room, but he uh, he won't go out. If he does want to go out, he meows at me. Open a door for him, because he don't like doors. Most cats don't. They don't like doors. Pseudo dogs. Pseudo dogs. You think there's any more? I doubt it. You think there's any more anomalies on top of these things? I know what there is. A shitload of radiation. Let me save the game. Which one of these face buttons is my radiation medicine? Army first aid kit. Can I, can I assign you? I can't know how do I assign them? Yes. I'd like to reload the save. Options. Controls. Controls. Medikit. Bandage. Sprint, move, strafe. Can't strafe all of them. Can't. Zoom in. No. Voluntary menu. Green menu. Talk menu. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to rush in there. Stop myself from immediately dying. Need some food. What do we got? We got a stove? Wow, those spawn up there. Those are the two things I needed before. And they spawn up there. But I saved myself so much fucking time. Alright. Do this again. Radio. Oh, there's a lot up here. Yeah, this is great. Oh. I can really feel that radiation pour itself across my fucking chromosomes. Yeah, you can feel the DNA just slowly coming online like a prom dress. Oh man, this is so great! Uh, two wrecks. There's just three wrecks were up there. Man. I'm gonna fucking pop a cat. <laughs> Look how many dogs there are. Guess what? They're not pseudo dogs. God damn it. There's not a single pseudo dog amongst them, though. Of course there isn't. Why would there be? There's three wrecks up here, though. I mean, it pays for itself. It more than pays for itself. Three. Way more than three up here. Actually. Didn't spawn. The same thing didn't spawn. Huh. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, no pseudo dogs. Hmm. No pseudo dogs, none at all, in fact. We can go on top of that one. But the, because these radiation pens are pretty much useless to us, right? The only reason we'd want to use these is for the reason we're using them right here. So we can run on top of these things. Plus, I still have a can of food and some and some health kits I can use, so. We'll run on top of this one, see what we can find up here, because there's a shit ton of artifacts up here that no one has gotten because no one wants to die. I don't want to die either, but 
So I so I'd have bad risk risk management because my mother always protected me when I was younger. Therefore, I do not know any risk management options. Therefore, I'm dumb as fuck. Uh, that's a chunk of meat. Is that it? Ah, uh, yeah, that seems to be it. There's a chunk of meat up here. And that's it. Alright. You have to think these radiation pins are also made from anomalies that just destroy radiation as if they never existed in your body because of how they work. Open up the soul. Oh. Ugh, nothing. Not a single pseudo dog anywhere. Huh. My hands smell like fish. Well, we should probably go back to it and tell them we're unsuccessful. At least we got a lot of anomalies, so. We're at full health now. Um, manufactured by the Whirly Gig Anomaly causes increased cell growth on the- On the other hand, the newly formed cells are much more perceptible to the effects of physical- Oh. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Let's go. Enough radiation poisoning. Let's move. You know, I got a radiation detector right here. I ended up buying one out of safety reasons. Okay, no, there's no bandits at the gate. Please don't crash! Okay, we're good. Sometimes it crashes if you go through this gate. If you go through the gate, sometimes it crashes. You'll always start with your knife. Or a pair of binoculars. 29. Okay, we can go sprint right now. We got the zoomies. We do have the teardrop on us, though, so we're not exactly the best sprinter right now. So hold on, this because this reduces our endurance. Zoom, 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 and zoomers. Zoom, 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 zoom. zoom. Such a peaceful day, you know. There's gunfire, blood, the world burning. The zone is truly something beautiful. There ain't no other place like it. What a beautiful day. It beats anywhere, really. Beats anywhere. Beats anywhere. Beats anywhere. What the fuck was that? I don't know. That. I hope he has more missions by the time we get back. We've given him a lot of time. He's probably restocked. He's good. These guys by the campfire are dead yet? No, they're not, sadly. They'll die soon, though. Even eventually, like, I'll get a little bit too close. They'll catch on fire and die. Then we can take their stuff. That'll be cool. That'll be so cool. So you. Uh, I can't do this one, my friend. You got no job, though. Who is Dreadlock? I've heard of a stalker by that name. Rooms. 
Rivers is he's one of the very few who went to the center of the zone and made it back. Still, we got so many of these legendary stories about stalker heroes that I can't really guarantee anything. At any rate, I've never dealt with him personally. It seems he's his own trading channels. Huh. Anyhow, he asked, just ask the folks here in the zone and you'll be sure to learn a lot more. stuff to him. Meat chunks. Some of these. You can actually want that meat chunk in the future, so we'll save it. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Pass it. Oh, 5.5 M. 5.4 M. 5.4 M. This is a legendary weapon he has. He will rarely sell this, but we can get this thing. Fuck yes. I would like it, sir. Not bad. That's my book. Oh yes, baby. Hell yes, baby. Oh. Good hunting, stalker. Look at this sexy thing. We're firing one, one and automatic. Okay, it's a modified weapon. It's got a lot of damage and a good fire rate. The gi given barrel is the excellent work of one of the stalker's craftsmen, who managed to work the rifle to be able to fit more widespread 5.45 mm bullets. Fuck oh, yeah, baby. It only has 20 rounds in it, but we gotta test this thing out. Good stuff. Oh my god. It's a legendary w so you could- oh, let me explain this. Oh god, I have fucking uh, gun boner right now, as Deadpool would say. Oh my god, so a legendary weapon, you can tell they're legendary by, like, the arrow next to them. We're actually gonna sell this thing because we don't need it. There we go. I was gonna sell these now. Not bad. Now we're just gonna we'll throw these in here just in case he wants them in the future. Got any jobs for me, man? Damn it. Oh my god, man. Fucking legendary well, weapon. We good have hunting, a legendary. They're unique weapons, technically. The way you can tell if a weapon is unique is if it has the little arrow next to it pointing upwards. If it has the little arrow pointing up, it means it's a unique weapon and it's legendary. It is somewhat of a heavy weapon. Okay. We're kind of being forced into doing the main missions here. However, I'm going to do the side quest over here. I'm also going to kill the Bloodsucker. Oh, fuck yes, baby. Look at this sweet sex thing. Oh, yeah, baby. It's a fucking Thunder 545. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah! So good, man. Oh my god, I am so happy right now. This thing does a lot of damage, as you can see. Its barrel is specially fitted. It's such a powerful weapon. Still so good. Yeah, the only issue is these, these iron sights, man. Look at this shit. What am I supposed to do with this? Whatever, it doesn't matter. We finally got ourselves a good weapon. I'm so happy. 
Oh, he he rarely sells that thing, but when he does, it's it's pretty cheap. It only that was less than half of our money, and it's a legendary. We lost a lot of it, but we're only missing we're only missing, you know, one hundred fifty thousand now. So it's not that too big of a hit, and it uses the same ammo that we had been using previously. The only issue is it has twenty rounds in the mag, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Because this weapon is our ticket. Our ticket to godhood. Sure, it doesn't have an underbarrel grenade launcher, although it looks like it does. <laughs> it does. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm not gonna use it on you folks. Oh my god, I hate this shit. I please get the fuck away. I hate how animals have random amounts of health. You have absorbed more than 20 rounds to your facial region. Thank you. Completely out of handgun ammo. Just gave me an excuse. And it's got an under barrel grenade launcher. Uh oh, no, no, we're good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Staff, do you have the ammo in this, sir? The hmm. stash. Yeah, that's the one by the Ukraine. We'll go get that one. Oh, baby, baby, baby. This is a good gun. Maybe I can get more ammo for it if these dumb fucks die to a boar. Any of you died? No. These these boars can drop their hooves occasionally if you're lucky. You have ammo. Yeah. Do you have ammo? No. Reload the gun. Do you have ammo? Yes. Do you have ammo? Do, do you, do you have ammo? Yes. We're missing one shot in the mag, but we're good. We're good. Oh, fuck yes, this thing is amazing. Under barrel grenade launcher. It's a bullpup, my favorite. Oh, yeah. Yes. We'll go and do that duty side quest now. Because we have really light ammo. We have barely nothing in our inventory that we don't need. So we're good. Probably drink all the alcohol too. But we're going to have a celebration. I know what we're going to do to celebrate. We're going to have a bit of a celebration later this to end off the stream in about two or so hours whenever I get there. You'll see what I mean when I get there. Oh, fuck yeah. I can't believe we got this thing. Under barrel grenade launcher and all. So fucking good. I'm gonna bring some vodka. Alright. Going into a new area, so let's save. Has a modified... I think it might be a modified one, because that thing looks... This Is this like an actual gun? It looks really weird. The grenade launcher looks like it's like... Nope. No, sir. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, thank you, sir. Damn it. 20 round mag. The 
gun has weird recoil. Oh god damn it, the dogs killed him. He has a really nice weapon. Question. That's a scope. There are modifications in the game. That's even more. Fire into the pack. I'm gonna do this quick as well. For an ambush. Once he kills I'll this thank guy. you for your help. A duty. We always pay our debts. Yeah. Follow the duty member. So there's no weapons in this area. There's no handguns. There's also some legendary weapons here. There's attachments in the game, as you saw there. He had a he has a scope on his weapon, and I could take it off. There's attachments in the game, which is pretty cool. There's a bandit down there. This dog stripped me of all my ammo. I hate it when the game does that. It's not a bandit, that's a traveling light. It's one of those anomalies. Sparkler. It's a spark. I don't want to stray too far from him. <laughs> More stamina. More stamina. More stamina. So we gotta help this guy with this. Switch this to full auto. Position. Gotta shuffle all of it. Hide on the other side of the road. They'll be here soon. Open fire only after I do. So there's gonna be some bandits coming. We gotta take down. Oh, we're gonna take them down with our new gun here. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> there's an AK later in the game, which has a faster fire rate than this thing does. Oh, we're gonna be using this. We're gonna be using this. They're coming. And here we go. So, first guy that will come out is a duty member. We don't want to shoot him. He's being escorted by two dudes right behind him. So Bullet. Thanks, friend. Hell, I already kissed my life goodbye. Thank this stalker. He's the one who helped me. Oh yeah. Thanks, Come bro. Over. We'll talk. He had Argon. Now we get another quest. Free the duty member prisoners. Up in this section right here, this is a massive dungeon, right? This area right up here is a huge dungeon. What we're gonna do... I'm gonna pick up these weapons real quick. Unload them. Then we're gonna go back to our base. Our stash. And we're gonna empty out as much in our inventory as we possibly can, including like med kits and stuff. By the way, this bridge is radioactive. We're gonna empty out pretty much everything we can. Out of our inventory. Oh, you are alive. Oh, he's different. Oh, he just, he's just a little bit different. Let's 
scared me because he looked different. So, I thought he had like more health or something. Okay, there's a sparkler in this lake. There's also radiation here. Where is that spark? I know we passed it. Oh yeah, there's also a stash in this truck. You gotta get around these electric anomalies or they'll fucking blow your brain out. Yeah, there's a stone flower in there. Where did that spark go? Might have despawned. Might have missed my opportunity. That's one of the better anomalies. One of the uh, artifacts. We'll, we'll search it up and down the river, see if we see it. See if we see it, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, the, the water is very radioactive. Oh, okay, 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 I get it. 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 Okay. So this place is very radioactive. Let's, uh, let's hit the roller. Ah, goddammit. Alright, well that didn't work. It bounced off of them. God damn it. How does it keep bouncing that far? Huh? These dogs have that much health? Keep in mind, not even like some of the uh, some of the dudes can survive this grenade. Some of the army dudes. These dogs have that much HP. I wonder if I uh, do this, they'll be gone. The thing is, that guy's always there. Just gonna wait around a little bit. Just gonna wait around a little bit. Maybe try and fix the OBS stuff. Okay. Now we go through. Now oh, there's that. Still alive. Follow me. I know a good place for an ambush. I'll thank you for your help. A duty. We always pay our debts. <laughs> Two shells. 135. Okay, we're good. We should be at least. Hopefully those sparklers spawn again. I think they will. Or not. 
Damn, we could have had a really good artifact if we were just an opportunist. Nah, no, they're not smart. Like... Oh well. Yeah, they're not there. Oh well. Better than wasting a bunch of ammo on those dogs. We're gonna we're about to get up a lot of anomalies here. This side quest we're about to do is insane. You get so much. There's two legendary weapons in there. This spawned again, though. We gotta do a shuffle. Hold on. Shuffle. 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 Hide on the other side of the road. They'll be here soon. Open fire only after I do. Yep. So we wait again. At least I saved ammunition on those dogs. They're coming. Let's just chillax for a moment, you know? You know? Chillax for a second. Oh, yeah. You're gonna stretch in there. Lean around the corner. Pull their face off. Pull the. Bullet. Thanks, friend. Hell, I already kissed my life goodbye. Thank this stalker. He's the one who helped me. Thanks, Come over. Bro. We'll talk. Thanks, bro. I love that voice line. I love the voice line. Thanks. Let me see. Yeah, we've already read all that, so. Okay. So that was that mission. Now, we're gonna explore around a little bit, see if there are any anomalies we could take. There's a spark. An electrode anomaly over there that'll murder us. Any artifacts? There's that stash over there with a stone flower in it. A slug might also be good. Slugs are pretty cool. Slugs are anomalies. Uh, they're artifacts that stop you from bleeding, basically. They give you, like, plus 300 bleeding resistance. Hmm. Some pigs. Hmm. Hmm. We'll kind of circle around the place, see what we can find over here. Whoa. What is that? Looks like a bloodstone. There's another one down here as well. Stone bloody yeah, hours, right? No, 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 please, no! God damn. We'll go over here. We'll go and check that stash out in a second. I didn't think one of those things would be around there. Ooh, what's this? Stone flower. What the hell is this? It's a jellyfish. It was just upside down. Nothing, it's a stash. Go and check this stash out here. There might be something in here. No human. Oh shit. It's a bandit's butt. 
He had a line on me. So good. Damn, did you see those shots go off to the left? That was a risk. Probably shouldn't have been doing that in hindsight, yeah. Oh, you have a double barrel, my friend. You gotta reload. I heard thunk thunk. I'm like, oh, oh, your ass is dead. You have to reload. We can see. Because we're kind of strapped with cash right now. We spent a lot of money on this thing. Uh, okay, so these things are locked, but sometimes you can actually pull items through doorways. Too bad none of these things actually have anything inside of them. If I, I'm holding down the loop button right now, so I'd be able to see things in the environment. Okay, this looks like a double, yeah. Small food, someone's making something. I smell good food. Hmm. I think it's Cabalsi, that's sad. It smells good because I'm hungry, but... Bolsi is honestly a very bad food. That's a stash. Secret stash in the pipe. Secret stash in pipe. Uh, let's climb up here. Okay. Ah! There is a reason to be up here. Shotgun shells, we always need those. Medication, who doesn't love some good old medication for your injuries? A oh, very precarious fire escape. Well, we're gonna head back down now, chat. We're gonna head back down, and we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... Where's the, where's the ladder again? Oh, there it is. Yeah, right. Is there a way to get up on top of this? There might be something up there. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing up here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, sorry. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. I wonder where that guy went. I hope whoever chatted in chat a while ago, asking what this game was, picks this game up out of curiosity and experiences it for themselves. Because goddamn, if you are not playing this game, you are missing out on I something beautiful. That. You really are. <laughs> He made no noise. I didn't even hear him. Another stash. Sometimes I their guns face through the map. Yeah, it happens. Huh? Well, that's suspicious. Oh, there it is. these AKs are super light, I can carry a lot of them. Carry a lot of them. We need, we're gonna probably go buy ammo. 
if he has any. He usually doesn't have that. You usually have to do missions for them. If he has any missions in this area, we're going to do them because we're going to start expanding into this area now. Expanding into this area a little bit. My crap. No, okay, there's a lot. There's something over there. I wonder if it's in the basement that we can't get into. It might be. Or it might be like... Here? No. It's right there. No, ladder does not count as jumping. I thought it might. I thought it might. I thought it might take more of our stamina. Uh, we got a... Ooh, we got a slime! That's nice. And some overpressure ammunition. Like that. That's what P means. P plus means overpressure ammunition. If you didn't know. I know there I know not everybody in the world is familiar with firearms. If you come from a country that doesn't have a lot of guns. The old man, it's 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 the fuzz. It's the fuzz. We need one of those. This thing creates a lot of anomalies that we need really badly. It creates the urchins and the uh, cracked urchins. Maybe they'll be one of the top. We're lucky. Nah, nothing. Nothing. No, like, urchins or anything. So this fuzz stuff absorbs radiation, and occasionally, the center of it can fall out. Lore-wise, I don't think that's actually programmed in game, but the center of these things will fall out, and they'll create urchins, cracked, uh, sorry, t uh, solid like crystallized urchins and thorns and solid crystallized thorns. Urchins are the better version of those, but they're very rare. They're very rare. Who knows? Maybe we'll get one in here. There is a stash over here. Nothing. I think we gotta head back and prepare for the big mission coming up. Cause there are, there's like... 40 dudes in there? In this big dungeon over here? There's like 40 guys. There's like 40 dudes. There's a lot of dudes in there. There's a lot of guys. We'll head down the road. See where the bridge takes us. Buddy. I got a badink. Hmm. We'll see where the road takes us. We'll go around there, see what's up, see what's happening. Do all that, you know? We'll do all that. Do all that. Because we're currently still not losing stamina when we walk, so we should be good. We gotta get over this bridge quick, though. Speaking of stamina, there we go. The bridge is irradiated. I wonder if I can kill these guys with a body shot now. Pretty much. Yeah, these guys have way more HP. HP. They're the same thing, though. Let's go. Let's keep moving. Let's keep waddling. <laughs> Little waddles. Let's keep waddling. There's a small encampment over here with some dudes behind it. Whoop. What's up? Oh, no. We're gonna save the game. Slime are pretty cool. I didn't want to talk about these real quick. I got sidetracked. Uh, slime or stop your bleeding. From Fruit Punch. It is certain that this artifact is created by an anomaly called Fruit Punch when carried on the... Oh. When carried on the... Bess. The wound needs less. What do you mean? 
although the body of its owner becomes more vulnerable to various burns. Beard all the best. Blue wound bleeds less. What does that mean? Is it like does it cause like your does it cause mutation in like your what are they called? Platelets. Does it cause like a mutation in your platelets? Who knows? I'm getting dings occasionally. I don't know why. Why you want this awesome gun? I found the no. <laughs> No, I don't want no awesome gun. I got the best gun right here. I bet he's gonna give me a piece of crap even if I do that anyways. Which one of you is it? He wants vodka. Hey, you have a vodka. Here, I take the vodka. You need to drop it away. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting buddingings. What the hell is that? Does that mean I'm near an artifact? That would be nice. Because you can hear it occasionally. It's very hard to hear, but uh, your tracker will actually beep at you when you're near an anomaly. If I get close to one, it'll beep beep. Telling me there's an anomaly. Let's go over here. I've never explored this part of the map before, so let's go over here. Huh? Something sees me. Oh, it's a Zulu dog! Please have a tail. Please. Good. So that's where they are. Okay. Wow, that actually scared me a good bit. I did not expect a pseudo dog to jump at my face. There's no, like, anomalies on the countryside over here. That's a really big map, as you can see. This whole area is up to it. Hmm. Nothing sees me. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting radiation. Well, I'm getting lots of radiation. That means there's something over there worth protecting for the developers. We're gonna let our stamina regenerate and we're gonna run over there. Nothing. Nothing but a mangy dog. Nothing but a mangy... Ah, oh, goddammit, there's just an anomaly. I thought that was an artifact. Nothing but a mangy dog. Nothing but a mangy dog. Damn it. Fuck. Is there anything around here? Uh huh. Hello. Not exactly the best place to hide. Then considering you can easily get washed out. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, the game doesn't like me doing that. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the trader. We'll trade all of our crap in. Get some ammo and try and lighten our load a little bit, because we're going to get a lot from that place. Oh yeah. Okay, we're good. It's actually... Nah, we'll get it later. Another location of a possible another teardrop. Broken memories. Lost innocence. Whatever that is. I don't know. Where some people see innocence, I see radiation poisoning. I see ignorance. 
We just had a couple more teardrops to be able to abandon these radiation needles in total. Radiation! I'm being radioactified. God damn it. Teardrop for that. Anomaly. Oh, there's just a soul sitting here. There's two souls just sitting here. There's three souls just kind of laying on the ground over here. Holy shit, that's a lot of cash. That's a lot of health regen. Yeah, our health goes up speedy with those things. With three of those things on, our health goes up so fast. Look at that. It's just ticking up. I mean, we're still gonna sell them, but they're nice. What do they do? Uh, impact, rupture, bulletproof. When you equip one of those, will actually have negative bulletproofings. Chemical burns and burn. You know what? We'll equip that. Stop our bleeding a little bit, because we usually get bleeding. Uh, we're going to have to worry about our psychic resistance eventually, though. Our telepathy. Why is that in the game? Ho, 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 ho. You'll find out. You will find... There we go! It crashed. That's why I saved, because the game can crash when going into a new area occasionally. That's two crashes for the stream. Wish I had like a error I could do. Two crashes. We got two crashes. I wonder how many more we can get. Two crashes. Got two crashes. Two crashes. Two crashes. Got two crashes. Can we get a third? No, we're good. Okay. We're good. No third crash for us quite yet. Although we now are radioactified. Ooh, radiation. Radiation. I ran out of stamina in the wrong place. Radiation. Radiation. Please, for the love of God, go fucking faster. Radiation. There we go. Enough radiation. There we go. Now I'm cured. We gotta get rid of these things. Okay. We're in a good spot here. We're gonna go talk to him. If he has any more missions, we'll do those. Except for the pseudo dog tail. This sucks. But we'll do those. And then after that. Uh after that. Um after that. I think we're gonna have to do the dungeon. And kill the bloodsucker. So the bloodsucker, there's a there's a, like a bunker that we're gonna go to eventually when we follow this main story in there, in that building right there. And bloodsuckers are mind flares. They're literally almost mind flares. They have tentacles and everything. But they're really hard to kill, and I, it's the first one in the entire game. And we have to kill it, and it's really fucking creepy. So, that's what we're going to be doing outside of that. Outside of that, that's that's what we're going to be doing. Other than the whole song and dance with the radiation and the, the, the big dungeon full of bandits. Is that a massive herd of bandits? It is. I'm not going to fuck with that. Wait a minute, they might die. Some of them are setting off the anomaly. Uh, plus all of them have like I know three of them have three of them have AKs. 
We're in Mavic Kings. We could go after them for their ammunition. <clears throat> Probably won't be enough, though. We're just going to pass them by. You can't engage in every combat you see in the game. You'll run out of resources real quick. Well, there's way more dudes than that than I thought. I thought there was three of them. I thought, sorry, I thought there was five of them. No, there's... There's six. <clears throat> One dude can make a hell of a difference in a fight. One dude can make a hell of a difference in a fight. Well, our armor is also going to break pretty soon, but don't worry about that. We're probably going to find a merc suit in the building that we're going to in the dungeon. Almost guaranteed. Eh, no bandit spawn. There's a stalker down there, though. <sighs> so, chat, what's up? What you guys doing? How you guys feeling? You guys feeling good? You guys feeling good? Good. Happy you guys are feeling good. We've been going on for about four hours here. I'm still going to play a little bit longer. going to save in case the game crashes. I don't like loading new areas. We're good. Okay. I don't like loading new areas. Sometimes the game crashes. Sometimes that will happen because these guys have very unstable corpses. There are so many animal corpses around here. There's about to be more. Whoa! Whoa! That! I don't like these janky corpses. This guy was so lucky. I'll grab my ammunition, put it in there. I think he had an AK. Nah, he had a fun. No, he did have an AK, okay. Net positive ammo. Nice. He had an AK 94. Oh, we, we gained a little bit of ammo from this. That's nice. From this little venture we did here. If he has any quest, because I, I know he can have a quest in that area we were just in with the dungeon, so we're gonna go to that if if it's in there. We're gonna go to that if it's in there, because that's a pretty important quest area. That's a pretty important quest. So, what do you guys think of the game overall? Pretty cool game. I like it myself. Ah, for fuck's sake. I should call this thing Rat Killer because all I'm doing is killing rats and dogs with it. I like the game myself a good bit. It's really fun. Ah. It's so peaceful as well, just walking through the Ukrainian wilderness. So nice. So nice, so peaceful. Maybe when the whole war thing finally blows over, I might go to Ukraine to visit. See what happens, you know? See what the place is like. I know it's a lot of wilderness. I know they have a lot of forests. It's also cold, apparently. Which, I mean, I can get behind. I love cold. I love cold weather. I would prefer it be winter all year round. Thinking about moving to Atlanta. That's where I currently live. It's only cold half the year round. And the trees block a lot of us. A lot of the cold. Hmm, hard to say. Man, it's beautiful. Look at that sky, man. Alright, time to kill the military guys that have no doubt respawned by now. We still don't have any grenade ammo. By the way, it's realistic, so if you shoot a grenade right here, it won't explode. It actually does need a distance for the warhead to trigger. Which is unfortunate. But whatever. 
That's what we gotta deal with, is how it works. Because if you know, if you don't know, if you shoot a grenade, like, at your feet, basically, it won't actually go off. The warhead needs a certain amount of force on it to explode. So it'll just tunk stop right there. We're making our way downtown, walking fast. Well, walking at a mediumly moderate speed. Let's talk about anime, shall we? Because uh, there's a lot of anime that I want to see. There's a lot of anime that I want to see, but there's one that I really like. It's, uh, it's... It's Italia. Italia's a good anime. Since we're talking about countries and stuff, Italia's a really good anime. What's another good one, huh? You guys got any personal suggestions? I know One Piece is really popular because of the live-action show. One Piece is pretty popular, I know that. What? Oh, what the fuck? The dog. My eyes couldn't focus on whatever that was. Oh, the guy died under the bridge. He's dead now. Mm, what a beautiful place. You know, there's a play I wanted to see back in the day called Beetlejuice. Let me save the game in case it crashes. Beetlejuice. That would be a really nice play to get and see. Nice and cloudy, probably nice and cool. Creepy ass tree in the distance. Man, that tree is creepy. Don't tell me that doesn't look like a screenshot from a COD Zombies game. It does. Like an old COD Zombies game, it looks like a screenshot from it. Like I'm expecting round one to pop up on my screen. Oh god, a zombie. There are zombies in the game. Well, not zombies. They aren't the living dead. They're just living people who have had their brain melted. I know about that because I ran into one of them on my other save file. Scared the shit out of me. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to the traitor. Okay, we're gonna off offload all of our stuff. Well, these are unloaded, right? Yeah, okay. Got anything valuable? What else? These are souls are worth a lot of money. Plus, we already have some, so. Sell all those FMA, FMJ rounds, let's sell these. Overpressure rounds, we can sell these. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Oh, we want that, though, don't we? Not bad. We're back Pretty to where we were before we bought the gun. There. Now that's the way to go. Um, want to cut some weight here, so let's bring five of those. Put two of those in there. Uh, we want to cut more down, more weight. I mean, we will run into a lot of radiation, though. Hmm. Anything we need in here? Not really. We'll put we'll put the slime away. We don't need the slime because we got plenty of bandages. I think that's basically as minimal as we'll get. Ah, right, you know what? We don't need the shock. We don't need shock either. We just need anti radiation and endurance. So this dungeon is pretty expansive. Good hunting, stalker. This dungeon is pretty expansive. We're gonna take the teardrop off for now so we can get there faster. This dungeon is really expansive. It's a pretty big dungeon, right? It's a massive facility. There's over 40 guys in there. Now we kill them pretty quick with our weapon here. Real quick. Have those army guys respawned again yet? Yeah. 
Yes. Perfect. I'm coming. It might be only the one guy, but I'll still I'll still go for him. Mm. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One dude alone manning an entire checkpoint. That would be scary. Ah, oh, that's a landmine if you wonder why I just exploded. This guy to come out here, guard this place till the others get here, and then they're gonna get here, and he's just gonna be dead on the ground. Shot three times. That would be really funny. That's a really funny scenario in my head. Just dead on the ground, shot three times, laying there, dead. I don't think any of the loot in any of these places respawns, no. Items in the environment never come back. I believe items in boxes don't be there, yeah. Alright, let's get going then. Let's go and sell this weapon. Uh, we got a little bit more ammo. A little bit more. A little bit more money, too. Well, we can blow this pop stand, you know? Let's get out of here. Ugh. So, from this dungeon, we're going to get a lot of artifacts, two legendary weapons. We need to make sure those legendary weapons are intact, because there's a lot of anomalies around the place. There's a lot of anomalies. So, we're going to make sure those legendary weapons stay intact, because anomalies can damage weaponry. We're basically going to bring back as much as we can from this. Legendary weapons and all. There's also a lot of handguns inside, so you know what, just to save the weight, I might drop my hand. You good? Not bad. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna drop my handgun. Just to save some weight. And this grenade. We're only gonna be using this. And you know what? We're gonna even drop even further. We're gonna put this tier in there. Now we're well, super speedy. Good hunting, stalker. All right, let's go. So, you may be wondering why I'm doing all this just for one dungeon. This dungeon is intense. This dungeon is really intense. There's an entire room just full of loot inside of it. There's a grenade launcher in there. There's a weapon with a grenade launcher as well as ammunition for our grenade launcher here. So it's a really crazy place. It's a really crazy place. And we're going to be in there. We're going to be going in there. We're going to be going in there and we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. A lot of crazy stuff. Mostly killing everyone inside. Saving a prisoner and getting the poss possible ammunition in there. As well as the weapon. There is a... There's a 45 ACP handgun in there. Which is nice. I don't gotta tell you that 9 mil sucks. Like, no one... I, I know there's a lot of argument before between 45 ACP or 9 millimeter. It's not an argument. It's not an argument. 9 mil sucks. 9 mil sucks, and it will always suck because it sucks and because it's 9 mil. Wow, I almost died with that. Because it's 9 mil. It's just a fact of life. Now, 9 mil, 9 mil lovers will always say, Ah, the round is smaller, so it's easier to fit more ammunition into. Sure, it makes sense. Accuracy through volume of fire is always something valid, right? It's something always valid. But the thing is, you're shooting 9 millimeter. Sure, it's a, heavy, it's a metal projectile moving at your enemy at high speed. But it doesn't matter how many you shoot sometimes, because it's 9 millimeter. It sucks. It's a garbage round. 
45 ACP is all where it is. As a great man once said. Nine mil's alright. But as another great man once said. Nine millimeter kills the body. 45 ACP kills the soul. You gotta make sure people don't come back as a lich. And it's true as well. Well, not the lich part, but... <clears throat> 45 ACP is way better than 9 mil. The rounds are heavier, they do a lot more. The Smith & Western ACP rounds, uh, 45 ACP rounds are pretty bad. They usually suck a lot. But personally for me, I would rather have consistent stopping power with my handgun than a lot of ammunition. Because the thing is, unless that is a fully automatic handgun, which most are not. Unless you're a Glock, I guess. You're not going to get a whole lot of value out of it, right? You're not going to get a whole lot of value out of a handgun that fires very quickly to choose 9mm. Because you're not going to put the target down. You might hit him a good few times, but you're most likely not going to put the target down. Now, 45 ACP, yes, it's a slower round and you have less ammunition, but your shots have a lot more worth in any life or death scenario. That's why 1911 has been so popular for so long and it is such a good civilian handgun simply because it has those capabilities to be so strong because it has a good consistent basis to it it does good good damage it's good in a long-term fight it's really good i know i've been complaining about guns a lot in this episode but that's, that's that's what you signed up for. You're watching me play a realistic shooter. So there you go. I'm giving, what, giving you what you want. It's real. It's not realistic to use 9mm. Unless it's like on an animal. 9mm is alright on animals, right? Smaller creatures. 9mm is pretty good on an animal. Is that a... There's actually like a tide. There's like waves. What the fuck? Never noticed that. This game was ahead of its time, kind of. On some things. There's a flipped over truck here. There's nothing there. Just... I might be hallucinating. I'm always looking for a good opportunity to get something. Whatever, let's go. So, we're gonna hang to the right here. There's a couple buildings over here. They don't really have anything inside of them, but... Huh? Losing it. What the hell? I think I'm seeing stuff that ain't there. Game's gonna get into me, maybe. This is the big complex. You don't want to go in through the front door. It's suicide. Whoa. What do we got here? Ah, uh, a couple fireballs. Uh, yeah. I'll take those. Those are radiation killers. Don't go in there. You will explode. Oh, there is a stash in there. Or, I don't know, I guess that stash on the map. That's it. There's nothing really around here. I mean, there's, there's nothing really around here. I never checked any of these buildings though, so I might as well. Thing over here. I think it's just more fire. Well, there's actually a door right there. That's a really good place to put that stash. I'm hungry. Oh no, I'm hungry. I don't have any food. I stripped myself down too far. I wonder if any of these buildings have food in them though. Yeah. Probably some bandits or something inside though. The fuck is it? Is it like the boiler? No, it's not the boiler, it's like an incinerator. Oh, uh, There's some blood. Okay. Anything actually around here, or is this place just completely empty? 
There's more blood. What the hell? Why is there so much blood around here? Oh, that's why. What the fuck? What was that? <gasps> it's a blood sucker. It's a blood sucker. It's a blood sucker. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. It's a good thing I'm wearing fucking headphones. Oh, I heard it yell. Oh my god, that scared me. I know what they look like because I fought one before. Yeah, those are invi- That's the predator, basically. That's the predator. This guy got food on him at the very least, but holy shit, it's a bloodsucker. Come on. Get, get the buck up. I saw that he was in the fetal position. If they're in the fetal position like that, they, they're not they're not dead. They'll actually- He's locked onto it. He sees it through the floor. Oh my god, that thing's scary. Okay. Alright, oh my god. What the fuck? Why was there a dude alive, though? I said Maul tried to maul him. He's in the very corner room right over there. Did it drop its tentacles? That would be nice. Yeah, it fucking did. Hell yeah. It dropped its tentacles. Hey, man. What was that about? Thanks, you bailed me out of a, out of a reel. If you live long enough to see you again, I'll pay you back. I was just gonna buy it. Thanks for the information. But then I got need even such an eye with If you go go right ahead. Yeah. Hey, yeah. The dude selling the rifle. Well this was scary. What the hell? Why is there just a blood sucker in here? At least I got his tentacles, but holy shit that that made my heart leap. When I saw that silhouette, I because I know what they look like when they're invisible, because I've fought one before. Why is there just a random bloodsucker in here? Ooh, whatever. Okay, so there's the bandits. They actually heard me fire at that bloodsucker. So we gotta kill these guys. There's actually a stash over here. Also radiation. Great. There's a lot of radiation. No. Oh, bitch. Firing at a man, just looting. Okay. It's a dude at the door. Our gun doesn't want it anymore, so we can take him down pretty easy. There we go. Can I switch a single shot? That tower could be useful. I remember climbing up that tower. There's a anomaly right there. Stash. Yep. We're not gonna carry any weapons except for the legendary ones because everything is very heavy. Hello, tower. I'm gonna climb up you. Sounds like a heavy machine gun. I don't actually know where that guy with the legendary weapon is, but I know he's around here somewhere. Now this has some really bad bullets spread on it, but can I actually hit him from here? I can. Oh. I got- did I just get flacked by a shot? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh my god, did you see that shot? Fucking lead. Leading him on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking leading that bastard on. Fucking what a shot. Holy shit. Fucking hell, man. Oh my god. Alright, let's get down. Let's get down. Let's get down. I'm gonna go on a full auto. I'm gonna explore the area, because I know the guy with that weapon is somewhere around here. And he is fucking dangerous. How the fuck did you get hurt? I think there might be a dude with a shotgun around here. I don't know for a fact, though. It's a really epic fight. Oh. 
is. Regenerate a little bit, then we're gonna save the game. There's a good few stashes around here as well, and there's a, a shitload. A shitload of anomalies. I think this gun might be best on single firing mode. Let me try and get to this truck right here. We're gonna try and get to this big cement block. Oh, fucker! Oh shit, I think that I think that guy in black is carrying one of the legendary weapons. I'm kinda of being surrounded here. I'm gonna I know there's a stairway in here. There's like a way up or something, I know that. Yeah, yeah, right here. Right here. I'm gonna go up it. So it's gonna stash anything. Some stuff, nothing too big though. Oh my god, look at that accuracy on him. Holy hell. I love this gun. Single grenade. Alright. I'm gonna equip the uh, jawbone and the uh, thingies. Because I need health regen right now. Drop them. Okay. I think we're good. I think that's all of them out front. Ah, it's one of the members. I don't exactly- Yee! There's a moat here. Fuck yeah, Viper. AK, okay. You have ammo. Yes, you do. And fucking stash in your ledger. I don't want the double barrel, but I do want your ammo. Stash in the electric room. There's an anomaly right there. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Did I? I think we're good. That's the, one of the duty guys that died. I think we're good. There's some, some like artifacts randomly scattered around there, so I'll go and get them. I'm actually gonna save again just in case the stream cuts out. Don't see any of them. Ah, there's radiation over there though. He's a little bull cap, yeah, both of them do. Is that right here? No. Just what we need exactly when we need it. There's also another thing over here. Oh my god, a fireball! Those are just better teardrops. Literally. They're just better teardrops. Okay, we have 60, yeah, 60 negative radiation resistance. So we can kind of go over here and play around. Not in the moat, however. Maybe up this tower. There might be something good up the tower. Even though radiation normally has a habit of rising. Ah, there's nothing. 
That's a nice little lake. Huh? Nothing in it though. So, okay. That main building right there that I'm looking at? It's full of guys. But not only that, one of these guys has a legendary weapon. Two of them actually. Two of them, but the other legendary weapon is way over there in that brick building right over there. In the construction site area. So we just want to go. We just want to go down and take some radiation. Let's go. I don't think there's anything through here except for a stash we don't have. Maybe an anomaly around here. No, not really. Nothing. Let's just go. Let's just go. I've already checked that for him. Just go. Dude here, he got a shotgun. Got some food, that's good. Now, this place is a death trap. There are dudes everywhere in here. I was honestly asking myself how many guys there are, because I cleared this entire place out, right? I cleared this entire place out, and there are guys everywhere. Yep, 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 he's gonna, he has a thing to this There are dudes everywhere in here. So many guys. The worst part is there's actually a good bit of verticality to this level. So, you never know where they're coming from. Because there's so much verticality. It's a construction site. A place that was never finished building. Probably reckon he went upstairs. So I'm gonna go downstairs. That is the basement. I don't think there's anything down here except I think this might lead to the other basement. Yeah. This leads to the other basement, which leads to this guy. Did he just give me the stash? No. There's a stash around that corner right there. Right here. There's two fire flame belch anomalies right there. They're difficult. You can see all the way up through the very to the very rooftop over there, though. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's some stuff right here. Absolutely worth the radiation medication. Ah, there he is. We found him. See that guy in black that just annihilated my face off? That's the guy we're looking for. Cheeky bastard. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's go pick up this fireball again, then. And the droplet. And the droplet. Where was it again? It was around here. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Yeah, that guy who just blew my face from my face, from my, my skull. That's the guy we're looking for. He's got the legendary weapon. You can hear the difference in how his weapon fires, because his weapon goes... While the other guys have like a loud chunking noise to when they fire the AKs. I mean, there's. Does he have a shotgun? Did he just fire a shotgun at me? No, he actually had ammo. Another stash. Nothing. Okay, this is the death trap room. There are so Okay, there are so many guys in Ugh! this room. I think I've killed about 10 guys in here before. Best thing to do here... Throw a grenade. I should go down to the basement. Although we we kind of softened them up because they have, some of them at least had to take damage from that, or they completely cleared out of the room, so we gave ourselves space to go down here and loot this body. We gave ourselves space. We're gonna go back up through the normal way. Yeah, man, 
Go back up to the normal way. Go back up to the normal way. Okay, sorry chat, I'm, I'm kind of focusing right now. I'm hard focusing in on this. Because this area is basically spells death at every turn, right? There's, this is a very aggressive area. This is an entire dungeon of just dudes that the developers decided, Hey, you know what would be really funny? Make them fight 40 dudes at once. I think that's him. Yep, that's him. That's our first legendary. Our second one should be around here, but he's a lot more dangerous than that guy is. There it is. There's our, there's our legendary weapon we wanted. Real nice. I don't think it has any ammo in it for the grenade launcher, though. And I know he doesn't have any on him. Oh, this bastard has a shotgun. Motherfuck. No, don't take your armor off, dumbass. I overshot. That's why we look at their shadows. That's why we look at their shadows. Yeah, these guys will have a lot of vodka. Now that we've cleared out this place and got that legendary weapon, I'm gonna head back now and like check the rest of the courtyard because there's some stashes in there we need. So yeah, this is our legendary weapon we wanted. The storming weapon. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good weapon. I mean, we technically have a better one in our hands because it has all the same thing. But this one can at least have a scope on it. And we got the location for that stash. So we'll go and get that now. I'm gonna save first. Oh, fuck. My brain. We got a thorn, finally. We have better things than a thorn, but it's the first time we've gotten one of those. A thorn is, a uh, is one of them that, uh, really has a subsorber of more radiant damage. Sam, get so Pretty soon we're probably gonna get some one of them called an urchin, which is a bit better. Okay, I think we're good. We need to clear this place out. There's gonna be a lot of dudes in here. We haven't even gone through half of them. That's just this is just a start. Let's get See what I meant by construction site? There's no dudes out front though. Because we could have entered in through that this front area right here. It's a death trap, though. Ah. Well, we got killed by a crab, man. <laughs> we got killed by a crab, man. He's part crab. In the end of the day, he never thought it would help him. God damn it, he didn't spawn. Nope, nothing. Let's try that again. Uh, he's a crab man. Killed us with his powers of being a crab. Nothing. Damn. We don't got a thorn or a med kit. Took it. Hey, he's part crab. He killed us with his crab powers. He was literally crab walking, man. Like, what the fuck? So there's a dude around the corner on the stairway right here. Lovely this time. I wonder what that means in Russian. Probably a, something bad. Is there a crab man? No. No crab man. 
No crab man. Fun fact, the weapon I currently have in my hand was used for a promotional art of this game originally. I thought somebody was firing at me. Uh, no, it's just a storm. It's always storming. Never a bright day in this game. Which is good, because it has a really desaturated color palette, so it makes it look really nice. Crabman! He almost got us a second time. I was just a little bit too fast for this crap, man. That's a double barrel, I just heard. Oh, there he is! Hard to pin this guy down. Okay. Let's take inventory of what we got. We got good stuff. We gotta empty this weapon. Alright. Got the stormer. We got pretty much everything we need here. Another dude with a shotgun. He fell to the ground. See what I said by a lot of guys? Every corner I turn, there is one of them. Every corner I turn, there is a dude. God damn it. And we lost again. Oh, I almost set myself on fire right there. Every corner you turn in a play in this place, there's another bandit. That is kind of rough per se, because I didn't get that out of it last time. Every fucking door you open, there's a dude behind it. Now, he doesn't seem to move around too much. Does this one have one on it? There's no dudes in that courtyard down there. I know that for a, I know that for a fact. There's none in that courtyard. I know that for a well and true fact. I think he's always below me, because I don't think he comes from behind. I do think there is a dude coming up. Yes. Oh my god, there's another one. He crawled back into the fucking dark. This, uh... You never expect the man with the double barrel. Until he's right there. I, I, got, I, was, I was saddened recently. I heard this really cool game was coming out recently. Since we're on the topic of Mad Men with double barrels. Sucker for love, date to die for. I really wanted to play that game, but it, got, it, it's, it might not have come out ever. It's probably never going to come out. Or at least it was postponed. I was really looking forward to that game. It's a... Uh, Really nice game. It seems to be random whether they have ammo in them or not. You don't. I mean, probably not, but you don't think that I could. You don't think that I could uh, get an angle on some of these guys from up here, right? I mean, that's really. I can. Oh my god, I can totally get an angle from the skylight. That's what I'm talking about. It's 
It's a good way to thin them out a little bit. If you're ever in this dungeon, just come to the skylight right here. You can thin the herd. We're gonna get out of here now. Well, first of all, we're gonna save. Second of all, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. We're gonna hold this angle. Fucking angle. Fucking angle. I'm gonna clear down here first. Because I don't want some random dude sneaking up on me with a double barrel again. Like that. That is exactly what I'm talking about. I think that no, that's not the armory. That is. Okay. I don't think I can open this. No. That leads to the underground. Okay. Okay. And people say modern CODs have a very low time to kill. He looks at me once and I get fucking annihilated. Annihilated. That was lucky. One, two, three. Oh, what the fuck? You weren't here before? How many people are here? There, it feels like there's an army. Or at least a very large militia group. Good. Hidden oh, behind that damn table. Yeah, don't peek. There's two dudes. Fuck. Fucking hell. They fucking. They, I swear they're multiplying. As I kill them, more are growing from the hatchery downstairs or something. Wow, that was lucky. Ah, more crabs! Oh my god. If another one enters that doorway, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be scary, because we're getting real close to where that sh guy with a shotgun lives. And he basically instantly kills us. As soon as he lays eyes on us. That. Take those. So he is really close to wherever we are right now. There is a box right here with a thorn in it, a cracked thorn, crystal thorn, which we want. It's a, it's a, it's an anomaly thing. No, god damn it! There are so many. There's so fucking many of them, man. I feel like I'm fighting an army. I didn't reload. Nope. 
Nope. <clears throat> I feel like I'm fighting an army. Every single time I get blasted. I gotta move up very slowly. No! I'll kill their whole family. Oh, these guys don't have families. They're probably ex convicts. Oh, you like killing a man with your crack in the wall, huh? That's what I think about you. Full auto time. We're going downstairs. There. That's how you properly use a full auto rifle. Okay. I think... I think I'm almost certain we should be good now. What do you guys in chat think? Oh shit, that's bad. Ooh, right between his eyes. We're gonna save here. Here in a couple minutes, I'm gonna have to take a 10 minute break or so to do my Duolingo lesson. But I will continue streaming for a bit longer because I love this game and I wanna play it with you guys. That's the armory right there. We can get in there right now, but we don't want to go in there right now. He had one bullet on him. We're gonna run around, grab the crystal thorn, and then go. There's gonna be a dude following us. And blow him away. I feel like I'm coming close to death every single time. Jesus Christ! See what I said? See what I said about this place? See what I mean? There are so many of them. Okay, we're gonna save here. I don't know where the guy with the shotgun is. It's kind of worrying me now. Because he's not here. He should be. You have a double barrel. The person who shot at me before wasn't this guy. Sometimes there's anomalies in bathroom stalls. Good thing he's fucking blind. No, he was peeking me. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. What? He fucking traded with his ass. Arg. Let's see what I said about this place. I traded with his dumb ass. It's a really good thing this guy can't hit shit. Or he would have killed me twice. I don't know why you're just spraying into the scenery, my man. Is that that shotgun guy? It might have been. No. Yeah, no. 
see what I said about this before. Even though these are locked, we can kind of reach through and grab shit inside of them. It's actually a chest you can't open here. I never understand that. So now that, that was the leader. Now that he's dead. Yeah, there's also stuff in here. Uh, there's horse delights. That's what the rations are called. Some of that. How are you supposed to unlock these normally? I have no idea. Always just take everything instead of them first. Yeah, we got shotgun shells. We also got that. Is that? That is. Yes, that's SS rounds. SS 190. 109. Those are good. Those are basically for share rounds. Now, okay, where is this guy? There's one left. There's only a few guys left here. Now, I will warn you, this, this guy with the shotgun, he's deadly. He can basically one-shot you. Instantly. He basically is an instant kill. I don't know where he is. He could be anywhere in here, and if he even looks at us, we're dead. In the video I have of myself killing him for the first time, for the achievement that we get from the shotgun he has, the only way I was able to kill him is because he was looking away from me. Let me actually make a new save. This is where I found him last time. I think that's him. Right? It's not him, it's just another thug. This does prove we haven't been in this area before. His body disappeared. It's really scary, the fact that knowing there's a dude with a, a threaded shotgun around here. And I don't know where he is. The game really... because because I know he exists, every corner is just death-defying. Because I know he exists, and I don't know where he is. Because he could be anywhere around here, right? That's the guy right there. We're gonna open his cage up. Hey, Stoker, help me out. Open the door to this damn thanks, bro. You really helped me. Yeah, he gave us the thing. I don't know where this last guy is. I'm honestly expecting to just fucking explode at any second as soon as I turn these any of these corners. I don't think he'd be in the armory, do you? He's not. We'll loot that place when we find and kill him. What's that? God, it's like fucking tremors, man. Oh, God. I don't know where he is. The thing is, this place is so big. I need his gun, though. It's really powerful. But any second, he, I, he could just be around one of these corners and just annihilate me because he kills you in one shot is a threaded shotgun of course it is of course it's a one shot but i don't know where he is that's the issue he could be around anywhere around here he could be at the very top just watching me run around like a fucking dumbass he's usually around here Sorry, I'm going quiet because I'm trying to listen for him because he sometimes screams in Russian. If he hears you. I'm not hearing him. I heard footsteps. I heard click clack.
Jersey. I don't know where he is. Is that him? He should be around here. I'll have to head back in the facility in a different direction. He's also he's also in a dark cloak. He's kind of hard to see. I'll head this way then. The worst part is I keep stepping stepping on their guns, so I keep freaking myself out. He's dressed like this guy, right here. I hope he spawned. He might not have. He might have died to anomaly. Maybe. I hope not. If he didn't spawn, I'll just redo the dungeon. But I really need him to spawn. Because it's a really powerful weapon he has on him. These guys are pretty much all dead, so I can kind of go through here however I want. Where is this guy? It's really scary, because I know he he's just around. There's like no one set place he has to be in the dungeon. He can just be around, and he can just be anywhere in here. I know where he spawns the thing. He fucking is. Oh my god, there he is. God. Thank fuck we did not get close to this asshole. There it is. Terminator. The threaded shotgun. Baby, baby, baby. This thing is a beast. Yeah, I love that click. That sink noise. Of the bolt sliding into place and the hatch closing. Oh my god, this is amazing. All legendary weapons. We got it. Well, they're not all legendary weapons in the game, but all legendary weapons in the area. We got it. We got it. Oh, shit. We got it. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. The threaded shotgun. I'm gonna save. What makes it threaded? It's actually the end of the barrel. The end of the barrel has a little thing called a threader, which allows the short. Sure, Unique weapon. This shotgun model has a rifle, a rifled bore, which greatly increases its accuracy when firing darts or slugs. However, when using shot, sh when using shot, it is more difficult. Yeah. So we want we want stuff like instead of shots, we want like slugs and such. But it's still a shotgun. It's still a really powerful shotgun. It's a threaded shotgun. That's why we were selling all of our slugs before and, and all of our shots and stuff, because we, we need ammo for it to buy a lot of slugs. Right now we only got shots, though. It's so good. I was confused earlier. I thought that it only shot shots and not slugs. It's the other way around. But that's not what's important about it. What's important about it is it's a fucking shotgun. Let's raid this little thing right away. This is the armory. Pretty cool stuff. There's a new merc suit in here for us. We're gonna put that on. Real nice. Some some of this. Some of these. Some of these, but I'm pretty sure none of them have ammo in them yet. Some of these. Also no ammo. Why would you keep loaded things on a shelf? I know. I feel like that'd be helpful though. Especially in the zone. Here we go, we got one of these. We got a grenade for our grenade launcher now. I don't think we're gonna need any of these. Nope. 
for nothing. But that's not the star of the star of the show. The star of the show is this. Their vodka collection. <laughs> I do not condone alcoholism, but what I do condone is partying. Let's party. Oh, I'm done with the <laughs> drinking for good. Oh, yeah. Vodka, vodka, yeah, baby. Look at that. Ooh, I am fucking wasted right now. Oh, my. Woo. I do not condone any the use of any herbal stuff. Look at that. The flashlight won't even go in the right direction. I'm not even facing this direction. Even the flashlight's off. Woo! That was nice. That was a nice ass stream. I'm gonna end it pretty soon when we get back. I'll be ending this pretty soon, but go. This was a crazy stream, man. That was awesome. Ooh, I'm also very drunk, very drunk. I need to lay down. And I go off into the sunset, drunk as I am. Uh, into the sunset we go. Into the sunset. Brand new suit of armor. Brand new weapons. A threaded shotgun. Wee! This is something to celebrate. Not only that, we also got one of these. That is so haggard. It's ridiculous. That doesn't look real. We also got one of these. Grenade for your troubles. Woo! We're gonna start running. Ah, oh, this is amazing. It's been an amazing stream, guys. It's been amazing. You know what? I might just continue. You know what? I might just continue. I might... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna plug in my phone. I'm gonna plug in my phone. Pop on Duolingo. Give me a second. Give me a second here. There we go. I'm gonna plug in my phone. Here in about 20 minutes or so, I'm going to hop on Duolingo, do my lesson, and we're going to continue with this stream. You know what? We're going to continue. We're going to continue for a while. This has only been four hours. Only been four hours. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. I need something to eat as well. Uh, give me like 10 minutes.
run back. Just give me another little bit. If you want to chat in a chat, I'll be looking at chat while I um, eat this scrumptious meal so I can continue streaming. So hey guys, all I've eaten today, this is my second plate of chicken, but all I've eaten today is a brownie and two plates of chicken. This one being the second. Gotta say, if it wasn't for chicken, I would have gone insane. Hmm. Tyson's chicken strips, man. They keep me going when no one makes dinner. Hmm. My roommate or something doesn't bring home pizza or something. These chicken strips keep me alive. That and Tostino's party pizzas, if I have them. I don't know. If I remember to buy them. Or someone else does. I could eat a whole factory of Tostino's party pizzas, man. They're so good. Once I'm done doing this, I'll do my Duolingo, and we'll get back to streaming. Now, this might be my longest stream. You know what? I'm going to shoot for about five hours. Uh, not five hours, sorry. I'm going to shoot for about... Uh, maybe Maybe I'll try and break it. My record was eight hours. I'll try and do nine. Once you're done, I'll try and do a nine-hour stream. That sounds pretty good.
Now that I have been sated, we can do dual lingo. Remember, it's important to always learn. No matter what, never stop learning. You know what I'll even do? I'll, uh, I'll hop into the chat on the Discord server and see if anyone wants to talk. You know, if we're going to try and go for our record here, it's important we preoccupy ourselves with things to do. While I'm running across this wasteland repeatedly. The next part of this we need to do is the bunker. Uh, the bunker is actually pretty deadly, but it's not as deadly as uh, the place we were just in. The place we were just in is a hell hole. I mean, not even joking, it is just an awful place. It's a really bad place. Hmm. So we're gonna die. We're gonna die. There's an enemy in there, in the bunker, that can two-shot us. No joke. From a mile away as well. So what we're gonna do is we are going to... We're gonna go back on mute. I'm gonna finish Duolingo here. And we're gonna rock. We're gonna party. We're gonna party in the bunker after we get back from our trip back to the uh, shop.
way through. All right. It's going to be another, like, yeah, 10 minutes, maybe five.
All right. Oh man, we are finally done. With all that nonsense. Let's get going then, shall we? We have a long road ahead of us. Very long road ahead of us. And now that we're finally back in this and we can finally do this again after my short break, sorry about that, but I really want to, maybe, maybe I'll continue the stream past nine hours, but I want to make this a good nine hour stream, you know? So, if you remember where we left off about 28 minutes ago, by my count, we had just gotten the threaded shotgun, and this thing is going to be the monster of everyone's nightmares. Oh, we're also horribly drunk. Like, we are really, really wasted. Like, it is insane how fucking wasted we are. Look at our screen. Yeah, we drank, like, what, 30 bottles of vodka? I don't normally get known drinking, but I will say, celebrating a gracious victory like this is something we need to do. How else will we celebrate while we're in Russia, but with vodka? A Russian man's water, if they're really Russian, that is. <laughs> In all seriousness, ah, it's a good way to celebrate. A lot of vodka is actually really strong shit. Not only is it strong, usually vodka is very, 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 very tasty. You wouldn't think that's a really big point of alcohol, would you? But no, it actually is. The taste of alcohol means a lot. Because if it tastes really good, well, that could be an issue. Because you don't want to stop drinking it because it doesn't taste bad. Therefore, if alcohol tastes really good... We can stand on this bridge without even being radiated. If alcohol tastes really good, then you don't want to stop drinking it so you'll die. You know, though this guy I know, shout out to you, Zach, if you're watching. That was right. I said your name. <laughs> oh, seriousness, I know this guy named Zach. He, uh... He always told me that if he ever dies, he wants to die through, uh, diabetes. So there you go. <laughs> in all seriousness, he's a good guy. He's one of my players in the other Bleach campaign. Really good guy. Love all them guys. Love all of them. Shout out to you guys out there. All you fools, that is. You guys are good. If you're watching right now, I really appreciate you all for everything you've done. You guys always got my back. I know that. Ah, uh, good friends of mine, good friends, gotta say it. I think that's a... That, that's a stalker. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, that's the dude! That's the dude, that's the dude who was running. That's the, that's the dude we freed. Now, what is, oh, it keeps if we're aiming or not. That's nice. That's the dude who was running, that's pretty cool. Let's keep going. Blech. I think we're starting to recover from our drunkenness slowly. Slowly. But surely we are. Uh, the, the fireballs are worse than the, crack, the crystal thorn, right? Yeah. Actually the same. What if just one of them takes endurance, the other one makes you more susceptible to bleeding? We're gonna save, just in case. Safety save, and then we're going to move through here. And we're going to move through here. And then we're going to put the thingies on. And we're going to go. I doubt we have enough radiation resistance. I mean, if we, if we take one of these off and put this on as well, we might have enough. Can we just stand in here? Yeah, we can. We can just stand in here. Our radiation resistance is high enough to combat all the radiation of this area. Completely. Yep. We can't even get poison. And we're free. There we go. This was a really nice ass fucking mission we went on. I love doing this with you guys. This was so much fun. We didn't get any sparklers like I wanted, but hey, we got some really nice guns. The threaded shotgun and the storming of Aachen. 
Two of the best weapons in the entire game. Amazing. We're in good now. With those in need as well. Learning some, learn something of a Strelok from uh, whatever his name is. Steal documents. So, Stredlock, a man of the hour, eh? Hard to believe, I know. Who is this guy? He hasn't been seen in the zone for some time. Who is he? I don't know. We're gonna find him. Fuck. We're gonna find him. That's really nice. You can see the model flip through it. Because it spins downwards. Hold on, the kitty cat needs my assistance. Give me one second, please. I have a cat in my hands. Oh, he jumped out. Anyway, so let's continue, shall we? Marching, marching, marching. I'm too tired. Yeah, so I got this other player group. They're pretty chill guys, you know. You know how it is. I was thinking about streaming the campaigns I do with them, but I'm afraid they're not quite appropriate enough for streaming. I'm afraid they're not quite appropriate enough. So, I will not be streaming with them. Are there any stashes we know around, around, around here? There's the one at the thingy. We could go get that. Uh, we're at 58, so we probably shouldn't. 60, you can't even move, so... Although... <laughs> I have a very valid question. Are we resistant enough to do this? Place your bets now. Are we radiation resistant enough to do this? Well, we can absorb this mod. About over here. Over here. About over here. Oh, oh. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. How about over here? No. Okay. When our radiation goes away very quickly. We would need, like, a bunch of urchins. Because urchins are basically the best ones. Yeah. We need a bunch of urchins to do that. Okay. One, two. We'll put the cracked thing there. And that should be it. Alright, let's continue. Forwards to victory. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, save here. We're going to be going through the bunker next. That shotgun is going to be a lot of help for us as well. I'll, we'll warn you guys, we're going to go a little bit buck wild with the shotgun. A little bit, a little bit buck wild with the shotgun. It's going to be a little bit intense. The shotgun is going to be our key. Our master key, one could say. Yeah, the game didn't crash. And we're good. Anyone want to fucking die? We have two ammo types for this gun now. No, we don't. We just have a 39. 
I guess this doesn't actually chamber in it. It doesn't. Oh well. Can't chamber it. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day in the zone. There's some bird watching. There's a whole bunch of springboards out here. Do we have anything in our encyclopedia? Oh! Yeah, sparkler. Oh, here we go. Found near electrotype anomalies. Quite widespread. Oh, yeah. This is what we want, though. We want one of the moonlights. Ground is created when anomaly is subjected to thermal influences. I also got a new location. Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant, the site of the world-famous nuclear power plant. Yep. Real dangerous stuff working with in there. You know, people say in the zone, there is an ancient device at the heart of the power plant in reactor number four. Inside of the old housing location for it. And inside of this, they say there is a device or some sort of creature. The ultimate anomaly. The ultimate anomaly. The anomaly that started everything. They say it creates all other anomalies to protect itself. But if you manage to impress it by approaching it directly inside that reactor, they say that, well, it's only rumors, but they say it'll grant your wish, any wish, any wish you want at all, it'll grant it for you. No matter what the wish is, it'll grant it. It's a crazy idea. Sure, it's most likely not going to happen, but you never know, especially while in the zone, right? It could happen. It could be a magical wish-granting device inside that reactor, inside that old dead building. I mean, I doubt it, but it could be there. You never know. I don't really know either. I don't really know. But, I'll say this. I'll say one thing. That reactor... That reactor is... pretty much a dead world. And nothing around, nothing in it. There we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I had to check on something. Nothing. Those army guys probably respawn by now, so we'll kill them once again. The military. They tried to control this place. They really did. Yet in the end... <laughs> in the end... I couldn't control anything. Let alone the zone. Couldn't even control the people in here. They couldn't control... Anything. Nothing. And they fell to the zone as well. All things that die in it fall to the zone. Whether it's by my weapon or another. God damn it. Don't have very many bandages, I only have like 24 of them. That is very, a very uncomfortable position, because if I fire this, that, the, that those sharp-ass iron sights are going to go into my throat. Whatever. Beautiful day. Oh, 
we're almost there. This is our fate. Our destiny is in the zone. Just like it always is. Just like it always will be. Our fates are intertwined by the zone. No one knows how it works. No one knows how anything works here. It's a crazy, desolate place. So oh, let's just put all this good stuff away. Got anything valuable? Put these two things away. Real nice setup I got in here now. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know, chat. I don't know. We have a lot of valuable stuff in here. Should we start breaching with the shotgun? It's pretty tempting. We don't have a lot of ammo left for this, so I think we're going to start breaching with the shotgun. Just to show you guys the sheer power of this thing. These two are alright, right? These two are alright, but look at that shotgun's damage. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest with ourselves. We want to see that shotgun go whole hog. Alright, got any jobs? Two bandit elimination. Jellyfish. I'm pretty sure I have jellyfish. Yeah, I do. And one of these, and one of these. Ah, yeah, the meat chunks. We'll keep one of those. I don't think you can ever... No, you can want a meat chunk. There you go. Gravel, two of those. Some quote-unquote bread. Don't worry about that. Uh... Not bad. All right. Well, drop by if you get... There we go. We got some vodka. Recently, one of the, uh, the best, one of the best places in the zone, becomes is possible for lovers of the wonderful. Guru. Really? A place like nothing else, where all your sadness leaves you. You forget about the dirt, about the money, about blood. Forget what. The there are two dirty freaking. Freaks is sitting there, too threatening to kill anyone who wants to pay them because... Get rid of them. Okay. Eliminate the thugs. We're going to put the quote-unquote red in here. We're going to pick up the slug rounds. And the other rounds, we're just going to shovel all this into our inventory here. We still have one bottle of vodka left, but we don't need it anymore. We have all the radiation medicine we can possibly ever want. Put the energy drinks in there too. Actually, well, we can just sell those. We can also sell the science crystal. And the vodka. We'll take the bread with us though. Oh, that's the quote-unquote bread. Hold on. It's not real bread. You don't want to. You don't want to know why. That's quote unquote bread. Trust me. It's not pleasant. Okay. I think we're good. Not all right. But... Put these two away. Well, this is our little stash here. We got a lot of legendary weapons. We got pretty much everything we need in here. Uh. Does that actually go to our hand? Is that actually what we need? We do want to bring our handgun with us. Does that actually well, chamber these rounds? Good hunting, no, it does not. Got any? We want to sell these then. Oh, he's actually got some of the ammo we need. 
means I got uh, one of these. Hmm. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got. That's my. We're gonna put these away. Got plenty of food on us. We're a little bit overweight, honestly. We're a little bit overweight. But we can sell some of the we can sell the radiation medication now. We don't need it anymore. Because we have these anomalies on us. We'll keep one just in case we get like a hit with a radiation weapon, I guess. Also sell the sausages. Cause I don't want to lose my marble. So we can also sell the bread. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Alright. Alright, so the bunker, right? We're gonna have to go through a lot to, to this bunker. No joke. It's a pretty pretty whoop 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 whoop. I might need to load that in first. There we go. Weird glitch. But okay. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna run around here. I don't think there's anything good in this stash over here, but I'll, I'll check it for you guys. I'll check it. I will check to see if there's anything actually good in the stash. There might be. No. There might be some. I think it's upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. Wait, how is there an upstairs? Oh, yeah, that's right. That feels weird to access your attic for the outside, but whatever. Ah, uh, some stuff we don't need. Might as well get drunk. Our weight is still pretty high, though. It's pretty high. That's really high for what we have on us. Pretty high. It's all these anomalies, these radiation anomalies we have. Uh, 33. St these are uh, the quest item. Uh, let's sell the grenades, sell the wrench. Also, probably the ammo. Wow, yeah, the ammo's not it. It's these, like, the med kits and stuff that are really weighing us down. Also, I bet this weapon's pretty heavy. No, it's not. So you're back. There we go. We'll keep one on us, just in case we need it for something crazy happens. Uh, do we need the hand grenades? I mean, grenades, man, grenades. We'll keep one. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. All right. Uh, we'll put one of these back because we can't even carry it anyways. Yeah, those things aren't too heavy. It's the gun itself that's really heavy and all the ammo we're carrying for it. But we need all that ammo. We're going into a fucked place. Well, good hunting, stalker. So, <clears throat> let's go. This is our threaded shotgun. This is our future. This shotgun is incredibly powerful. I've done a lot of, a lot of the bunker with it. Uh, keep in mind, as far as I, uh, we're getting close to how far I've made it in game on my personal playthrough. So what's past the bunker? I have no idea. I have no idea what is actually past the bunker. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Ah, eh, fuck off, dude. Yeah, I killed somebody in front of you. So what? It's the zone. I have no idea what's past the bunker, so can I... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, by the way, as you can see, as my look at my finger there, uh, this, the shotgun stole some of my polygons. So, that's yeah, unfortunate side effect of it, but it works. Oh yeah, the dudes at the checkpoint. We could better kill any of those guys if they respawned or not. They might have respawned. Well, let's go check it out. those two there. Let's go and check it out. I think they killed that guy that was trying to shoot at me. We got something in the encyclopedia as well. Factions, mercs. The most, oh, the service function faction in the zone. Not just mercenaries. Wild territory. Yeah, the closer you get to the power plant, the more magical radiation rocks. Those being, you know, the rocks we use. Ah, hello there. They respawned. Well, you know what we gotta do. Always looking for a good opportunity to make some money. Can't ever say no to some good old-fashioned cash. Sometimes you gotta pick it up. Oh! Kobe! There we go. Alright. I'm gonna try all the slugs in this thing. We don't have, like, a crazy amount of endurance anomalies, so the shotgun is gonna be a little bit hard to use. Hold one shot. Wow. He's got an AN-94 on him. Actually, we do want to pick that up because we want to sell all their junk. There we go. Where's the other guy at? He's by the road right here. You have a garbage weapon on you. Whatever. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, it's Stalker. How you doing? Sorry, I'm just I'm just killing these guys. My apologies if I didn't look at chat for a while. I just I just gotta kill these guys too. Here. I recently got the threaded shotgun and it works pretty well. It works pretty well. This thing is a monster. I tell you what. I think he might be inside. Damn. Yep, that's what happens. That is what happens. I'm, that's why I much prefer the buckshot, because slugs can go all over the place. Much prefer the buckshot. Much prefer it. Oh, we gotta... So there's a weird glitch. We gotta... Oh, well, let us change to a different... Ammo type. I work horrible. Oh well, no, no, there we go. It just doesn't want to. It just doesn't want to render it sometimes for some reason. All right, this is a really good place for this. Hook. They split up. These guys have so much health. Three shots. That's the only time it kills them. You played Stalker a bit. You played Stalker a bit, Samson. Yeah, how familiar are you with the games? This is my first time ever playing a Stalker. I've played it for about 20 hours. 
guys right over that hill. I'm gonna try and get behind some good cover. I'm actually gonna try and lure them towards the camp, and I'm just gonna go into the camp itself. I don't have any like good endurance items yet, so I'm just gonna hold up in my in my usual place. It's nice that a shotgun actually works like a shotgun in real life, and it's not just like a death zone in front of you that you draw. This is where slugs are coming handy. There we go. Why does it do that, I wonder? Fuck. Fuck. Alright, he's coming up here. I'm gonna blow his face off. Or is he? Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That's how it's done. Woo! Ah, damn. Woo! Last guy. Nope. Nope. Nope, I did not expect all three of them to come out there. Usually they're really, really hesitant to actually go upstairs. Usually I have to, like, lure them out. I usually have to, like, lure them out from upstairs and, like, get a good hold of them. But no, these guys were not hesitant at all. They came up one at a time. By the power. Hobie. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it. God damn, they have so much fucking help, these military guys. Stairs, the stairs block some of his damage, but I still got hit pretty hard. I'm just gonna do the thing again. I'm gonna do the thing again. He's not coming, is he? Slug to the back of the head. That works pretty well. Alright. <clears throat> What's my range like on this thing? Ah, pretty far. Oh. oh, God. You can feel this. There's another one? Oh my god, holy shit, you could hear the slapping noise from that shit, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was intense. The bullets hitting them sounds so good, though. That sound effect is so nice. <clears throat> Damn, these military guys feel like it's impossible to put them down regularly. We got lucky. He can't hit shit. I'm gonna retreat. Now he might flank the shit out of me. Oh my god, he took so many rounds. I actually jumped to a there. Holy shit, that scared me. 
Oh, reflex headshot. Reflex headshot. Reflex headshot. I'm gonna just heal with bandages. Reflex headshot. I did that purely off of reflex. I just aimed aimed where his head would be and then fired. Is this spawn in finally? No. I did not even mean to get that headshot. I just kind of took a guess of where it might be. Oh, this guy's still alive. Congratulations, sir. You get to look me in the face as you die. That's the zone for you. Alright. I'm gonna just drop some of these guns. Unfortunate that they gotta die like that, but I need to I need to live, and to live I need money, and to, for money I need to kill them and take their stuff. That's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. And the video the video video quality on this shit is horrible. I wish I could have somehow improve my stream. It looks so disgusting. So disgusting. Disgusting. Also, there was a really big delay on YouTube. Holy hell, how many drop frames do I got? None, apparently. Sure, YouTube. Sure. There's like a 12 second delay on YouTube. I literally just pulled out my shotgun on my YouTube screen. I literally just pulled it out. No, I walked past this. Dumbass. God, that, that takes a while. On Twitch, it's nowhere near as bad. On Twitch, it's nowhere near as bad. Twitch is like, it's, it's like a... I pulled my shotgun out... Now. It's only like a couple seconds. On YouTube, it's like 20 seconds. So if I don't respond to you guys on YouTube immediately, probably because your message came in 20 seconds later. Or you're seeing it 20 seconds later. Or you're seeing me respond to it 20 seconds later. God damn. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Got a lot of healing items. Got anything valuable? Plenty of valuable things. Where'd that shotgun go? There it is. A lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Now that's the... A lot of money. Thirty-two. Now these are our pistol rounds, and we're using a shotgun. So we'll we'll keep a good uh, twenty of them on us, and then just get rid of the rest of these. And those pistol rounds, we'll just take like a uh, uh, hundred, usually some thirty. Yeah. We'll take some food with us. We'll eat right now and then go. All right. <clears throat> well, there we go. good hunting, stalker. We're gonna keep the pellets in there for now. We only have pellets. We used all of our slugs. Great. I'm gonna reload this. Situate myself properly because my ass is numb. We're gonna go save. All right. We got a really good amount of money. We're at a really good standing now. But the thing is, we haven't even left the tutorial area yet. He wants me to kill those guys, right? Yeah. Another two people. He, he gives this remission repeatedly, but rarely. We got it twice in one video. We can, should consider ourselves pretty lucky. 
We should consider ourselves pretty damn lucky. Look at that over there. Beautiful. Alright, let's go, shall we? Let's continue. So... Oh god, this feels so... I bet there's gonna be respawns over here. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. Respawn? No, I haven't respawned quite yet. I'll take our radiation and that one's off. We can basically sprint infinitely. Not quite infinitely. We're actually kind of... We're kind of poor when it comes to... Artifacts. Like, we have good radiation artifacts. But we need more endurance artifacts. And we don't have many of those. Which is crazy. Normally we have good endurance artifacts. By now. We usually have sparklers and sparks. If you're the more advanced version of the sparklers. Keep in mind, all these take from us is just a little bit of electric shock resistance. But the thing is, I'll tell you right now, if you get shocked in this game, it's probably going to instant kill you no matter what. Because <clears throat> most of the anomalies that shock you take all your hit points no matter what. Unless you have a really high resistance. There's a just a dead dog on the in here. Some bread, apparently. Well, either way, let's continue. Oh, there's a dead guy. Chest. Usually not, no. But, mm, we gotta kill those two guys in the garage and then head back. Once we do this garage side quest right here, I feel like then we go into the, into the bunker. Oh, look, a dog. So good. Not the whole killing animals thing. Don't do that. Ow! Sorry. Not the kill whole killing animals thing. No, what I mean is the shotgun. It feels so alive. It feels like it's a real gun. I love this thing. God. Look at all those things. The shotgun feels amazing to fire. It's just ka chunk, ka chunk. It feels so good. Let's continue. We gotta kill these two assholes over at the garage. I'm seeing a pair of glowing eyes looking at me from the distance. Or is that an anomaly? No, it's a pair of glowing eyes. Why do they have bioluminescent eyes? Oh well. Uh, yeah, the assholes are over here. It's the same assholes. Same assholes as before. Come on, let's go. They'll never see me come. There we go. And that's how his story ends. Gunned down in the middle of a field like a dog. What do you guys think, huh? And that's how most stories end, yeah. Gunned down in the middle of a field like a dog. How it usually goes. Just in case anybody joins on Discord, because I'm in a Discord call right now. I'm gonna entertain myself, see if any other VTubers I know wanna hop in the call and talk to me. I'll actually unmute Discord. There we go. So you guys can hear them as well. Mm -hmm. We're gonna run back, sell this nonsense, get our little reward. It's only a reward for killing one guy, but hey, it's something nonetheless. You can't really complain about what you get in the zone, so long as you don't get a... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Ah. 
Ah, c'est un seul. Alright, let's go. Beautiful. 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 Just in case. Now we're good. Let's continue. Is that, a, is that a bandit? I think that's a stalker. That's a stalker. He's looking at something now. Probably some dogs that are about to maul him to death. There's so many corpses around here. <laughs> Actually, there are so many corpses, aren't there? Nothing. 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 Bad gun. Uh, Viper. Nothing. Nothing. No stash locations. Thought I would get at least one. Oh well, let's go. I'm gonna go to Metal Gear Solid now. This is Stalker. Uh, there is no fast travel system yet. Uh, it, just, it was 2007, it was too advanced, so they decided to just force you to walk and run everywhere. That's why endurance anomalies are so good. Because they cut down your travel time. You can just sprint forever. Uh huh. That's exactly why they're so powerful in the game. Not for any particular reason other than that. I mean, you can, like, run in combat, which is pretty good, but that's about it, really. That is about it. That's about it. They just let you run around in combat a lot. No one has respawned from here yet, and this corpse hasn't despawned, either. Well, let's keep going. We're about to get to the bunker section. Where we'll fight some of the most nastiest, disgusting enemies in the whole game. It's 12, 12, uh, 12 24 at this point, and it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's currently Sunday now. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Whoa, oh, I thought I crashed. Not quite, I have been spared. For now. I've been spared for now. Give it a sec. Yeah, it's gotta jog a little bit. I don't know why these things enhance your endurance. Probably because they shoot your immune system full of electricity. That would make sense. Or something like that, I don't know. It probably doesn't. So you're the best. Indeed I am. Can rebuild these, but it doesn't matter. They're super cheap anyways. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Now that over here, put the dog tail away. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I I think it's time we go to the bunker. We have the we have the threaded shotgun. We have a handgun with plenty of ammunition. We have any anomaly uh, artifacts we might need. Well, you know what? We'll drop even more weight here, and then pick up a soul. We'll pick up a soul. The reason we'll pick up a soul is... Well, good hunting it's a little bit a little bit worse for our bullet cap. Our bullet cap is alright, though. But... 
it gives us health regen, so in case we are in a really bad situation in that bunker and we run out of health regeneration items, we can just equip the soul and keep going. I doubt it. There are a good few guys in there, and not only that, there are a lot of anomalies in there as well. There's a lot of there's an entire like hallway of instant kill anomalies. But if you're able to pass that hallway, you basically skip most of the dungeon, which is cool. At least the harder parts of the dungeon that force you to fight military guys. Yep, there are military guys in there. And that's annoying. But we're going in there pretty minimal. We should be fine. We got 18 bandages as well, so we'll stop any bleeding that happens upon us. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. What do you guys think in chat? What do you guys think in chat? I think we'll be just fine. You guys ever played Stalker or, like, gone into this bunker? It's the first bunker you go into. There's actually a legendary item in there as well, which we'll be getting. A really fucking cool one at that. It's an AK with a extreme fire rate. I mean, you blow through ammo like there's no tomorrow, but it's got a really fast fire rate. It's yeah, really quick. It's really quick. I mean, you just blow through ammo, though. The fire rate, the bar, like over here, the bar that says fire rate is basically all the way up, for, except for a tiny tick at the end. Tiny tick at the end, which is like, not there. Other than that, it's just a super fast fire rate weapon. It's really cool. There's also a merc suit in there, which is better than the one we actually have on right now. Which is nice. Bunch of guns and ammo, too. Uh, well, the guns and ammo fight back well, at first until we kill the person using it, but guns can't by themselves kill people. Ammo can, though. I mean, technically it can. In a really bad situation, a gun can fire. I've actually had that happen to me before. Not like a gun I was using, but like a... I've had a gun overheat and a bullet pop out of it. Because that can happen. Oh, I'm being mauled. And shot. I'm being mauled and shot. Wow, that's the perfect combo. Step on something. There's something over there. I don't know. I'm just gonna run. Just gonna run. Is this missing something? Uh, yeah, the trees. They didn't load. The trees didn't load. Real fucking nice. Trees did not load. Okay. There's literally no other way out of here that we have access to right now. There's technically a gate right here, which will lead to that. Which will lead to down here. But we don't have that open yet. So... We're gonna have to just go in. I'm pressing sprint as hard as I can. What is attacking me? It's a fucking pig. It's a pig. It's a wild pig. stash out of it though. Still need to get those, yeah. 
Okay, I'm already using a first aid kit on our little adventure here. The staff should probably stock us back up, though. Oh my god, that was horrifying. Fucking gets caught like that. None of the trees even loaded the first time I came through, either. That's another weird glitch that'll happen. The game has glitches, but they're repetitive. Like, you know what it's going to know. You know what the game is going to do. There aren't really any, like, crazy glitches that come out of nowhere. I'm assuming you mean the trunk. Oh, God. Radiation. Radiation. Let's equip our thing. Thing. There we go. We should be good. We should be good. Any of you guys got a... Oh, he's got a gun on him. It has no ammo on it, though. He had an anomaly. Good shit. I mean, we don't need this. At least we got good ammo, though. And a stone blood anomaly. It's just health regen. Oh, well, we'll just get drunk a little bit. Alright. Yeah, there we go. I'm sad. Because the last time I went through that big dungeon with all those bandits, one of them, luckily enough, had a M1911 on him. No, it wasn't on him. It was in a stash, I believe. It was in a stash. And an M1911 in the stash. And... Hi, oh, yeah, what's up, man? I cannot see your full comment, but I'm assuming that is in a language I cannot understand. There we go. Whoop. There we go, sorry about that. I cannot understand you, but your language looks pretty good. Yes, I am playing Stalker, because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Great game, great game. I wish I could understand what you're saying. I cannot. I think we've got. Well, there's a the thing right over there. Good game. Good game. This game reached a lot of people, as I found out. Whoop. And pigs. Oh. Oh, there were only two of them. No, oh, there are far more than two. But nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, whoever you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're doing. Nice to see you. Let's uh, save before we get in here so we don't get murdered. So, uh, the, the game doesn't actually tell you where the pack is. It's right here. It's right here. Right in this little pipe right here. It's kind of hard to get to. Oh, there we go. This thing is surrounded by springboards as well, so do be careful about that. Alright, let's keep going. Ah, uh, yeah, the warehouse now. We go to the warehouse now. We've already gotten the, all the anomalies and all the uh, artifacts from up there, so we're fine. Let's actually have a lot of anomal artifacts on the top of them. They have, like, jellyfish... Shit like that, which is really cool. That's really cool. That is really nice. Alright, let's... let's... What are they? Okay, they're springboards. So, first off, save myself some time by saving. Who's the guy we need to talk to? This guy right here. He has a headlamp on, like a weirdo. Now, we're gonna get charged down by ban- I forget how many bandits are here, but I know it's a lot. They're right down there. Oh, 
I gotta kind of flank these guys, but it's difficult because where we are. Ah, uh, mission failed. We actually need to keep him alive. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's it gets hectic in there. It gets really hectic. Yes. It gets really hectic in there, so we gotta keep we gotta keep on our toes. We also need to kind of rush. Help us fight off this come first, brother. We'll talk oh, later. Our health is full, so. Hey. Okay. Let's reload it. Keep going. I know there's more guys around here. Somewhere. See what I mean by power? Fuck. Oh. It's a good thing he couldn't hit shit. Okay. Sorry. I was holding my breath, making sure that no dude with just a double barrel would pop around that corner. Yeah, there's still often somebody in there. Oh shit. Something just jerked my vision to the left. Ah, there he is. Standing in the corner like the Blair. Ooh. Great job, boys. We wiped them out. Everybody have some rest. And you, Stalker. Come over here. Let's have a check. I think that's the same voice line. This is the bandit suit, so we don't need this. Right, we're just gonna eat that so we don't get exhaustion. And then continue. Let's go. I'm looking for information on Sherlock. Okay, you have me out for free, so I tell you that I don't know why he has a Russian angle. One of the guys from a former digger crew called Mole. I'm assuming he probably looks for things underground if he's called the Mole. He's waiting for me. He dug up Strelok's stash, but I don't know if he found anything there. Okay. Yeah, alright. So. Now the game will force us into a whole bunch of ridiculous tasks. So. We save, we go. We have to fight our way through these guys. By the way, yep, right up there. There's a dude who thinks he's fucking slick. Okay. See how powerful the shotgun is? There is durability in the game. Oh. oh, are you kidding me? Good thing these guys can't. Did you just try and fire at me with a bow? There's another guy over here. I know that for a fact. There he is. No, not quite. I heard another thump thump. There we go, that's how we deal with them. That is how we deal with them. I think this guy might have a double. Barrel. Nope, 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 not at all. I got caught. I got caught in a bad choice. He coming down the line? No. I'm just gonna stay back. Oh, ah! Let me think. Oh, he's trying to fight. Okay. Fuck. Okay. I'm just gonna fall back. Already looted these guys. 
Not this guy, though. I'm gonna try and get on top of this. Take this guy's stuff. Ooh. Take this guy's stuff. He had a submachine gun. I think all these guys have submachine guns. Okay. Can we get under here for it? No. Another one I didn't see. I think he had a handgun though, so I shouldn't have been too concerned, but just wanted to be safe. There we go. Holy hell's bells. God damn. I feel like I'm weeding through people. Uh, this isn't even the worst part. Is there another guy shooting at me? No. Yes, there is! No! God damn it. I missed both my shots like a dumbass. Ugh. Just had no cover around where he was. I got fucked. <laughs> this shotgun makes you be so aggressive. It puts everything in the line. A little bit of vodka. I think this weapon has that little stagger it can do. Let's just go down here. Crawl into place. Sorry if I'm going quiet a lot. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Got caught between three of them. Sorry if I'm going quiet a lot. It's really hard to kill these guys consistently. These are the positions that they're in. I feel like, I, yeah, I feel like it's almost impossible to kill them. Because as soon as I get out of here, I am completely surrounded. There's guys on my left. Guys on my right. The guys to try and get behind me. There's so many of them. I don't know what they're saying, but probably pain. And it was painful for me to do this. Let's heal my wounds. Oh, Try and get them into that. Look how many springboards are in here. They still have the gall to put anomalies and artifacts through here. There's one right there. There's a stash there, though. Nope. Never know, some of them glitch and spawn anyways. I can get that. Maybe. Yep. Alright, let's save here. Try and go over. Did I never deal with you? That was a different guy. Oh, 
Turned his flashlight off. Oh, I thought he had a med kit on him. Damn. I'm not seeing him. Grab this. Back up on this. We have so many anomalies in our inventory. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I took this guy down, but I didn't loot him. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. Oh, let's let's get going. All right, so this next part is going to be pretty intense. Once we get up here, press yes. We're going to be thrown into a hell hole. We're going to be thrown into a hell hole. The military are about to destroy Mole's group. We need help. Damn, that's a military air assault force. Our guys are there. Yep, we're going to be fighting a full military assault. There's usually an anomaly inside of the here. Usually it's a jellyfish. We get this cutscene the first time we enter through here. Look at all the guys we gotta kill. Jellyfish. There's another jellyfish. That's a stone flower. Okay. Let's go. I usually like to try and flank these guys when I have the shotgun because there's two up ahead right here and there can be a third one. Unless they killed them already, which would be nice. Yeah, they did. Okay. These guys went down. Now, the next guys are around this corner right here. Up on the right. You can do that to get rid of some of them. That guy was crazy. Another guy right there. He is kind of deadly, this one, because he usually hangs back. We could flank him on the left. But we're gonna loot all these guys first, because the fighting doesn't stop until we go around that corner. No, fighting doesn't start, sorry, until we go around that corner. So we're just gonna loot all these guys first. Because we need the stuff. Always need more stuff. No matter what. Oh, this guy needs a net kit here. Oh, fuck yes! Got another sparkler. Another one of these. That's oh, where I had something in my eye there. Okay, you had a... Uh, what would you have? What was your weapon? There it is. A lot of stashes, too. Oh, 
another anomaly, another artifact, sorry. I keep calling them anomalies. So that's technically what they are, but they're made from anomalies. Alright, we got all these guys here. Let's go. We have a good amount of money in our inventory. Alright, let's go. First, we're going to save the game right here. I died at this part a lot, but I kind of learned how to do it. See, there are going to be a bunch of military guys right here. Talk to that guy if we want to continue, but right here. Take all that. Take this. Take that. Take that. Take that. I don't know why some of them have their gun in their inventory and some laying next to them. Yeah, then he will. We don't need to talk to him. We just need to stand near him. He will lead us to where we need to go. And that's the guy we saved with a health kit. Now, he does have a legendary weapon on him, this guy. But I'm not going to betray someone who helps me with something like this. Alright, oh, he's gotta do a shuffle, hold on. Phew. It's quiet here. We can wait for the reef to finish. Seri told me what you're looking for. There's underground around here somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. Yep. There's that. I'm gonna go back and check the stashes real quick, and then I will go. We have a lot of stuff on us already, right? Here's the entrance to the actual bunker itself, where it's originally supposed to be. There's a stash right here. Two military first aid kits. Nice. Two of them. Ah, there's the attack helicopter coming for us. That thing is not friendly. Oh. oh! That's too bad for me, I'm greedy. I'm greedy, I'm greedy, I'm greedy! I'm greedy, I'm greedy. We could kill those guys. We could kill those guys. Could kill those guys. We're getting in our way. They think we really have a chance, huh? These guys don't know how to dance quite as well as I can. God damn it, I hate how they can just absorb bullets and not care sometimes. These guys seem a bit different though, they look different. I don't know what the difference between them and the normal military guys is. This will make this will this will be where we make our stand. Right here, right now, right in this little area. Drink this. Uh, slime, put the slime on there, and that. Now we're basically immune to bleeding. Oh 
Okay. They converged on me very quickly. And they are very, very much difficult to kill. Hmm. I think I can do this, though. With enough time and oh, practice. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay. We're going to save right here. We're going to blow this guy's face up. Okay. These artifacts really do just stop us from bleeding. Which is, I gotta admit, very nice. Nope. Okay, well then. There's two of them right there. Fun fact. And me with no way. Well, we might as well hide behind this pillar the whole time. Please reload. I wish I had a fucking speed loader right now or if I attached a magazine to this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the game real quick. Okay, there's a pile of corpses. He just wouldn't go down. He took about four shots and he just wouldn't go down. And there's a large pile of corpses right there. What? The dude came through there. So many guys. I didn't even know the Russian. Is it the Russian? No, it's the Ukrainian. I didn't even know the Ukrainian military. Are they? Are they? I thought they were like NATO or something, or like some combined force, because they don't have any like flags like that. Maybe I just don't. I'm unfamiliar with Ukrainian flags, though. But I did not know they employed this many people. Maybe these are like mercenaries for an army. Maybe they're a PMC. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care really. Should have, should have wasted that shot. Oh my god. There's another one. Thank 
blowing through shotgun shells here. There's two more down there. just got me murdered. It's more. It's more. Okay. 2A and 94 spurring at the cover I'm behind. Shit, these guys are invincible. Well, you can be as invincible as you want. That'll kill anyone. Okay. I am almost fucking certain there can't be any more of these guys. Two hundred rounds. We got two hundred rounds of freaking ammo. So whenever we're gonna go back to using our main weapon, we are stacked. Even more now. Two hundred thirty-two rounds. Look at this place. I told you this is going to be our last stand. This place is covered in blood. So long as that a bad attack helicopter it doesn't murder me. I wonder. I, I honestly wonder. Hold on. Let me let me actually check the faction list. Are these guys actually Ukrainian military, or are they like a PMC? Because I don't know. Backs of gold. An artifact formed from vortex normally is active by the heat. It's activated by the heat. The body dis it's worse radiation or knife wound. And and choose the lesser of the two evils. In any case, you can sell the artifact for a good profit. What does that mean? Uh factions. Army. Regular army soldiers. They guard all all roads into the zone. Roll is permitted to kill mutants and hunt down looters. Spetsnaz lead army troops usually detached to the zone to conduct. No, they are Russian. Okay, Spetsnaz is a Russian. Yeah, Spetsnaz is a Russian force. I, I think so, right? I, I don't know. What do you guys know? Do you guys know in chat? I'm pretty sure they're Russian. Red expert. Amazing. Alright, let's get going now. Hey, you guys don't gotta worry about that. That's unfortunate. He has a unique weapon on him right here. Mole's weapon. Become the owner of the unique walker. Seems the Italian Apache got him. Oh well. No! Why did I not save? I'm such an idiot. 
I am such an idiot. I did not save. Well, I saved, but I still gotta kill those two dudes again and go through all their crap. Oh, no new game. Save. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot. Such an idiot. Oh no, I saved you. That's good. I'm not gonna take it. Good thing I am not an idiot. And I remember to say. I never did not remember to drink all my vodka and eat all my food. In case. What was so special about this gun? It's been modified to take these rounds. It holds 16 rounds, All right? New handgun it is. Alright. We're going into the bunker. Basically the same, except for this one holds 16 rounds. Really? Recoil on this one's a little bit weird. It, it it kicks to the side, like it kicks to the left. See how powerful this gun is. I don't have a whole lot of ammo for it anymore. But I love this fucking gun. Sorry, I know that sometimes these things can explode. My apologies for going somewhere like that. Okay, so. This is the hallway of death I was talking about. I've never actually been able to cross it, but if you... Ah, that's what I'm talking about. It randomly just shocks you to death. And one tap fucking murders you. Things to go in waves of three. All right, we got the good stuff. Let's go. Okay. All right. Well, he scared the shit out of me. Did not think that he would be down there. Oh my god. That was scary. <laughs> Another one. 
This one's a crab man. I remember fruit punch. This is fruit punch. Guess what it does to you. That's right, it makes you bleed horribly. That's 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 all it does. As you can see, my anomalies are already taking care of it. So I have a slime and all that on me. And a slug. It makes you bleed. Here it is. I'm gonna keep quiet for this whole part. I think they already killed it. This is the first time you're supposed to fight a bloodsucker, but I think they killed the bloodsucker. They're probably dead, considering he's still alive. Yep. I don't see a corpse, though. I'm not seeing a corpse. The issue is they're really hard to see at a distance. This is actually scary though. Okay, now he's right. Pick him. Oh. Huh. It's a good thing that these idiots carry flashlights. There's an Ah for fuck's sake! How many how many of your people need to die before you learn not to come around this corner? All of them, apparently. Oh, bread! Food. All of them coming around this corner? Did you drop your tentacles? No. I think that's all. We're good. We got some personal defense grenades as well, which are a little bit stronger. We got an urchin. Here it is. Minus 30. Anomaly burnt fuzz very rarely gives rise to this artifact. Blood pressure rises. The blood gets rid of large amount of red blood cells. But along with them, the stored radiation leaves the body as well. In this fundamental work titled Look Local Whoa. Lunization and polarization of the components of rare artifacts. Shorov noted that the content of this formation has has a very critical stable ability and not realistic to create such an artifact in a lab conditions in the next 10 years. Okay. So 
So they're they're really rare and they're hard to make. Okay. Three hundred rounds. So Strelok's stash should be a dude in this corner. No, they already all threw themselves at me. Like a bunch of fools. Strelok's stash is right through here. Like too exhausted. I have a shitload of stuff on me. It's right through here. The man cave. Real nice. So, first thing you want to do is come right around here and stab this box. That's a merc suit. It's much better than what we have. Second thing you want to do, grab the second AK on this shelf. Right here. This is the high speed beauty. Third thing you want to do. Fucking dope on energy drinks. Eat all the food. Still be unable to walk. Damn, we got so much good stuff though. I mean, we don't really need that many jellyfish. We'll drop all but one. Oh, hi. No, it's too much ammunition. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. No, single fire. Nothing special. Auto. Look how quick that drains the mag. Okay, what can we drop here? I think we drop these bad anomalies. Oh, we'll come back for these later. Uh... Hmm. That one's stuck. I can't get it. You guys just stay here and just stay, stay, stay still. Uh, come on, J just stay under the bed. Stay under the bed. Yeah, they'll be fine. We got a mer uh, bandit suit right there. A couple grenades. There we go. We are literally one pound off being overweight. Can I get you, or are you going for me forever? You're gone. No, no. There we go. Ah. Uh, I'll come back for you guys later. Sure. There's also the soup, but we can't carry that. We barely have enough weight to carry what we got as is. Uh, there's also a uh, red sun here. We can pick that up. Okay. Why do these things do this? Well, all right. Good five. I'd rather keep the red sun though. The fireball. All right, you guys stay here. I'm going to go and leave. I'll test this beauty out. I mean, it blows through our ammo supply. But it works. Right through here, there's going to be some enemies up ahead. Some enemies right up ahead. We don't have any radiation resistance, but whatever. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. There's one last thing in there, I forgot. Damn. We so we're so overweight we might not even be able to get it. Oh, 
There we go. It's actually an important piece of information. I don't know what it is exactly, since we're, we're less than 100 meters from where I stopped playing my personal save file. God damn it, guys. Come on, get in there. Just get under the bed. Why do you float over here? There. Right here. Message, Doctor. I have news. I have sad news. Fang died. Couldn't meet you. Too bad you went to the center on your own. It was your choice, though. I know you were, I know where to search for you and whom to ask. Ghost. What happened to Ghost? It's very important. We ask ourselves that question. We are five, less than five kilograms away from being overloaded. We're still gonna go to the stash and still check it out though. Because I like items and I am a materialist. There's also an anomaly right there. It's just a wrench, but it's an anomaly. the wrench. There's a tunnel around here. You can just kind of walk through because of the stuff I got on me. I'm gonna save the game. There it is. Rations and vodka. Vodka, energy drink, and some rations. A little bit of ration rush. It's a little celebration. Here's where we were before. That's the actual entrance to it. Uh, obviously we don't need that. We can kind of just walk through this because of the stone and the slug we have on us. See how quickly that cures us? These two are amazing. Yeah, really cool. What does the slug specifically say? Uh, the, the negative qualities of this artifact are expressed by the fact that it heightens the coagulation of... coagulation quality of blood. It's not often that one runs into such an artifact, and do they pay well for it? Hmm. How odd. Imagine your blood coagulating faster. That would be so weird. Let's test this puppy out, shall we? Fully automatic, this thing. Got one of the highest fire rates in the game. Just watch. Alright, don't watch that. That was stupid. That was stupid. But whatever. We have like... 500 rounds. I have more bullets than you. God damn this thing. I love this one. I have so many unique weapons on me. He almost had me. Okay. Oh, how's everybody in chat doing? Going on the seven hour mark here. 
do 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 Now I'm the tool. Okay. That was close. By the way, this thing doesn't just burn through anymore. It also burns through durability. I mean, it's not going to be too bad. Dur I've already shot this thing so many times and durability is still pretty high. I'm going to just use that to, just to get rid of weight. Eighteen of those. What about your gun? Did you have any? Yes, you did. That quickly we're burning through ammo, though. So fast. Okay. Listen up. Here's the story. When we exit that door and walk down that hallway, a very deadly threat is going to appear behind us. This thing is called a controller. You want to read about it? Here. Oh, so we got a new artifact, a goldfish. You have to read that again. Secondly, animals and mutants. Roller. A rare mutant never seen near. Oh, a rare mutant seen near the near to the center of the zone. That's a really weird way of putting that. Bears a superficial resemblance to a humanoid with a disproportionately big head. Possesses a good perception and the ability to control the behavior of less developed creatures. Mutant species are capable. Of talking, taking control of a human's head. This is a fearsome enemy, and even the most experienced stalkers are afraid of meeting it. We're about to meet one. As soon as I walk down this hallway, we'll see what I mean. Right there, there he is. Even if I look away from him, watch what he'll do. There we go. He uses psychic attacks against us. To hurt our brains. He's a very deadly threat. And he hurts. A lot. But. He actually has a really big weakness. And we don't, as a community, we don't know if this was on purpose or not. But. He can't actually hit you. If you're close to him. If you're clo this close to him, he can't hit you. He can only do passive damage. Here. I, if you want to know what that symbol on the right is, uh, that's brain hemorrhage. Oh god, that that is that is awful. That effect is awful. Look at that. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I not? Can I please not? That's a, that's what the telepathy thing is for, by the way. That's what the telepathy is for. It's getting it's getting better. Yeah, that's a controller right there. There he is. That that is a controller. Ah, look at his ears. They are not good. They are very dangerous. They do a random amount of damage to you, but they have a very good chance of two-shotting you on this difficulty. Keep in mind, we're, st we're still in, like, master difficulties, the highest. So he has a very good chance of two-shotting you. Alright, after this point, I have no idea what's in the game, so we're going to find out together. Let me grab some drink. I'll be right back.
How's everybody doing? All right. Woo wee. I love this game. All right. So, this is it. After this, I have no idea what this game is like. Going in blind. I usually don't like to be blind, but for this game, I'll do it. Save just in case it crashes. Also, can I just say, you can actually go up these ladders, but there's nothing at the top of them, but you'll still see scenery around you. More modern games need to do that shit, man. That is what modern gaming lack. Oh, shit, I forgot a translation. There we go. Like I said, uh, right here, you can go up this ladder, but you can't go up it all the way. But it still has scenery around you. Modern games need that shit. We don't do that anymore in gaming. We need to start doing that again. Because that's the real shit. That is the real shit. That's what makes the game legendary. Shit like that. Shit like that. Alright, let's, uh, let's head on up, shall we? I have no idea what's here, but... So... Oh, fuck! Oh, come on! Am I in a military base? That guy was wearing a military uniform. He's the top of this. What a stinker. Fuck. I, I don't even know what to do with all that. The military ones. I can hear the siren. Wow, this place look, looks like hell. Holy shit. What happened here? What the fuck happened in here? That is really irritating. How do I shut it off? Take a high ground. Can't hurt. Бросай оружие и выходи. По хорошему. This thing blows out rounds. thing rips out rounds, man. Holy shit. Love it. Ah, holy shit. This thing is amazing. It feels so good to just rip out rounds. The fire rate on this thing is insane. The best part is I just keep getting ammo for it. Fuck you, man. I told Barkeep about you. He should talk to duty guys to let you through. I suggest you go see him fast. Yeah, I suggest as much as well. So we're finally we're finally getting out of like what is the tutorial area basically. I think my kitty cat runs out. Let me let him. Oh, let me just stand and stretch. Alright. Oh man, kind of getting a little bit tired. Okay, 
All right, let's move. There are so many guys around here. You know, it's another good game I might start playing eventually. Oh, are you fucking... Why is there an Apache here? I, I was hoping there'd be a doorway there. I knew that there probably was, but if there wasn't, I'd be a little bit fucked. Just gonna say it. Just a little bit. Can we take that guy on the tower out from here? This place looks like hell, man. This place looks... Looks like the U.S. Marines have been living here. Gave me yellow bleeding, but only did minimal damage to me. Sir, are you invincible? Two of them at the door. That that right there is a good show of the power of accuracy through volume of fire. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Uh, yes, it's not my first playthrough of the series. Oh, uh, like my, no, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I, I'm uh, sorry if I missed your chat. I, I'm actually kind of concentrating on this because there's so many dudes. Holy shit! But it's not my first like playthrough on my channel. It was the first playthrough of the Stalker series, but I know a good bit about it because I've heard a lot of people talk. But I don't know like the story or anything. This is just my like my first playthrough of it. But honestly, this is this is one of my favorite games of all time already. This is such a clean breath of fresh air to the normal genre of first-person shooters we get nowadays, bro. You know how it is. It's so good. It's so good. It feels so good to actually, like, you know, play a first-person shooter like this that's not, like, COD. Scared. Oh, shit. Uh, have you played this game before, man? Like, are you familiar with it? Because this shit's amazing. This is one of the best first-person shooters I've ever played in my life. Ooh. Huh. Cause this is this is so good. Just doing that feels so good. Shit. Huh? Sorry, I have to look over here because my screen's a little bit tilted, so I get a good angle. It is 17 years old, yeah. It's a breath of fresh air for me, you know, because this is my first time playing it. But it, it is really good. I, I wish more shooters were like this nowadays. That would be amazing. That would be so good. I bought the entire series. You can get the entire series on PlayStation now. I was thinking of buying it for my PC, but I don't think my PC can, like, run this too, too well. My PC's not really a gaming PC, it's meant for, like, studio recordings. 
But it is such a good game. I love this game. I love it so much, especially after like playing multiple streams of after, especially after playing multiple streams of Overwatch. Like, I, I played Overwatch 2 for a while, and this is such like a good like a good difference for the genre. It feels so good to be able to play this game. Oh man. But yeah. I love this game in 2007. Played through the series a couple of years ago again. Yeah, it's crazy to think this game is 2000. It was made in 2007. There's an explosive barrel right next to me. Hold on, I gotta let the dog out as well. I'll be, uh, oh, hold on, give me a sec. Give me one second. Fuck. Sorry about that. I have a very annoying Chorky who is old and senile. I'm not gonna lie. It feels amazing. I got the entire series on um, PlayStation a while ago. They had it on PlayStation. And it was like 40 bucks for every game remastered. And I played like 20 minutes of it. And I had just finished a series on my streams. I just finished a series. I played 20 minutes of this and I was like, oh god, I gotta do this on stream. This is such a good game. The only complaint I have thus far is that I have too much health. Like, I, I wish I would have died right there. I know there's a lot of mods which increases difficulty. Yeah, they, they released it for consoles like a few months ago, bro. Like, it was only a few months ago, man. But this shit is so good. Now, I will say, it's still stalker. It, it's still really glitchy. It's still really glitchy. I've had three crashes in this stream, but that's just Stalker, man. That's just Stalker. That's just Stalker. Can I get under him? It's just Stalker, man. It's just Stalker. I mean, because Stalker is really glitchy. Hold on, I gotta let my dog in. Stalker is really glitchy when it's on, so yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, I'm back. Yeah, it's just, it's so good. I, I think, I think I'm falling in love with this game. It feels so good, and I haven't even seen all, like, the weapons and everything. I've only seen, like, a fraction of what's actually in here. Ah, oh, man. I'd heard a lot of people say play it on Master difficulty, so that's what I did. And yeah, it's a much better experience on Master difficulty. Whoa. I saw a message and I got scared. These guys are really aggressive. There we go. Okay, what? Yeah, I really love this version. It still is still glitchy. Yeah. Yeah, like... They probably did. Uh, they probably fixed a lot of it to begin with. As well, and I have a feeling they're probably gonna update it soon. Is I mean, I don't know why it wouldn't. This is such a good, such a good game. The best part is, like, you can buy the entire trilogy for so cheap, and there's so many hours of gameplay here, it's such a good value. Oh, jeez. Right, this is a Strelox uh, machine gun I got here. This is his, uh, this is his weapon, the modified AK. I'm a bit of a collector, as you can see, because I have all, like, the unique weapons. But, um, this is a modified AK. This thing is so fast. The fast shooting AK. Honestly, though, in my opinion, the guns they give you at the start of the game are just... Like, IRL, they're garbage, right? Like, this, like, most AKs that chamber in anything 5mm is really bad. 
It's really bad. They give us, I think it's 5 by 49, uh, 39. Yeah, 5 by 39. 5, 4, 5 by 39. Which is an alright round, it's just it doesn't work for an AK setup too well. It's much better for an M4. Yeah, it's the nice of it. It's much better for an M4. Are you, uh, you a gun guy? Do you know guns any? Also, I love the artifact system in this. It's like a battle of regeneration, where certain things make things regenerate faster, and if it's regenerating fast enough, it, uh, it does more for you. Really? <laughs> Alright. What's your favorite firearm? My, mine is personally the new FAMASs they made in France before the factory got shut down. The catwalk system on that shit is so nice. Having a thermal scope integrated with a camera is so futuristic. The FAMAS has always been really futuristic, but the French army FAMASs are always the best. You can't get them in the US though. They're like $30,000 for a single FAMAS in the US. Which is crazy considering it's the US and we love our guns. I've lived here for a while, so... I don't know who to go after. Oh, yeah, I love the Moss though. Moss is definitely one of my favorite weapons. I don't think they have it in this game. But if they did, I would definitely try and get it. What's my hit? Okay. I, I, I need to get rid of some of this ammo. That's why I'm using this gun instead of the uh, threaded shotgun. I'm not getting any rid of this shit. Wolf hops are fun, but inherently annoying for <laughs> I was actually talking about that today on stream. I, you can go back at like the two hour mark or so. I was talking about the FAMAS and I was talking about how uh, you can't have, like, it's really hard to get like a left handed FAMAS, like a left handed FAMAS. Because you have to, in, you have to like swap it over, right? You can't, it's not like ambidextrous. It's not like an ammo or normal sort right here. Like this AK, you can use this AK. Ambidextrous, right? Left or right hand. It's just gonna be hard to like pull the bolt back for lefties, right? But with a FAMAS, you'll just be like, you'll get burns on your face because the rounds go right out of where your cheek normally would be. So it's it's really funny. Bull pups are good though. G36 rifle. A lot of people love light, like machine guns and stuff, and that makes sense. Rifles are usually pretty good, but the G36 that is actually pretty new. That's uh, how, what was the release date on that? That what? 2000, 2006? Glock 17. I prefer the 18 myself, but 17 is also very reliable. Very reliable. Glocks are kind of an odd point for me though. 19... Oh yeah, it was using the first uh, Desert Storm. Uh, it was 1990-something. I think it was 1990. Or maybe earlier. I don't know, but I know that weapon was used in a lot of the wars that America got into during the 2000s era. I don't know exactly when. Don't know exactly when. God, there's so many guys. So many dudes. But I will be doing a full playthrough. Wait, let me look up the G36. Yeah, okay. So I don't know. I don't really know. I know the FAMAS is really old. It's from like the 19... Like, 80s? 80s, I want to say. But I don't know about the G36. Although I've used the G36 in a couple of video games and I've seen one IRL. I never fired it. Ah! Oh. Keep forgetting this is a horror game. G36, G36, G36. We good? Ah, I'm gonna save now. Okay. Where am I? Okay, I gotta go all the way back around here. I can't actually go get that stash. I'll go and get that. Actually, my weight is literally like on the precipice, so... We're just gonna go back to the... 
Oh no. They're giving me anomalies. And they're giving me cool crap. No. No. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Damn it. I can't take you with me. I wish I could. Uh, okay, just... I know this is not how you play the game, but... Hear me out. It's effective. You should not do that in this game. 1990 to 1995. Okay. So, yeah, I was right. The G36 was used in the first Ender Storm. It's a really old weapon, but it works pretty well. Now, there's just a bunch of jellyfish in this. I gotta go. I gotta go back to the vendor because I have a lot of crap on me. I think I have over a thousand rounds of ammunition here. This gun burns through ammo so quickly. Keep in mind, if you go back in the stream, when I was at the bunker, I started with 500 rounds of ammo, and now I have less than 200. Although this is an amazing weapon. Oh man, 1990. It's so good though. It's so good. I just, just being able to like, uh, because I talk about guns a lot in this series, because I'm going to be playing through the whole game, and we're going to see a lot of guns, right? The entire game about looting, the whole series about looting guns and finding cool stuff. And I talk about guns frequently, and I was stuck. For fuck's sake, there's a dude right there as well. I didn't even see him. God, this is bad. This is a really bad situation. I'm going to fall back to a bus. Try and go around him. I was talking about guns before. Now I was thinking, like, Oh. Is this the tunnel? There's a bunch of jellyfish everywhere. Oh yeah, this is the tunnel. This is the tunnel. There's so many jellyfish and and like wrecks. Oh. Got too close to that one. There's not like a detector like in the future games. I hear that in the future games you get like an anomaly detector. That's a thing. That's a whirly gig. I'm gonna just make my way through here. There's nothing through here. There's literally nothing. There's a stash. Nothing in it. Oh god damn it. So, yeah, I'll tell you why. How about this? Bogo, Bogo, listen here. How about this? You do something for me, and I die in this tunnel horribly. No, wait, I'm alive. How about you hit that follow button? And I'll be playing through the entire thing, so if you want to see me play through the entire game, I will do it. I'll probably be streaming this every Wednesday and Sunday until I get a new D&D group. group. Oh, favorite gun in this game. Fuck. Uh, the threaded shotgun, bro. This fucking gun is amazing, man. I fucking love this shit. I fucking love this shit. This shit is amazing. It feels so good. This feels like a real shotgun, right? This this feels it, it, like a lot of shotguns in video games just feel like a like a super soaker you have in your hand, right? And you just pull the trigger once and like things die within a radius. Maybe like Modern Warfare 2019 is like the one exception, but this feels like a real deadly shotgun that I'm wielding. And it feels like an actual big threat that I have in my hands. And it feels like, you know, if I get close to an enemy or even like a good distance from them, they will die. It feels good to use as my favorite. Yeah, the Spaz-12. It's the threat in Spaz-12 specifically. Using a slow step all over again. I'm gonna take step out. Hold on. Ah, we got an angle. Feels so good to use that. Just that. It feels so chunky. Reminds me of the game. Have you played the game, uh, Black? You ever played the game Black? The shooter? He tripped. He didn't die, he tripped. God damn it, there's more! <laughs> 
Yeah, you ever played the game Black? It's really, it reminds me a lot of Black. And how it functions and how it plays. It's really good. Because in, in Black, Black is like an old game for the Xbox. Like the OG Xbox, right? And in Black, all the guns have like really good mechanics. Wasn't that game a PS3 game? No, no, Black, it was for like the Xbox. I had it on the Xbox. It might have been for PS3. But it was, it was for the original Xbox. Like, it was really good. By the way, uh, I like older games. I have a lot of, I have a lot of good memories. I'm playing a lot of games in like my little younger years. Yeah, we might be thinking of something else then. Black was the game that had like the really cool gun mechanics and the really good sound effects to it, where it was just chunky as fuck, right? And each gun had like an amazing sound effect, and each gun sounded really good. I got him. Okay. It's really good. It's a really good game. Because, like, you know, it has really realistic, like, gun mechanics. And it's just a first-person shooter. It's not, like, realistic, like, semi-realistic like this one is. It's, it's, it's a very sort of classical first-person shooter. And it was for the Xbox back in the day. And it was a really, really good game. And I remember, like, the guns in that game sounded so good. It was just... When you fired a shotgun, it was like an, the whole room exploded. Oh. Hold on. G give me one second. My kitty cat needs in. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about Black. Black is really cool. Give me one sec. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. So yeah, oh, it was such a good game. And, you know, it's pretty old now. It's pretty old. I don't even think, like, I... <laughs> I don't think I have the Xbox. No, I have it. No, no I, I have the game. I, I still have the Xbox that I used to play the game on, but I don't think I have the game anymore. And it really remind This game really reminds me of Black. It's just the chunky, sweet feeling of just bang, bang. Of all the guns, and they sound so good. Protect the stalker's camp at the garage. What? Oh, are you kidding me? These guys respond. Damn it. Hold on. I gotta get back to my stash. Oh, I got one. my fucking shotgun. Fuck. And the worst part is I can't even sprint. Uh, the worst, I no, that's not the worst part. The worst part is these guys. A lot of these guys have like, that's a corpse. A lot of these guys have submachine guns. It's just horrible. But Black was like this, really early first-person shooter. It wasn't like super early. It's not like Wolfenstein or anything. But it was like this early first-person shooter for like the Xbox. And it's like a, it's not like a military. You don't play like a military officer or anything. You play as like a police officer, basically, like a SWAT team in like the middle of like a really big uprising and it's a, it was really good but the game had like a really bad story it wasn't like horrible it wasn't like offensively bad but it was like the, the story took a backseat to the mechanics you know and it was it was something else but i, I just remembered having like the sweet sound effect that and uh you ever played battlefield 2 Battlefield 2 for the PS2. Battlefield 2 was another one of those games, man. 
Battlefield 2 online for the PS2. I used to sit on my really big, like, beanbag gaming chair and just play that day by day. When the servers were up, that is. Because those servers were long gone, right? You can't play them anymore. Play Battlefield 2 on the PS2 back in the day. Yeah, it was such a good game. Oh my god. Holy shit. There's so many guys. I gotta get behind here. The kitty cat's me out. But yeah, it was great. And the, the, I remember the shotguns in that game had really good sound effects too. I mean, I actually, uh, I could probably play that game for you guys. I could, because I have it. I have Battlefield 2 on the PS2. I have a working PS2 and a working copy of Battlefield 2. I went to Game Exchange and got them. I went to Game Exchange and got them, and they they still work pretty well. I could play that. I could play that on stream. I mean, I'd be the only person playing it on all of Twitch, but I could play that. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I'm just gonna say it. Oh, oh shit! Ah! Oh! I forgot my follower noise nearly deafens me. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and people say modern warfare has a fast time to kill. <laughs> Meanwhile, this game, I literally can't do anything. <laughs> fucking love that. I love that I can't do anything in a situation like that. He just fucking bursts me down and kills me. I love it. I love it so much. Was the first game I played, which I had it. Bullet Drop. Did game have Bullet Drop? F indeed. <laughs> F indeed. Did that game have Bullet Drop? I can't remember if it did. That That's so far back. I remember the Sniper class was really cool. And you could, like, switch through, like, people on the battlefield already. Like it was, like... Like it was, uh... Fucking enlisted. Enlisted's another really weird game. It's a it's a free to play mess though, but it's a cool. It's cool. It's cool. Only for the Barret. The Barret was no. There were other snipers in the game, weren't there? Was the Barret the only weapon that had bullet drop? Oh my god! I am stuck in a horrible location. Only for the. So unbelievable. Come on, get there! Okay. It's so unbelievable to think that the Barret was the only weapon to have in it. You know, the Barret's been around since when? What, the 1960s? You know, they've. You want to know a fun fact about this? So I do a lot of research, right? Ah, oh, there's another person in the, uh, in the YouTube chat. Who is also free? <laughs> oh man, I really suck there. But... There's another person in the YouTube chat who's also speaking what I believe to be Russian. Hello there. Hi. I can't understand you, but I hope you have a good day. A lot of foreign people like this game. Probably because it's a really good game. But, uh, yeah. You know, the fun thing is, I do a lot of research. I'm, bro, I'm a VTuber, right? You know what I'm all about. I don't need to say it. I'm a weeb, first and foremost, right? I just also have other interests outside of anime. But, uh, you know how it is. But I found out most Barretts are actually produced in Japan. Which you would not think they would be. But most Barretts that are made are produced in Japan and then shipped to the US. Which is crazy, because I, uh, I was doing a short reading on Japanese firearms. Because, like, most of the guns in that country they're only made in that country, and then only used in that country. Oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. It was developed in Ukraine? I thought it was developed in Canada. That would make sense, though. Of course it was probably developed in Ukraine. It's got a really weird timeline as well. It's really popular in other countries. Because a lot, oh hell, a lot of people on Twitch that are such in this game are probably from Ukraine themselves, you know? 
God damn, there's so many fucking army dudes around the place. It's a good game. I really like this. But yeah, most Barretts are actually made in that country, and I did not know that for a while. And I found that out after... Where did his body go? That nah, probably disappeared. I found that out after just doing some research. I also found out... Now, this is gonna sound crazy. Most weapons produced out of that country, especially for their military, are magnums. Like, they have, they have, like, so many magnums. Like, a lot of their weapons are just magnums. Which, I don't even know how you do that. I don't really know. But they're, like, really weird, really weird weapons that are made nowhere else. Oh, man. This is such a good game. This has to be one of the best games ever made. Uh... Yeah, yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that the Barretts are like that. You know what's you know what's even crazier though? Okay, so like the US, right? The US had a I I'm assuming I don't I don't like to assume, but I'm assuming you don't live in the US, so you might not know. What the fuck happened over here? Alright, well I'll see you guys. Uh, the U.S. They made, they had like this import ban back in the day, right? In like the 1980s. They stopped importing weapons for the general public, right? But some weapons still got through before that ban. And a lot of the weapons that got through were pretty, pretty impressive states of... Yeah, the assault weapon ban. Yeah, that... That, I think that was in like the 80s or 90s, but that happened, and it was like this crazy big thing that happened, which really sucked. That really sucked. But it was like this crazy big thing that happened, and everybody talked about it, and it really sucked. But, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going, I'm going straight to the bar. Cause I, no, no, because you gotta fight before you get into the bar. That's alright. How many, how much, I've blown through durability on this thing. I run through rounds on this thing so quickly. But, uh, yeah. The assault weapon ban. That was pretty sad. Because now we can't get a whole lot of really cool weapons. I'm not like a big gun guy. I don't personally own any. I just like the science behind them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't pay attention to the presidency, man. That's a shit show nowadays. I wish we could go back to the days where presidents, you know, you know, the good old days where presidents really represented the whole country, not just one singular individual old fart or group of people, you know? Back in the days of Teddy Roosevelt. Listen, the man was a great president. He couldn't control his daughter for shit. I mean, Alice was insane. But Teddy Roosevelt, that man was a good president. Man was a good president. He had the people behind him. Nowadays, there's a reason there are so many parodies of this country's politics online. It's because every other country likes watching our politics because theirs have nothing to do with it. The only country that is any different... Fuck. The only country that is any different is like... It's like occasionally England will have some drama, right? And that's it. We make such of a fool of ourselves in this country for... Shit, let's get the shit on me. We make such a fool of ourselves in this country for no reason. All about bullshit. God, you know how it is, man. You know how it is. But I feel like the world's heading to a much better place, you know? I know it sounds optimistic and stupid, but I feel like the world's in a lot better place than it was a while ago. I feel like things- oh, god, that looks hell- I'm not- oh, no, there's stuff- oh, no, they're military guys. Oh, fuck, I'm out of this bitch. I am out of here. Please last long enough for me to get away from these psychopaths with guns. Nope, 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 not, did not happen. Did not happen, please. Please, can I get out of here? Okay. Yeah, I think the world is going to a better place than it is. I feel like it is. I feel like we're heading to a better world. Maybe there might be some issues, yes. 
but at least there's no at least there's no massive wars there's no cold wars at the very least and there's no world war three not yet at least so i feel like we're going to a better world at this point ah for fuck's sake i know it's a little bit optimistic I don't know. Well, the K cat is meowing to go out. Give me one sec. I feel like we're going to a better world as well. But enough about all that nonsense. Everyone always all the time talks. Huh? What was that? Did, did you see that? Uh. Huh? Uh, th th the thing. The, th the thing. The massive deadly... What the fuck? The massive deadly death spike that just appeared in the air? It completely cut me off. Okay. What was I saying? Someone sees me. Ah, oh, god damn it. Feels like the entirety of Ukraine is trying to stop me from getting to this shit. Uh... <laughs> How much money do I got? Oh, I got that. <laughs> I was looking at my keyboard. So yeah, it's like this spike. It looks like a like a, a spike, like an actual like massive iron spike appeared in the air. Oh my god, look at that shit! It appeared in the air, and I don't know what happened. And I got really scared. I thought something was about to attack me that I don't know about. Oh my god, that was scary. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Probably a bug, yeah. Probably a bug. That's how this game usually rolls, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I do more than just first-person shooters and stuff on the channel, though. I do a lot of Souls-like games. But, uh... I also try and do some D&D. I'm currently looking for a new group. I do some D&D. D&D uh, is, like, one of the main things I try and do. Have you ever played D&D before? I know it's a very acquired taste. Fuck. D and D is an acquired taste for some people, but I've been doing it for about eleven years now. I've been doing it for about eleven years, and I, I, IRL talk for a second. I've been doing huh? I'm a huge fan of D and D itself for simpler systems. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Good point. I make my own custom systems, personally. But... Hey, you know, Baldur's Gate's pretty good. Baldur's Gate's 3, but uh, that's most people's exposure to D&D. But, uh, yeah. I make my own custom systems. And IRL talk for a second. I've been doing D&D &D longer... Like, longer than half the time I've been alive. So I, I, I want to make that my main content. It's just... Bro, no VTuber is ever on time for anything, man. You ever met a VTuber that's on time? No. Because they don't exist. No VTuber is ever on time for anything. I swear, man, I swear. Not a single VTuber. I've been trying to find another group, though. Has not been going too well. Ugh. Man, I'm finally back. Has not been going too well. Can't find a group that'll stick around for a while. PP, PN and Paper System was Monster of the Week. Monster of the Week? Never heard of it. What is it? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. 
put it. Oh, I put all this stuff on. Tell me about it. Yes, I never heard of Monster of the Week. I hear a lot of European people like something called Black Eye. Which sounds pretty cool. Nice and simple for beginners. Only need... Oh, D6s and a... Boing Goons EXP. Oh, I've seen a couple systems like that. I make a... Okay, don't don't call me crazy here. You're gonna you're gonna call me crazy if I say what I do, but I make uh so when I play D and D, I play D and D in a very serious manner, right? I need my eighteen. I need eighteen. I play D and D in a very serious manner, right? I mean, I I play it really hard and. A lot of people say I'm a very scary DM, right? But, uh... uh when I play D&D, I make full custom systems and full custom stories. Usually my campaigns are about two years long, but I make full custom stories based around animes. And I have had people tell me that I should start writing for Shonen Jump. That is how, like, hard I try and do my systems and my D&D campaigns. And a lot of people tell me I'm a scary DM because of that, because of how hard I, I like, I do them. So, me and you have very different preferences on what we like. But that is the spice of life. Variety and, and differences are the spice of life, my friend. There's a couple on my YouTube channel you can check out if you want to see those, but they're pretty complex. I've made a system for about uh, 11 years now. My oldest system is based around the Bleach D is based around the Bleach anime and it's pretty old. It's pretty old. But it is uh it's very it's very nice. It's a very nice little system that I've made and I I've done that campaign about 3 times. And each and every time the players are afraid of it. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got. But you know, you got to make your players afraid of it. All right. Well, uh, sales, kill the sales representatives. I think I'm just gonna head out to the barkeep now. Because I know I'm supposed to go to some barkeeper. But yeah, I, I've been doing D&D for a while, and that's the kind of D&D that I do, and... I'm gonna take this with me. I love this gun, too. This, uh, modified legendary well, here. It's a unique hunting, weapon. Do I have any... Did I end up taking the, uh... No, I didn't. I need to go get that. Hey, question. You've played this game a lot. Does this chest transfer to other locations? Or I gotta run all the way fucking back here when I do this? Tell me. Tell me. Do I have to run all the way back here for this stuff? Or do I... Does it transfer to other locations? Damn it! Oh, my legendaries. I a person in chat that I can't understand. That looks like Spanish. It's either Spanish or probably something uh, close to Latin. Hello. It is not. Fuck, I gotta run all the way back here for this shit eventually. Uh, 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 give me a sec. Uh, uh, William Nerza. Well, I know a little bit of Spanish. I know more Japanese, but I know a lot of a little bit of Spanish. Um, I think if it's something like Yo Soy Shin, or something like that. I don't know. I've only learned how. To, I've only learned the basics of Spanish. It's been a while. I learned the basics of Spanish for survival purposes. Design. It's a really fucking popular language. It's everywhere. Uh, bloodsucker tentacles. Okay. I don't know where that grenade went. I have no idea. Maybe I sold it by accident. I had a grenade for this grenade launcher, but I have no idea where it went off to. 
whatever. This gun is really powerful, so we're gonna take this with us. We're, we got a pretty light load. What is, what is this? I don't understand what this is. It's a quest item, I think. We got a pretty light load and a lot of ammo. <laughs> Two legendary weapons. Alright, we will go. Tell me. Well, go, you're really familiar with this game in particular. What's like the best well-rounded weapon in the game? Like, what's, what's the best well-rounded weapon? What is something that's sustainable, medium damage, with good accuracy? Yeah, that's that's really what I want. Also, do they have the AS Val? Because if they do, I want one. It's one of the better things. One of the better, one of the better weapons ever made. Oh, the SS Ventor. They have a Ventores. They have a Ventores in the game. Where? Where do I find a Ven the Ventores? That sounds amazing. I love Ventores. Ah oh, man. Love Ventores. Val, but it's just worse Ventores. Well, yeah. The Val, the Val was made for like to hold armor piercing rounds basically, but they don't do a good job of doing that. Fuck. Having basically bleeding immunity is nice. It's the worst Ventores. They're both basically marksman rifles, though. There's no break in the fence. Fuck. Of course there wouldn't be. The box is the thing stopping me from going out of bounds. The Ventores. Because what, the, uh... The Val, I'm pretty sure, chambers in, what, 9 by 39 Why don't I just take the fucking tunnel? I'm pretty sure the Val chambers in 9 by 39 Oh, a different grenade model. Nom 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 nom. But... The earliest you can get it is in the northern area at the garage. Fuck. It's a really good gun, though. Well, considering my electric resistance is three... <laughs> okay, well, that tunnel is aggressive. I'd rather take the deal with the army. Army warehouse, I think. The army warehouse? Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll try and look for it. I gotta go up there anyways. Motherfuckers have laser vision, I swear. The VSS Ventores. That's a firing squad. The army warehouse. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll look for the army warehouse. I'll look for the army. This gun is really good. I just I wish I had... Jesus! Who has the laser beam? It took nearly all of my health from me. I don't, I don't know which one I'd rather deal with. see people talking in a language I don't understand on YouTube. Hello there. Whoever you are. Fucking. Need a... I need to get up to this bridge. They're just gonna keep pushing me away. Huh? I am the best stalker in the zone. <laughs> I see. So yeah, I checked it out. It's in the Freedom Base at the Army Warehouse. Sorry, I was I was laughing at something people said. And, uh, I, I will be doing clear skies. Yeah. 
Uh, this is not stock Clear Skies, but if that's what you're asking, I will be playing Clear Skies. I'll be playing the entire series. And Chernobyl when it comes out. I'll be playing Chernobyl. So, hard to Chernobyl. Hey guys, do you know how to die? I think I got that one. Oh god damn, there's so many of them. And I'm hungry. Where is he? Freedom base in the army warehouse. Freedom base army warehouse. What section of the map? The research center, the garage, Freedom Base, Army Warehouse. God, I wish I had a fucking, like a 3x scope or something. Doesn't help that the spread on this thing is not the friendliest in the world. For duty. <laughs> For duty. Uh, the section in the... Uh, called Army Warehouse. Really? There's just a section called Army Warehouse? Hold on, hold on a minute here. Hold on a minute here. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's right here. I, I thought you were pulling my leg. No, there's just a section called Army Warehouse. It's right up there. Okay. Let me deal with these damned army guys. The worst part about this weapon, this particular weapon that I'm using, is uh, it's got a 20 round capacity, so it's not the best. Army warehouse. I bet there's a shit ton of duty there. Bet there's a shit ton of duty there. There we go. This guy's body is still not despawned. Okay, I think that's all of them. Let's pick up their ammo and go. Is this one? Oh, he's still alive. Lucky him. Uh, these guys are starting to have armor piercing rounds in their guns. I just noticed that. Is that a thing? Or am I crazy? Am I crazy? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. Do they actually start having different ammo in their guns? And does it actually do something for them? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Because I just pulled uh, some of these from him. And I don't like the idea of these guys having <laughs> more guns that hurt me harder. Especially these military guys. It feels like they just... It feels like they take so many more shots to kill. Yep, they have uh, they have armor piercing rounds. Probably with the VSS, it is, uh, that you don't get a steady supply of ammo until later. Ah, uh, fuck. <coughs> ammo is such an issue in the game, man. Ammo is such an issue in the game. I got no idea. I'm the best stalker in the zone for duty. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, damn it. Ammo is such an issue. It feels like the like the uh, the durability system doesn't even matter, because it's like a realistic durability system of how many times you can fire a gun before it breaks. It reminds me of that video. Uh, you know that video of that guy who has like an AK mounted on a table, and he just starts. Fire, he just holds the trigger down, and he just starts swapping new magazines, like swapping new drum magazines into it every time he runs out, and he just keeps on firing non-stop until it catches on fire. That was really amazing. Oh, are you kidding me? These guys are being attacked by dogs. And pigs. That's where these things are. They're mutated pigs. But on single shot, you can snipe enemies without even having to notice you. See, that's what I want. I want like a DMR. I want a designated marksman rifle so badly, because this kind of functions. When the fuck did you get here? This kind of functions as one. 
but not really. Game gonna crash? No, game doesn't crash. Game crashes if you go into this area or go into this area or go out of this area occasionally. It always starts you off with your knife in your hand as well. I don't know why. Damn. It'd be really nice. A DMR would be really nice. A Ventores would be really nice. All right, we've talked about favorite guns, right? What's your personal least favorite guns? Least favorite gun? Because for me, I really hate basically anything made by Torres. Anything made by Torres, I really don't like. Anything made by Torres, I don't like. The Raging Bull is probably the worst one. The Taurus Raging Bull, I really hate. My opinion is the worst. The zip gun. That's not a gun. That's a joke. Oh, the zip twenty-two. The zip twenty-two, bro. Oh my god, it's such a piece of shit. Does not sound good. What's up? Buzz off, stalker. We don't let every loser go through. Buzz off, oh my. You're an idiot, part one. Totally useless. Don't expect <laughs> totally useless. And so broken. It is broken. The zip the zip twenty two is horribly broken. We don't let every loser go through. Why? Say hi for the bar keep to me. See ya. Okay. We're gonna save real quick. Just save. And then we're gonna go through. Cause I don't wanna get blown up. The Zip-22. I'm pretty... Is that just an anomaly in the center of the road? It sure is. Gonna go around it. The Zip-22. The Zip-20... Like, it was supposed to be like a self-defense weapon, right? It was supposed to be like a... Like a self... An alternative self-defense... The fuck? What was that? Was that a pseudo-dog? I think it was. Yeah, it is. We're a fucking useless marked one. <laughs> That's the best voice line thus far. I love how it's the game is supposed to be in English, but they still felt the need to give everybody Russian or Germanian accents, which is incredible. I really love that one. That's a pseudo dog. Uh, no. <laughs> oh my. Okay. They have a jump attack. I did not know this. Okay. Oh yeah, what the fuck is that mode supposed to do? Yeah, well, it really missed its purpose. It did. The Zip-22 really did miss its... Oh my god! It really did miss its purpose, the Zip-22. It's supposed to be a self-defense, compact self-defense weapon. Oh, the gun jam. It'll do that occasionally. You think you'll have an auto weapon, but you'll actually have a burst. God damn. How many dogs are there? Holy hell! Oh my god, there's another pseudo dog. This is the largest dog pack I've ever seen. Speaking of durability... Yes, what about it? I'm not very durable right now, considering that I'm ch being chased by a pack of about 30 dogs. Can't even cross over there. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Come on, what is this? What is this? 
Okay. Where's that pseudo dog? Give me your tail. No. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. I just assumed it wasn't there. Got a pseudo dog tail at the very least. It only took me about five billion. Yeah, I know, and I hate that so much, but it's so realistic. The thunder. It's so realistic, though. It, it just jams. I gotta kill these guys, because they're just gonna attack me as soon as I turn my back. I hate that, but it's so realistic. I love it. Oh, shit. I turned off crosshair. Good thing I know how to center myself in the center of my screen. I used to do a lot of, a lot of like, don't lie, but uh, back in the day, like back in the old days of like first person shooters, I used to do a lot of like, no scoping compilations. <laughs> and like the philosophy behind no scoping is to center the target in the very middle of your screen. So I used to have days where I just go on battlefield and literally just practice centering my target. Oh, well, isn't that just a lovely sight to see? Ah, great. That's just so amazing to look at. Thank you so much, everybody, for just giving me that sight. Ah, uh, to be fair, it's only one corpse on a tree compared to the thousands of others I personally caused. Um, little fun fact for you. I believe this guy, or one of these guys, actually has a unique weapon, by what I hear. Where is it is by the outpost? What happened? There's a wave of mutants that came before the blowout. It's quite quit for three or four days. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Gronza. Is that what this thing is called? I didn't know who that was called that. Oh, this dude. I love this dude. I love this dude so much. I hear about him online all the time. Where is he? He's dead. This is the dude that is supposed to say, Oh, get out of here, stalker. Over and over again. Why is he dead? Did he fall off the ladder? He didn't have any alcohol on his body. What the fuck? He's supposed to stand up there and be like, Get out of here, stalker. Get out of here, stalker. <laughs> 